everybody. <laughs> hey. Welcome to Ecom <laughs> 101, buying, selling, finances, and coffee. Co I like the way you say coffee. it. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> yeah, different mood, different day. I'm your host, Joey, JR Financial Coaching, and JR Financial Coaching, JR Financial Coach on Instagram. Nice. It's not coaching. Nice. It's too, I felt it was too long, and I would take up characters, so JR Financial Coach on Instagram. Robin had no problem taking up as many characters as she could with her Instagram name. <laughs> <laughs> Robin <laughs> Nadia Dacas. La, 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 la. Yeah, Welcome, at least Robin. I'm consistent. I'll, yeah, hey, everybody. We, you know, it's good to see you, Joey. <laughs> Yeah, but at long. least everybody knows, right? Like my right. Facebook, my Twitter, my YouTube, my personal YouTube channel, and IG all match. So there you go. <laughs> right. My problem hey, is I have, I have my feet in so many different, my toes in so many different ponds, per se, that I brand everything. So Good. I have this business that has everything branded, this business, everything. And then I try to figure out what I want to use more of. Right. Because, you know, we have the Ecom 101 on Instagram as well. Yes. So sometimes yes, I post yes. there, sometimes I post here, sometimes you post here. Post I try there. to post. I try to be consistent. Yeah. So follow all three of us if you can. You get different exactly. Content. We just put I, when I post, I put Joey's all of his stuff, yeah. <laughs> and I put all of our stuff. Hey everybody! Oh, it's so good. Oh, we got some Hi, cool Mary. people here. It's good to Mary, see you. Pam. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Everybody. Reseller, oh. Re Revival, Revival. Reseller, Mikhail. Hey, Reseller. hey, new fan. I like fan. That's I awesome. I love hey. it. Oh, Thank you're not you. a fan. You're a friend. You're a stranger friend. We love those. We're, Land we have, shark picker. Yeah, we're fans of our fans. How about that? Yeah, we kind of really are. We got Tracy. We got Jazz. We got Noxie. Pam. I know. Noxie Knox. How how's she feeling today? She's doing well. Good. Good. Earlier, you know, last well. time everybody, she was not feeling well. So yeah, she's a trooper in the chat, man. So yeah, give her give her a good. like, give her a follow. She doesn't have any content, but go follow her page anyway. <laughs> I know. I, we love Noxie Knox. Yeah. She's she's our she's our behind the scenes person. We love her. Make yeah. sure those trolls don't come out. I wish I could pay her. Long time, baby. I know. Hi, Mary. It's good to see everybody. Good. Yeah. So what what are you drinking, Joey? Because you know I'm I'm pretty boring today. It's just regular my iced coffee that I brewed from a couple days ago and just uh um oh undercover thrifter. Ooh, I like hey. the sounds of that. Undercover. Couple pickers, hey, Lisa, Lisa Rob, Lisa. hey. Yeah, I was watching you guys' show earlier. I had to bail out because I had to get ready for this. And but yeah, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, Noxie will be the only one with a thousand subscribers and no content. <laughs> hey, that's all right. Let's get that. Let's make that happen, everybody. That'd be awesome. <laughs> no, no, Joe, you're supposed to be pushing Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, I, I'm drinking just regular. Um, Remember that coffee club I did, Trade? Trade Coffee? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm finishing up the first bag that I got now. For, I think it was from Clatch Coffee in L.A. Okay. I got my second box coming. It should be here Friday. It's from a place Ooh. called Doma in Wait, a Idaho. A, a Doma? D-O-M-A. Oh, D okay. All it's right. a it's a roaster in Idaho. So it's shipped Idaho? from there. Yeah. Ooh, so the way this works is with the different roasters when they pair you up is they send it directly to you from them so it doesn't come from a third party or from a shelf it's roasted and then it's freshly roasted and then sent out so it's not stale or anything that's rad yeah. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how I mean to a I'm roaster about, in Idaho yeah. yeah like that's I mean because that's isn't Idaho to potato state like yeah yeah and it's I'll, I'll plug you when I get it because they talk about how yeah. they have um like wood fired pizza nights and all this other stuff at this place. It's crazy. Whoa. Like this 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 coffee shop that brews this stuff. Yeah. Put it in the yeah. Facebook group chat so we can all like that's kinda cool because you never know who's in Idaho or driving yeah. through. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm not exactly sure the town, but I'll check it out. Oh, it's supposed to be good coffee oh, Yeah, Mary's so is like, I'm excited. Yeah, okay. I think the brand on this one is called Marcos. It's like brown sugar chocolate and like a Ooh. earthy woodsy tone to it, so Ooh, that sounds I'm good, all excited though. about it. I'm kind of excited about the brown sugar and chocolate. Yeah, yeah, it too. sounds yummy. It is delicious. Isn't it funny how Joey and I always start with coffee and then we end up with food talk? I love it. <laughs> that is awesome. We should um, we should start to what do you call that yeah. a a restaurant review like where because you 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 guys are pretty good about trying out different things except for Taco Bell run. We did have um, had been there a really long time Peruvian. Um, Peruvian food the other night. I love yeah. that you guys are so adventurous. I love that. 
Yeah. Was it good? Love, it was good. I always get the same dish wherever I, whenever I go. So Wait, it's... chicken parm? <laughs> no, it's Italian. <laughs> they don't have it there. I would get it if they tried. <laughs> it's it's called um, uh, Soltaldo. But there's like, I get Lomo Soltaldo. So it's um, oh, cool. pieces of steak with rice, onions, and usually potatoes Ooh. or french fries on the plate. So it's like an Americanized dish, but it's... Yeah, but just... The sauce is amazing. It's like a sweet soy sauce kind of. I, oh, I, yeah. yumminess. Just yeah, yummy. Place. So whatever I kind of find like a Peruvian place or a South America place that has it on the menu, that's usually what I'll order. It's very good. Yeah. Hey, kids dealing more. Hey, hey. It's good to see everybody. Man, it's, it's kind of, it's always nice. It's comforting to know that we're going to have some of the same people because it's, it's like, it's like, you know, like when you go over to your family's house and you walk in and it's kind of like. That's my cheers. Like, you guys are my yeah. cheers. Like, I just walked and in, it's, and it's like, oh, yeah. And it's awesome, too, because originally, guys, because we've been doing this a while now. We've been doing this since July. And the first few months, you know, we'd open the doors, essentially, and be the only kids at the party. <laughs> kind of, huh? We were kind of sitting with party hats and just, like, It was us and Noxie in the chat just talking to each other the whole show. Yeah. It was fun. And now when we open the doors, it's like, Norm! Cheers. Yeah, <laughs> it's just so much fun. So we really appreciate you guys hanging out and joining us. Uh, yeah, you can you can find rad. us here on on YouTube Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at six uh, p.m. Yeah. Pacific time or local wherever you are right now. We're gonna be Monday is our what sold on show. I think we're gonna yeah. stick with that theme for a little bit. What sold for us on the show? Um, we'll go over our sales um, from the previous weeks on eBay and Poshmark and any other platform. We'll bring up some crazy sales, some weird sales, some things that in the categories that we sell in that's like just kind of outliers and stuff like that, like right. we kind of did the other night. Um, Wednesday's show is more of our theme show, so it's usually when we have a guest on Wednesdays, we don't have the guest tonight because we had a meetup yesterday, so we'll do a meetup recap, but it's our guest show, it's our fun show, it's, more, it's our more, sometimes our more serious show. <laughs> and typically Monday and Wednesday shows if you miss it here or you want to watch it or if you're traveling on Monday and Wednesday show the next day they're usually up on the podcast on any of the podcast networks iTunes, Spotify, yeah. Stitcher Pocket Cast, Google Play iHeartRadio, Pandora, anywhere you can listen to a podcast you can find us Ecom 101 you'll see the picture of the chalkboard that's us, Yeah. except no yeah. imitation except no substitute, how about that for school play yeah, that's good, Joey. That's good. Yep. And then Friday, come join us. Um, it's our resellers online drinking coffee. It's our off the rails, long three, four, five, two, whatever hour show. <laughs> we talk about anything and everything under the sun. Last week we talked about ghosts and cemeteries. Right. But it is respectful. I was gonna say it's not. It's not like we. I mean, occasionally we get a little like. Mm, but no. You know, it's still kind and respectful. Oh yeah, and, it's but Friday's you know, sort of like that that deal where we all gather around at the local pub, you know, and you just yes! shoot the breeze after the work week. That's what Friday night's about. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like just letting off some steam a little bit and letting your hair down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of nice. That's that. I, I really do enjoy Fridays because it, it's not so structured, you know what I mean? And, and it's kind of, it does really kind of feel like I just got off work. And so now I'm just kind of shooting the breeze with yeah. my coworkers. So you always got a chance it. to check us out. You can find us anywhere. Like I said, YouTube, subscribe below. All the links will be in the description below I didn't get a chance to put it in pre-show post-show it'll be there but every yeah, other show has it so absolutely home. and if you're not following joey and i on ig i really encourage it you're going to find him over at um say it plug jr your... financial coach you can find me robin yednock um and then e our ecom e i'm trying to boost podcast, those numbers yeah. for all of us because we it really does uh the more numbers you get the more content is sent to you on the feed so I don't want you to yeah. miss any fun stuff. And again, if you're not, hey Tracy, if you're new in the chat or you're new to the channel or program, and you're on Facebook, Ecom yeah. 101 podcast or Ecom 101 on Facebook is a Facebook group that we have. Right. Uh, we talk about everything. It's basically like the post show of the show section. So come and talk about anything you want to hear about, themes you want us to talk about, questions you have about eBay or selling. Well. We'll talk about it. We'll answer them. We'll, if you have a question, we'll address it on the show. Yeah, I would really like to see people in there too. Like, I, I do like seeing yeah. some of your pictures. Like, you should put some of your solds in, or like if you have a theme that you'd like to see on the show about something that you sold, that would be, we could talk about that too. Cause we yeah. just started a new thing. Joey brought up this really great idea, and I didn't realize 
how fun it was i just went right down the rabbit hole was he said find the craziest sold and the craziest listing like like something hasn't sold oh my gosh <laughs> i know like, that is so much fun you oh guys so yeah so i'm just saying like if you figure something out like that just throw it in ecom facebook and then maybe we can get people engaged and then we can like you know grow from that like we could i don't know like make a shoot off of that for the show or whatever so anyway yeah i'm gonna try to here we go let me see if i can post a link into the oh into the into the chat yeah i know i'm so bad at this stuff here oh no it's okay we're you know hey we're still the new kids on the block and we're still learning all the ins and outs of this thing hey marie is it raining up there is it cold it's like it's like I think 66 here today. It feels a little springy here. Like it was kind of nice with all the sun out. How about everybody else? Like, oh, undercover thrifter. Yes, there we had a uh, Sasquatch in the house on a Friday. That was fun. We had oh my Minnesota God. Sasquatch, I think. Yeah, he was amazing. He's a fun guy. Funny guy. He must be out foraging now because <laughs> I don't see him. <laughs> yeah. Man, oh man. Anyway, what's, cool. what's the weather like for everybody? How? I mean, I don't. I'm assuming you guys are like. Uh, oh, there you go. You got it, Joey. Good job. Yeah, I'm gonna be on like three different tabs going on at one time. This is my first time here. You're both affiliated with. Um, are you both affiliated with the thrifting board? No, but one of us is. So. But I hear it's a good place. Yep, I'm in there. I think a little bit. I don't post much on any of my stuff because I got so yeah. many things going on. I just I'm I, I, yeah. As much as you guys lurk in our chats and our, yeah. I lurk everywhere else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we are just. On there are so many here. groups, right? I mean, like yeah. you know, to be honest, uh, undercover thrifter. I don't know what your your real name is, so I don't know if you want to pop it up. But um, I mean, we're so busy with just handling our own stuff, and then we have ecom Facebook, and then we have the ecom. Yeah, we're kind of like you know, and then trying to support our other YouTubers. It's, you know. You can't be in everything, right? You just can't. Yeah, it's fun. So, so I, I always, I always recommend if you have the time to, yeah, definitely go ahead and try to be in as many things as you can. And then it's the best place to pick and choose and learn. So you pick the mm -hmm. best things that fit for your business or things you right. need to improve on from one or the other. It's never really a good idea. At least that's how I always feel it. Is put all your eggs in one basket. I'm a financial guy. I like to diversify diversify my groups and I diversify my information and I take the best things for me and I incorporate that into my business and, and my selling and my teachings and coaching and everything else so yeah the more the more groups you're in the better just uh, if you're getting a consistent message from each group on a certain topic it's probably the right information if you're getting conflicting yeah. things from everywhere else your answer is somewhere in the middle <laughs> yeah yeah well, and like anything else, too, sometimes you join groups and then you outgrow them because they either start with a beginner base and now you're intermediate kind of thing. And, you Over know, here, my, so I, at least I change us. all the time, and especially that eBay and I'm on so many platforms now selling that I I have a tendency not to follow a group about eBay. I follow groups that are selling specific things like vintage streetwear uh, hard goods, you know, that kind of mm -hmm. thing, because I, I want to learn more about the product because I already kind of know the platform. So I don't really need to know, like, you know what I mean? You know, and I'm kind of just more in YouTube right now. I just kind of, it's my thing right now. So you there know, you go. Look at the make friends in the reseller world, world, but I've learned quickly the ones I want to avoid. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, that happens. I'm, that, that happens. happens. Yeah, I think Joey and I both have had experiences like that. You know, um, we tend to be very kind and, uh, you know, um, sensitive people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you'll find that here. We're so very we, we open. Try, we just try to like, yeah, we're we're not we're not hiding anything. And if we if we're we're learning with you too because we're the new kids on the block in the YouTube world. Um, so yeah, I just say like keep like Joey said. Joey's got the best advice. Just keep finding groups that work for your business or your whatever you're selling i mean i'm not sure maybe put up in the chat like what you're selling and stuff and we can go from there because the chat's pretty helpful too well we're glad you so. found us at least yeah we're glad you're here yeah i get it awesome. i get it you nice supposed to be oh so you guys are all getting rain too you no i just was the chats yeah i'm the same way man i just uh 
I don't really post anymore. I haven't posted in these groups in a long time. I just visit the chats and yeah. see what people are talking about and see if everybody's talking about the same thing. Right. Yeah. Had to jump out and follow it. Oh, yay. Thanks, Jazz. Yeah, because you're probably working, right? It's probably a work day for you. Well, it was good to see you, honey. Thank Bill Bradley you. said hi. <laughs> I'll have to get you into the group. I think this is oh, a little bit the confusing part of it. Is it's, um, some people, we have a Facebook page that's for the page because you need a page to start a group, I think it was. So I have the page and the group have the same name. Yeah. So I have to get people to get into the actual group group. Right, right. And I got one just now. Hey, yeah, somebody, just, jazz, yeah. somebody just asked to join and it wasn't jazz. It was somebody in the chat. Oh, nice. So guess what? Approved. <laughs> live approval right here live on Thank Ecom you for 101 us. <laughs> I love it well like Joey said we're just glad you guys are here you guys you guys kind of push us along and motivate us so we're very happy to see everybody so yep. do you you know like you want to get into the meat and potatoes Joey like are we like should we just like you know we got like I think we got 21 people whoop 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 what do we get into well, yes, yesterday we, was a big day. Yeah, yesterday was a big day. Uh, it's Joey and I's uh, meet up, our annual, our annual, our monthly. <laughs> we only meet once a year, uh, once once a month, and it was yesterday at eBay headquarters. And we, the topic was about stores. So, how many in the chat have an eBay store? Let's go there. Let's start there, and then we'll we'll move along. With the meat and potatoes. Bye, Jazz. You're so Bye, cute. Jazz. I will prove you, even though you didn't answer the questions. <laughs> we kind of know that you kind of good for it. <laughs> Approved. <laughs> it's like the Target that. lady from SNL for Saturday Night Live. It's like, Approved. <laughs> if that's what I feel like right now. <laughs> Yay, a group member. <laughs> I love it. Oh man. I love it. So, Joey, you have a store, right? I do. We've had a store pretty much since three months after we started reselling again. Nice. Wait, you said again? Did you? I didn't know you. Did you leave and come back? I didn't realize that. Is that because you? Yeah, kind of. I mean, we've we've been on the platform since 2000, but you know, oh, sell off okay, and on. Okay. So you sell a little bit, you leave. You sell a bit, meet a goal, you leave. That kind sure, of stuff. Sure, sure. So. Well, and you were also doing. Um, well, you were finishing up your. I mean, you were doing a lot of stuff. So yeah. I get it. I get so it. there's reasons why I'd hey, go Jennifer, back and forth Wendy? to eBay. Yeah. You know, if I'm selling something or we had a goal we wanted to do, so we'd start selling again. When we started actually reselling full time or full part time or part full time or whatever we're yeah. doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute, Joey. <laughs> I always I say it's it. part time job, full time hours. All right. And then. That's what, what it feels like. I hear you. I hear you, Joey. What, so let me ask you this yep. What kind of store? What level do you have? We have the. I wish I knew the answer. Oh. The 500, the 1,000 listing one. That's the Premier. Premier? Yeah, okay. premium, We started with basic. I have to look at the, oh wait, let me look at my cheat sheet. Hold on, you guys, because I took photos yesterday. Starter, basic. Yeah, and then there was the. Um, Premier Anchor Enterprise? Y uh, yes. Okay, so we have Premier. We started with a basic store because they didn't have the starter store. Right. But we were getting enough free listings every month that they would just offer us that we didn't need a store right away once we started reselling again. They yeah, give so here's 100 listings, here's 500 have. listings, here's 1,000 listings, here's 400 listings. So we were doing that, and uh, we didn't really need enough. You know, we had enough to right, really need a right. store. And then when those stopped coming and we had 600 listings up or 500 listings up, like, okay, we need to upgrade our store because we're going to charge a crap load of fees. So Yeah, yeah. That's when we upgraded. Well, since you're a number guy, I figured eventually, you know, because there's that, like we talk about that, Joey, you know, where you get to that cusp, right, where you, like, you you know what I mean? Like you're all of a sudden paying extra fees because you're actually – so that's when you have to kind of like do what you do, which is you regroup, mm -hmm. rethink, make your list, and figure out what you want to spend. So what we have – so I have a premium too, just like Joey. And so he and I – well, our teams – I say team, uh, he and I, but our team. So like he and his wife are a team, uh, Jimmy and I are a team. Uh, 59 is what we pay. So how about everybody else? Yep. What what kind of stores do you guys have? Because there's starter, basic, premium, anchor, and enterprise, like you said. 
Starter is a new one for me. Did you know about the starter? Like that seems like that just happened not well, too long ago. Last year after open, I think they did yeah, that one. Like not, I, not this open, but I think right before following. that one they started it. And then the one thing that always complains about, and Brian was talking about it last night, Brian Burke, who's at our meetup, was the need for a store between Premier and Anchor. Right. Is, is a right. very big need because it goes from 1,000 listings to 10,000 listings, but $59 to $300. Right. And the reasoning behind the price he was saying was the $300 store gets you the customer service, the right. dedicated customer service line. So the extra right. fee that you're paying your monthly helps fund that department. But the, mm-hmm. potentially they're looking into where you can just buy baskets of listings. Like if you want to buy an extra 500 listings, it's X amount per month. So you can buy that and add on to your offer. But yeah, which, which would be nice. Right, because it, it, then it kind of correlates to what you were saying, like when you're talking about your budget. Like if you couldn't afford, like if we were, pre, like we're premium now, right? And I look at the anchor and I'm kind of like choking on the cost a little bit. Like, whoa, 299.95. Like I don't know if I can afford it like every month. Mm-hmm. So kind of doing the shoppy shop, like, you know, like, oh, maybe this month I'll take an extra 100 listings. Right. Like, I kind of like that option. So, okay, basic. We got basic. I'll get it. Part-time seller's okay because, you know, Joey and I talk about it all the time. You know, if you have a full-time and you got Benny's, part-time's just as good. Because remember, you got to do your what, Joey? What do you got to know? Your sin. Seller independence number. That's right. You still almost okay. stumped me there. <laughs> no, no. Joey. <laughs> Joey's had to finish his coffee. I was almost yeah, oh. I was drinking my coffee for a second. I was like, I yeah. think, let me take, take a bigger sip here. Yeah, premium. Oh, good. Premium, premium seems to be like the middle of the road for all of us. Like, we're mm-hmm. all right there. It's a nice now, mix because if you have that extra ooh. fee over, you only pay a little bit. Look at Miss Lisa, though. She just came out of nowhere with an anchor. Jack, that's 10000 I She did drop the mic. All right. Well, okay, so on the people who are premium... Are you hitting your thousand listings? Because I know I'm not. Are you, Joey? No. Okay. And then, I mean, Lisa, on your anchor, are you hitting 10K? I'll take that back. We're not hitting it, but we're close when you think about things that are ending and relisting. So immediately, if I have 600 items, I'm probably already just churning 600 out every month, regardless with the relistings. Yeah. It's, so I only have room to list, fresh list a few things, but okay. I All have right. not gotten close to my... Like, to it, yeah. Overage, but you will if you decide to end listings one month and relist. Like, I so should take all my listings down and relist them because I want to rework them. Yeah. And put them up and yeah. then fix things here and there. You will get close, but I like having the room to play around with that. Yeah. Oh, good job, Adam. Basic, basic store, part time basic. That's okay. Hey, listen, we're all about it. I think that's how you know. We we all like you know. I was just talking to. Uh, 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 Joey and his wife yesterday about I just got an unexpected bill and it kind of threw me for a loop because you know I try to live debt free and when you get those kind of big bills you're like whoa that came out of nowhere and so I'm kind of figuring out like uh, you know like what can I do like on a side hustle to just kind of pay because I don't like things like Joey's kind of taught me like not to keep a uh, what do you call that Joey like on your credit card your um what is that? The, not the premium, but the principal. Like, you know, you, you don't want to pay the minimum because you're always going to be paying their fee. Like, you're never going to get, like, to the point where you're, like, paid off. And so, no, I'm about, oh, Lisa, that is amazeball. 7K? She's got 7,000 listings, you guys. Jeez. That's rad. Good for you, girl. It's no, but I'll be uh, undercover thrifter saying that they'll be at 1,000 by February. I love that you have a goal like that. That's good That's for you. awesome. Oh my gosh, and Pamela is over 1500 Man, and you guys are like inspiring us, man. That's rad. So what That's I did good. here, Rob, is I pulled up the oh, yeah. sorry, store sorry. stuff. I'll go full screen on that. Yeah, yeah, do. So basically, you got through five stores, right? You got your starter, basic, premium, anchor, enterprise. You obviously can see the price per month. Your starter store is 495 a month. You got 100 listings. The basic store is 2195 a month. If you do annual, you get 250 fixed price and 250 auction. The premium is 59.95, which is mostly what this is what I have. You get 1,000 fixed price, 500 auction. I never, I hardly ever use the auction, honestly. Yeah, do you guys use the auction? I don't really either, Joey. No. Anchor store is 2.99 a month. You get um, 
thousand, ten thousand listings and one thousand auctions. And of course, enterprise, enterprise is three grand a month. I know, three man, that's month. crazy, right? Hundred thousand listings and twenty five hundred auctions. Oof. I'd like to meet somebody who's got enterprise. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you flipping. Uh, that's how I run my business too. No cash, no buy. Yep, I do not here. put. I don't put anything on credit. I'm so glad you're speaking my language, flipping particles. Yeah. And then you can see the differences here too. I mean, this, I'll, I'll link Good to this job, somewhere. Wendy. It's eBay sellers, uh, eBay seller center stores, and you can see how you, everybody gets free listings for guitars and basses, which is fine. Um, you do get Terra Peak. You don't get Terra Peak with the starter store. You get it with every other store. Mm -hmm. uh, the fixed price fee above the F free allocation. That's where. We decided to go from basic to premium because right. in the basic store, in the starter store, it's 30 cents. So if you use your 100 free listings and then you pay 30 cents a listing over that, if you use your 250 in the basic, then you pay 25 cents over that. Yeah. And in the premium store, you pay 10 cents over that. Anchor and Enterprise, it's 5 cents. There's no difference in the pricing on those guys on that. Right, right. So for us, it was like 10 cents a listing over. I'm never going to go over. It's fine. But the big thing, Robin, that we use it for is the $50 a quarter eBay branded shipping huh. spice coupon, <laughs> nice. which is awesome. It is awesome. I thought you were gonna bust out with the Lego song. Do you remember? Like everything it's is awesome. 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 Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that you're going that way, Joey. Yeah. So if you think about it from that regard, in any of these problem, any of these situations, I mean, basics a little different because basics twenty one ninety five. Yeah. But it's like four months free of your store in shipping supplies. Yeah. 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 So I get four months free in shipping supplies. And so I'm already prepaid for the shipping supplies, essentially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So might as well just use it. Good job, Lisa. Up to 9,000. Man, that is a lot of hard work there. Mm -hmm. Well, sure. the reason we brought up stores was because Brian Burke was our guest speaker last night. And he was talking about why you should probably have a store. And so here's some of the purposes of a store. Custom branding and navigation, which which we had Maria on, and we have the video. It's in our collection. You can find it where she talked about branding yourself as a reseller. So I agree. Your storefront looks good. Um, yes. And then you keep your buyers engaged because once they go through your store, then they might, like, you know, um, Joey found a sports card. And now he found a jersey, and he wasn't looking for a jersey, but now he really wants that jersey. <laughs> uh, it builds buyer confidence because it looks like you're together. And, you know, you've got your brand, you've got your store, it looks good. Um, you kind of look trusted, right? Like you don't look like you're just throwing your stuff from your garage up. Uh, puts uh, It points buyers to all of your inventory, which is good because in my case, I sell everything under the sun. Um, I'm known for my vintage hard goods, but you know, you never know. Like I might be sourcing with, you know, Joey and his wife, and I might find some really cool sports cards because he has the knowledge, and now he's like pointing me in the right direction, and I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna jump on that because I can make 200 bucks. I'm just saying. Now that I'm knowing what grading is and and different things, like I'm, I'm. It's another rabbit hole. I'm telling you guys, if you've never done it, it is another rabbit hole. Yes. And then it minimizes, according to Brian, it minimizes buyer questions. So I think it comes down to you, you look like you're a trusted seller instead of just somebody who's selling stuff from a garage. You're like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I just need to get rid of my stuff and, you know. Yeah, I'm I sorry, get it. Just, uh, yeah. The one thing I was curious about, I'm reading it here, is the customized store web address. I don't even know if I have that set up. The, say that one more time. It says customized store web address. Oh, like if you wanted, uh, well, is that with all of your, with all of your store, or I mean, or are they just saying like, like kind of what Maria does, where she has her own website? I'm not sure. I don't know if it's just like eBay.com/slash my store name. Like, and that's yeah, what you, I, I don't know. I, it's been so long since I set it up. I should probably know what it is. I don't know. I'm, we, well, we'll find out, right? Like, if we don't yeah. know the answer, we'll find out. A couple of pickles. You have a warehouse, storage units. All right. 
And then the last one on that one Ooh, was manage listings. So basically, if you have a store, you can manage your listings so that if you had a family emergency or if you're going on vacation, you can you can utilize that service for your store, which is also a very professional edge because Joey and I do talk about that too, as you always want to represent your store in a professional manner because they would think that you are a multi-person business right because i always say like when i do i don't know about you joey i think i learned it like when we were talking about that like i always put we like mm -hmm. my like we we at green eyed raven would like yep. to thank you for our business you know that kind of thing they don't know it's just me hey two i see three hey brad this must be brad hey brad so yeah so that's how that started so that's how we started the the meetup yesterday uh brian kind of talking about you know why stores are kind of uh you know, uh, a good idea. And that basically he talked about the levels. So uh, basically how Joey's talked about where you need to look at your finances and see if you're going over. And if you're at the cusp where you need to might move over. Um, I figured it out, Robin. I hate to jump in here. It's no, the, do. It's I, the I, ebay.com slash str slash your store name. Oh, cool. That's the okay. customized web address. Nice. So it's not ebay.com slash six yeah, five yeah, seven yeah. three four three six whatever. That's the customized store name. I'm but so if glad you, you figured yeah, that out. Noxy, I tried putting ebay.com slash store name in there, like whatever my store name is, and it just said error. But when I went to my manage my store yeah. on here and then I went to my like storefront where you can see my featured items and everything else, that's right, where it says right. in the in the URL above it has the ebay.com slash str slash store name. Joey save the day. That's, That's what good. that is. I love that. I love that. Like he gets curious enough where he's just got to figure it out. Yeah, I got to Google it live. Yeah, Joey or Robin, I watched last week. I'm the guy who spoke at Angie's from last week, Utah. Oh hey. Oh hey, Adam. Yeah. yeah totally. Ugh, let me let me go back live here. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I'm looking at the white screen. <laughs> I got your info written down right here. I love it. I love Next it. Next to my pile of paperwork, I have to talk. To, I have to talk to you. We have, to, we have to chat, yeah. Totally, I, I didn't forget. I, well, I forgot, obviously. <laughs> but I, thank you for reminding me. Uh, I definitely will be in touch. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it down again on my like top paper here. Hold on. Nice. So then, so then Brian went on to talk about like, so we talked about why you should have a store, the different levels, and then we went into the benefits of having a store. So like he was talking about up to sixty percent off of final value fees. Um, fifty dollar, which Joey obviously and his you know wife love, which I do too because I love it, is the branded shipping supply. So you get the fifty, or it's one hundred and fifty for like Lisa. Lisa gets the one hundred and fifty, and then now because of eBay Open last year, you get the free Terapeak uh, Terapeak uh, subscription, and then uh, you also get insertion fee credits for auction listings that sell. So if anybody has had that, like, let's talk about that, too, because Joey and I don't do a lot of auctions. I don't know if you guys, do you guys do a lot of auctions? Lisa, what about you? Do you do a lot of auctions? Then there's also a de dedicated customer support by phone and email for stores. So, like, when you, when you go through your help, click up at the top, they will know your store name, like, automatically. It comes up on their screen. So then they, they would know how to direct you like it's not just like somebody selling their stuff from the garage kind of thing and then um you also get a 25 dollar quarterly credit for promoted listings joey do you promote listings at all we used to do promoted listings and then with the glitchy glitch thing that was going on recently yeah, yeah, with yeah. the double listings and they were taking listings away and revamping yes. everything i yes. have not done promoted listings since then Nice. Okay. Well, I too stopped for a while because of the <laughs> glitchapalooza, uh, but I have just recently gone back and I am now doing something different. I was doing it like 2%, 3%, and now I'm doing the, um, we talked about it last night, the uh, trending. trending. I'm doing trending on the promoted. And it seems to make a difference because in my area, which is one offs, it, it's a lot of them are saturated so I have to really and it's not much more than like I think the most that we've gone up to is like 7% 7% 7 
so it's like you know two dollars and thirteen cents kind of thing on some things so um yeah i mean i don't know does anybody else promote too i know i do i'm still trying to figure out how to make a full-time income on a regular basis on ebay well you've come to the right show <laughs> because we talk about it all the time we specifically talk about uh seller independence number which is what we call hashtag sin know your sin um, because our our best advice is don't do anything without knowing that number and we did a video about it so we have it in our collection so we will we will definitely get you in the right direction yes um, and just a little you know uh, you know support my my co-host here if you ever have any financial questions that is his primary job he is a financial a financial coacher a coach coacher you're a coacher you're, he's a financial coach and so that's his that's he's got an mba and that's what he does that is his job like ebay and youtube is his side hustle or his side business youtube eventually would probably be a, a really good stream for us but his main job is financial coaching so not to say that I'm pushing that on you. I don't want you to think that's that kind of show. But, I, you know, I get it. It's confusing. And sometimes you need to get past all your debt to figure out where you got to be to get to the point where you're like me, which is a full-time reseller. So just helping my co-host out. There you go. I just put a link in the chat more to that, that video. It's our second video that we did. It's number two. It's our Seller oh, Independence good. Day. What is your why video it happened right on July 4th. So we came up with the whole Seller Independence Day thing. And that's basically knowing the numbers you need to go full time. A lot of people go full time right. and they just decide like you're making thirty five thousand dollars a year at your job, you didn't make thirty five thousand dollars in sales of the same lifestyle, and that's not true because a lot of people forget that their their work covers a lot of things like health insurance, dis disability insurances, life insurance, um, retirement planning. So you have to cover all those things right. on your own when you go full time. Don't skimp on those. Don't think you don't need those because right. You're on your own. Right. Those are things you need. So your overall, what you need to sell, minus fees and everything else, is going to be a lot higher than what your current income is. So figuring out what your seller right. independence number is is what you need to sell gross-wise, minus your expenses, minus what your your benefits were at work, your bennies and stuff, and then boom, what you're left over with is your livable livable income, and that's what you were right. you're trying to replace. So the best thing is we had Liz O'Kane on a couple weeks ago, Colorado yeah. Reborn, and yes. she was in the She's, She's a great rad. video. So if we go back and watch that one too, she was in the military for 20 something years, 23 years. And the last two years she sold part time, basically nights and weekends and built up enough money in her selling account that when she retired, she could go full time. And she had enough mm -hmm. knowledge and experience doing that. And that's the thing I would recommend for anybody. If you're not in a situation where you fall into reselling, which a lot of us do because it's an easy thing to start up a business and start selling and making money. But if you plan to have it as a business, definitely plan to have, definitely do a plan and, and work at it and build it. And then when you're ready, go full time. Yeah, exactly. All right, and so then the last slide that we were shown was like, what store is right for me? And so again, this is kind of in cahoots with your SIN number. Mm -hmm. You have five, five store levels, right? So the formula is how to decide. So this is a formula. How many listings do you have, right? Um, what is your sell through rate? Your average sale price, so that's your ASP. And do you need a higher level of support? So not just in the reseller community, but also with the platform that you're selling on. And then start with the monthly subscription, upgrade or change to appropriate levels. So right now they kind of do this thing where I'm, Joey and I are premium, but they sometimes we get an email saying, hey, you know, if you want to try the next level, we won't, we'll only charge you the premium price for a couple months just to give it a shot. And then you're allowed enough room to come back if you feel like, ooh, I can't, I can't really reach all that. And so it's actually going to put me over on my budget kind of thing. Um, and then once you know, lock in more savings with an annual subscription. And then basically he had a general rule of thumb. Like if you're halfway to the next store level monthly, uh, listings allotment, evaluate, evaluate upgrading, and then listing five items a month, you are paying us 250 times 25 cents per listing above 250 equals 62.50 versus 59.95.
So that's right. the math. I, he doesn't yeah. have the slide up. Um, no, like we, just, so basically, you know, Robin, that was when with the basic store, right? So if you have 250 right. items in your basic store and you list another 250 items or 500 total, those right. extra 250 items at 25 cents a piece plus right. your 21.95 store fee for basic would be 62.95 upgrade to the premium for 59 and then you get it, you save money and then you get an extra 500 listings out of it plus the extra $25 right. in branded coupon right and i know this is kind of heady stuff but this is like really important because i mean this is what the show's about right ecom 101 we're all about trying to save money for you guys and kind of show you like on, at least on the ebay platform how to do that because I know everybody gets a little frustrated with the fees and stuff um, but actually if you just take a moment take a breath look at the chart that Joey's showing check out our videos you know and sit down and do the pro and con I think you'll find that you're actually if you're on the cusp you would probably save more money than not and then it kind of motivates you like on Lisa's store you know, she's at an anchor. She's got 10,000 listings that she's got to get to to really uh, make the that a benefit for her. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So anyway, can you put us big again? I feel like I, I, I feel like I can't. Yeah, there we go. I'm like, I can't see you. <laughs> and then he just dropped in Lisa's show, uh, the episode show, yeah. that she was on. So that was really cool because, you know, she's a reseller just like you and I. She's a regular person. She's not a Joey. She's not a financial counselor. So, you know, not like not Joey. all of us can be Joey's. So it's nice to hear her story and her planning and everything. So and so basically that kind of covered uh, the stores. And then Maria and I just kind of got up to show our stores to give people a, a, like a reality. Like this is what a store would look like kind of thing. So that was fun. Um, and then he basically kind of talked about where eBay is, uh, where the world goes to shop, sell, and give. They kind of gave the numbers for the third quarter. They don't have the numbers yet for fourth quarter. Well, they do. As you know, <laughs> since the segue into Q4. Um, it released yesterday. Was, they weren't prepared for the show us that. <laughs> there, uh, there was some big news. There was some big news. eBay dropped a big, holy moly on a lot of us uh and while we were walking to the show some of us uh are connected to people who are or were employed with ebay and we found out some really sad news that they got their pink slips and it i you know i kind of took the wind out of my sails for a little bit because i have a really good friend his name's doug smith you guys know him i know you guys know him because you meet him at the meetups and eBay open. Uh, Snoop Dougie. Yeah, Snoop Dougie. Follow, give him a follow, I, everybody, yeah. on his Instagram. He's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he is amazing. And, I, you know, Joey hasn't been to, an uh, to like, the big conferences they have and all that stuff. Like, uh, we had eBay 20 at San Jose, and they, you know, up fronts and stuff. But he got to meet him at at our meetup and he was gracious enough to always come and like I don't know he just felt like family right like I don't know to me he was like family because we're all about social media and uh I think there was a common too for you guys you like a lot of music too like he, Joey note like I there's those things like where you hear music and he's that kind of guy who's like oh yeah, yeah blah, 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 blah. so yeah oh I'm, I'm on my video like oh <laughs> So, so that's, that was news for us. News. I mean, I knew I had put uh, on my Insta stories that eBay was letting go 200 people. So, oh, I know. I don't even know what to say. Bravo, OG Housewives. <laughs> oh, no. Well. Well, well, well. <laughs> Poor housewives. Poor housewives of whatever town they're in. I sold a hundred clothing on his. Yeah, right. I what it, I, it was this just? Uh, oh, the OG. So that's uh, Orange County, right? Or OG, like as in old, old mm. gangsters. New York or first like season or third. Of who, housewives. Who knows? It's one reality show I don't watch. 
I don't know. I don't follow that well, show. Yeah, several, but yeah. I don't e- either. I don't yeah, either. it's funny. So I put Doug Smith's I uh, Snoop Doggy's no. Instagram in here. Give him a follow, man. He's fun. He's a fun dude. Show him some support over there. Yeah, Tracy. The numbers were not that. The numbers that came out yesterday that they didn't talk to us about, but were out at the end of close, were not very good. So, stock dropped. No, and actually, I think a lot in one. Overnight. Yeah, I think yeah the st- yeah. right, and I think yeah. it was actually brought up during uh, the meeting, kind of threw Brian for uh, for a little second because because you know he he hasn't had a chance to look, but our meetup people were on it because they watched their stocks and and if they're mm-hmm. involved in all that, so yeah, it dropped kind of significantly and. Uh, and yeah, and, and Joey and I just didn't really get to talk about that, so I'm kind of interested to hear Vicky. Oh, oh, you're giving me the, I was like, wait, which one's your name? Undercover Thrifter, but never mind, I understand. They're the housewives. You're giving me the names of the housewives. Krillin is in the house. All right, Zoe, you got to help me out. What am I looking at here? So this is their stock price as of today. So after hours, it closed down a lot uh, last night. So previous close was at the end of day yesterday. You see here it's just 36.21. Do you see that right there, Evan? Yes, yes. I see your little. So that's what it closed at when the market that. when the market closed yesterday. That's what it was selling for 36.21. After All market right. is when eBay announced their earnings and said, "This is what we're doing. This is how we're doing. This is how well we did. This is how bad we did. We didn't beat the yeah, estimates. Yeah. We had less at, less intake on our site. We have more sellers, but we sold less volume." Than last year and previous quarters, we didn't beat this estimate or that estimate. So after hours, the stock dropped. So this morning it ended up opening at thirty-five dollars and one cent. So overnight, if you had a close here, if you bought it at thirty-six, immediately yeah. when the stock opened today, you could sell it for thirty-five. But during the day, it went down to thirty-four fifty-eight, oh. and now after hours, it dropped again to thirty-four fifty. Woo! So it's already yeah. down, you know, quite a bit in the last. So it dropped four percent today from, you know, yeah, for yesterday's close from thirty six twenty yeah. one. That's four and a half percent. So it's a five, almost four and a half percent loss. Add in this point two three, you're almost at a five percent loss just from yesterday's close. Wow. Um, you can see their stock price for a while here. This is uh, this is all just today. It's very. Oh, it's like a year to date. This is all just today. You can see it's very oh, stagnant. Oh, it's all today. Oh, it's yeah. Went down God, as far as here. That's... I'll throw up the last five days. You can see. And then we get to, oh, like, here's earnings. Boom. This big drop-off. Woo! Joey, that's like, a, that kind of, the visual is kind of... Here's the last six bold. months. So we're up around $40. And then this is right around the middle of October. What was happening around the middle of October? Only hearing it when Robin speaks. Joey, no clue. Do you hear an echo, Joey? I don't. I don't either. Does anybody else hear an echo? Sorry, I was I was distracted by the graph because I am yeah, kind yeah. of a visual. So I was That's saying crazy. here, Robin, you see this this here in October? Remember what was going on in October? Yeah, 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 yeah. Glitchy glitch time. Wow. And this this big drop off here. This was their earnings from third quarter when they announced third quarter earnings. Wow. And just, yeah. Look at that drop, Joey. That's crazy. This is the, this is the whole year. You can kind of see it's been up and down, and then. Yeah, that's, man. I guess, I guess maybe show like can you show another stock that's like been consistent? Like I don't even know has Apple been consistent or I mean I kind of put I'm kind of put Joey on the spot here. This is like Joey doing the Google like on the spot. Here's Apple in the last year. You can see Oh, there you go. A couple little earnings things here and there but always kind of a uh, consistently going consistent up. up. Here's in the last 6 months. Yeah. You start off at $213 and now it's up to $324. Wow. You can see it went up two two percent in the last hour. I mean, the last day. Six dollars up. So that's so crazy, crazy, crazy. I gotta check this with the analysts say here, about eBay. Letting go of Devin. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks, thanks, still, Noxy. Still recommended as a. I did yeah. notice that too. It was coming in. I did now, notice but... the freezing. Yeah. No echo here. Okay, good, good. Yeah. 
It could just be our freaky weather here in California. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, wait, wait. I'm mostly Posh, Poshmark, selling more on eBay since October. I've been hobby selling on eBay since. Those numbers terrify me. Yeah, I, I well, you know that Joey's showing kind of the visual, like, because I, I do better with visual graphics. That is a little spooky to say. Oh, wait, what are you showing us now, Joey? I'm just trying to find the article here. It's talking about eBay surpasses fourth quarter earnings and expectations, but their fourth quarter earnings and expectations were not very good. Yeah. You can see so revenue for the same period it was down 2% on a year by year basis. Oh, okay. But analysts predicted 76 cents a share and they came in at 81 cents a share. So, But originally analysts had predicted a lot higher. They were predicting about 86 cents a share and then had to revise it at some point down because of the third quarter issues they had, the third quarter drop. The third to fourth quarter was I think a little bit lower and then year to year it's lower. But they did gain buyers you can see there's a two percent rise on a year-to-year -year basis from last year to this year right. of global active buyers global. but their total merchandise value which is the amount of merchandise that sells and that's what they were talking about in some yeah. of the other chats where the return price they still count as right. a sale that dropped five percent from last year to this year i got you I so got it went you. from well, 23.3 saying... billion to 22 billion dollars in total value but they got more buyers but they sold less stuff right which is interesting, right? So, well, there, people yeah. are in the chat are saying, can you compare Etsy? Like, can you do a, hey, Mel, can you do a comparison? Uh, like, can you pull Etsy up and see the comparison there? We're just doing a, yeah, we, so we're here's just Etsy. talking about the 200. Oh, my, look at that. We Mel, we were just talking about uh, the 200 firings that happened and how the stocks Joey was showing us how the stock had changed within like a 24 hour period. And now we're comparing it to Etsy for anybody who is just jumping into the chat. So here's Etsy's year to date. You can see they're very volatile. They went up as far as $72 a share. And then they went down as much as $42 a share. So if you bought here Oof. in February last year at $72 and you sold it here in November, you lost $30 a share. So they're slowly climbing back up again. This must've been when their numbers came out. They are considered overvalued, and, a, and an analyst recommend to sell it. eBay was a fair value uh, and uh, a buy, but Etsy's a sell. So if you have Etsy, they recommend selling it right now. Yeah. Uh, undercover thrifter, I, you know, listen, I, I hear what you're saying, but that's actually not accurate information. The marketing department is actually full of a, a lot of young people. And the only reason I know that is because uh, I did a speaking event becoming eBay where I talked to the new employees and actually their average age is from 26 to 35. So, you know, I hear you yeah. what you're saying. I think they're marketing to people over 45. Uh, the social yeah. media marketing is silly. They missed a huge opportunity. Well, they just got rid of their right. social media. And I think that's the problem they were saying, right, Robin? is I think what they're trying to say there is not so much blasting them i think that we have people who are millennials that know what what yes. is what ticks or what sells but they're handcuffed by upper right. management that doesn't see right now that the upper management thing. is right. over 40. because there's yeah. a, there was something recently that kind of we didn't talk about on the show and I, I haven't brought it up but it just made me remind me of this so yeah. ebay had several different um facebook pages and instagram accounts for their different mm -hmm. departments you had ebay for mm -hmm. business you had mm -hmm. ebay live whatever do you guys and remember at that some yeah. point in the last three or four months they just combined everything under one account which was really very odd and very startling like why would you and they were gaining that's the other thing like ebay for business was gaining and like on ig that's what you want to do is you want to gain mm -hmm. followers and when you look, and I bet if they could do the analyticals, because you and I can do analyticals not only on our ecom IG, but our personal ones too, mm -hmm. it will show you who's following you. Like, right. it will show you. So, like, my demographic for me is between 22 and 35. Very uh, strange because I'm 49. But I think it's because I don't have children and I do a lot of wacky stuff. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and I sell streetwear, and that's what I'm showing on my IG. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm checking. So I did they did we ever find out like why they kind of put it under one umbrella, Joey? Like I because I, I never think they were just saying to try to get everything sort of like one in one place in an effort to be more consistent and streamlined. But that's the thing too; they're not they don't put out stuff every day, 
and nope. if I'm a seller and I go to the main eBay um, the main eBay Facebook page and they're promoting like new listings or new items to buy or whatever but I need help it's like I want to be able to have my own space to go as a seller like ask questions and they, luckily they still have the eBay for business Facebook page and they have the podcast page that I think Griff runs mostly but it's sort of like they got rid of a lot of the other little pages and kind of rolled them under one aspect especially on Instagram so Instagram they got rid of just about everything and all that's there is just right. eBay right yeah, because they took all the markets, like all of like yeah. Europe and all of it out. Uh, need some help with glass. Interesting. We had some questions about recession. Um, undercover. Will everyone I see social media radio podcast is older? Um, Thank you. <laughs> really? Huh. No, I think I, I think no. on eBay. I think they're talking about like when Brian's oh. on or Griff is oh, on or I some of the older people oh, okay. are on. Okay. Yes. There's not yes. a lot of young people like us on. Yes. You are correct, Undercover Thrifter. If you're talking about eBay like Joey is suggesting, then yes, you are right. Although uh, I will be on next week's can. podcast, so that might bring the demographic down a little bit. Do you, okay, good, Joey. <laughs> but we'll talk about that later because we want to pipe that up really good. Uh, people buying on eBay are older. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I agree, Noxie. I'm concerned uh, if eBay Open 2020 will even happen. I called eBay Concierge Service. And they had no dates. This is Barry, by the way, Thrifting Santa. I spoke to Mandalay Bay Sales Department. They have no dates member. on their calendar for eBay or anything. Check back um, tomorrow, Thrifty Santa. Yes, we all love Griff. Yes, I agree. Um, you know, listen to this. So everybody that you're talking about, they know that they are not hitting the demographic that they want to hit. Yeah. Um, it is a stumbling block for eBay, and they are fully aware of it. Trust me, they are fully aware. They are never going to be posh. They're never going to be debop, and they're never going to be grailed. Um, but they don't have to be. They're eBay. They don't. But right? but we as resellers do bring up a valid point. We, if we can't bring in millennials, then we don't have potential sellers later on down the road. You know what I mean, Joey? Like our yeah. buyers need to be eventually sellers. So right now we have a huge, like the demographic of our sellers is, she's right, or that person's right. I don't know if you're he or she, sorry, undercover thrifter. Um, you're right. It, it, the demographic is considered when you talk to the millennials in my family. So I have five. So they range from 24 to 13. None of them are on eBay. None of them. Uh, they're on Posh. They're on Grailed, Depop. Uh, and there's a sneaker hub or something. There's I I'm not sure. They're all sneaker heads. The boys Josh, are. I know, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's really it's gonna be interesting in the next couple months. Uh, actually, to the end of the year, really, to see how this plays out. Um, because as everybody knows, there's a reshifting that's happening. It happens in. Uh, Fortune 500 companies around January. It happened when I worked for PayPal. Um, it's when they separated from eBay. There was this, whoosh, I mean, it was just a reshifting. So, um, yeah. I You're mean, right, these are all valid questions. Yeah. You know, Barry, I wish I could answer. I The only thing I can suggest is just keep your ear to the, to social media. Um, you yeah. know, I, I, if you, I mean, you actually did some due diligence and actually called Mandalay Bay, and if they have nothing on the calendar, I think kind of, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, yep. Krillin, yeah, uh, the sellers will always be there. Getting the buyers is the problem, and we can't. The great. sellers can't be buyers all the time because that's just, you know, chewing your own tail, basically. You spin around in a circle that way. There's no way that happens. You have to have people who strictly buy. And maybe people who strictly sell. And you said there's going to be sellers there, but getting the buyers is the problem. And what do we do to get the buyers? My my concern with some of this is, again, eBay is, um, I'll say number two behind Amazon, with in the retail secondary retail market. Now there's other companies that are rising, right? But eBay's number two well, probably fashion, with right. I mean, like you know, Posh is number I think three or four on fashion, so. But eBay's got so many different categories, right, Joey? I mean, like, it's not just one thing. Oh, what the heck? Sorry about that. You oh, oh, you were hearing a voice. That, I, 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 I was hearing an ad voice. playing in my head, and I was it was actually 
I was on the eBay stock page that had it closed down below, and it was playing an Amazon Alexa commercial in my ear. Are we entering a world recession this year? Man, you just come in and like with the big old like buzzkill. I, you know, honestly, I think if you think that we're going into any kind of recession, um, is good because you're saving then. Because if you think and you're spending, 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 and then you're hit with a recession, then you've just put yourself in a major jam. So Joey being a financial counselor, I'm going to let him have his professional say on that. But for me, as a reseller, I'm always thinking that we're going to be in a recession. So I always have money sacked away for the what ifs. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, because I've been there, right? 2008 hit and we hit, we were hit hard with a recession. Uh, Jimmy worked for the state. Next, you know, they weren't getting their paychecks. We were like, oh my God, what are we going to do? I was working uh, for the city. It was a really crazy time. Um, and we had nothing socked away. So that being learned, uh, lesson learned, we do not live like that now. So, no, Joey? I, will, I will answer and say <laughs> I don't see there being a worldwide recession. Essentially, I can see pockets of the economy in areas possibly. Talk about pockets, Joey. What do you mean by pockets? So, pockets, let's say here in California, right? They might be spending money or, or leveraging money or taxing to a certain point where population leaves and, you know, there's shortfalls and then the housing market goes down, you know, like we had previously. In those in 2006 2007 california was hit hard by the housing market but other areas were not hit as hard right because the housing market here is an inflated bubble right who pays a million and a half dollars for a two-bedroom shotgun shack worth 600 square <laughs> right. feet so when the housing market drops that house drops and people lose their money so it's gonna be like pockets so certain areas may be hit harder than others but with the housing especially here in california i could see and around the country you know if you follow the numbers that come out Unemployment's down. But that's just one of the numbers, one of the indicating factors. Um, new home sales are going up. New home building is going up. So construction's there, and construction is usually one of those leading indicators. Where if construction starts to slow down, people stop. That means people are stopping to spend money on housing, and then you start seeing that people start stocking stuff away. Uh, the Fed hasn't raised interest rates in a while. So I mean, as far as America goes, I really don't see a lot of that especially in the next with the next election coming up i don't see a big drop in the next nine months of the economy here now if trump gets reelected and let's say the house flips and there's a majority all around i could see the economy being a little bit stronger in some areas um if uh, the democrats win and depending who that is i could see the economy flipping a little bit, you know, coming back on a halt, depending if it's Bernie or Biden or Warren, whoever gets in there, mm -hmm. and what they want to do with their fiscal policy. It's all about fiscal and monetary policy at that point. Uh, and I won't bore you with that in this episode. So No, I was uh, like, Joey, that's a whole nother episode. Yeah. <laughs> but um, overseas it's different. Like they, they run their economies oh, differently yeah, overseas. The EU's doing something different with Brexit that happened. Mm -hmm. um, they left the European Union because they wanted to be on their own. It's just uh, so I can yeah, see so, where you know. there's different things going on. I, I, there's been no indication out there, even with the steel right. tariffs and the, the, the phase one signed with China just recently. I, I don't see there being like a worldwide halt on things. With right. the USMCA and the phase one signed with China deal, and I'm sorry, Robin, I'm boring you a little bit. I don't... <laughs> No, I don't see there no being, I'm just answering. I'm just getting questions yeah, ready to go. I don't see there being a, a worldwide recession Um no, I don't it, agree with it. It didn't hit when there was when he put the tariffs on steel. We didn't get hit with a recession. Wages wages were still rising. Unemployment went down. Um, maybe overseas they took a, a big hit, but all that was inflated yeah. anyway. You know, they, it was inflated right. in the system like anyway overseas. Germany so it kind of came places. back down the reality, and actually more money flowed back into our pockets a little bit. Or well, not into mine. I didn't see any of it, but the companies here. <laughs> What do you mean, like, overall, like, uh, economically? It, yeah, and then it trickles yeah. down. I mean, I do, again, right. like I say, my pockets of, of recession. No. If you look yes. at San Francisco, for example, the rents right. are so high it's that ridiculous. it's forcing, like, businesses to close. So you have blocks right. and blocks where there's no business, right. where then the homeless come in and the vagrants come in and other things happen on those blocks. And then, 
you know, the blocks are pretty much gone. You know, they're, they're taken over right. and they're forget. Right. So you could look at a street and go, oh my God, there's a recession because look how, how bad right. our and worst I think people that's look. What it is, and that's Joey. not necessarily what's going on. I think there's right. those are the pockets that I'm talking about. Exactly. So if you look because, at downtown and other you know, areas, yeah. it's, yeah. Exactly. Because, well, if you look at, uh, I live in the capital of the state. Our homeless situation here is out of control. So, Joey, mm-hmm. I think you kind of hit right on the nail. Not to, you know, I'm just saying I'm in agreement with you because I don't see it actually going right. to a recession. I just, it looks like we are because we have a rent situation. We have a, oh my gosh, cost of living situation in California. Let's be really honest. Like, Joey, um, lives. I live in Sacramento, and Joey lives. How many? Like an hour, two hours from me. Like, from you, but I'm I'm literally 20, 25 minutes across from from downtown San Francisco. And if Correct. you watch the news recently, that's yes. all they've been talking about. Right, right. In San Francisco, housing. as being the housing and the poop in the streets, needles in the streets. And it's funny, but it's not funny because you can walk down the street and step in human poop. This is San Francisco. <laughs> this is oh like the God. second expensive, second most yes. expensive city in the world, yes. essentially, yes. or at least in America. And there's poop on the sidewalks because, again, you know, I, whether you're liberal, conservative, Democrat, Green, whatever, mm-hmm. there's certain things that you, when, you, when government is out of control and they tax you into oblivion and then they don't spend the money the right way and you keep electing the same people who spend your money wrong. And Correct. they put it... Th- we had here, here, Robin, you remember recently... Yes. We had two years ago. It was um, they raised the gas tax. Yes. So yes. we have the highest gas in the nation. We do. We pay over three dollars and fifty cents hey, for a gallon of gas of unleaded. Right. Which is regular, right? So they put twenty-five cents per gallon in a gas tax, and that was to go to quote fix the roads. Right. And how many, how long have we been fixing the roads? The roads never got fixed. (laughs) The money got allocated somewhere else. And last year, in November, we voted in a 25 cent gas hike to, quote, fix the roads because the roads didn't get fixed. Yes. And guess what? The roads still aren't fixed because they take the money and they put it in this program and that program and this thing and that thing. Six programs are the same thing. We in California, and again, I, not to get crazy political and I apologize we banned plastic straws and plastic (laughs) bags but hand out plastic needles like they're candy and I don't know how many paper straws and I hate to keep cutting you off Robin because I'm on a rant here I don't know how many paper straws I gotta use for one cup of coffee, when I only have to use one plastic straw, I got to use three or four paper straws because they break in half or disintegrate, and then I'm I'm drinking paper. Exactly. Right. Right. It actually tastes. It changes the taste of your coffee. I'm just what I was trying to do was tell you that regimental reseller said, "Thanks, Joey. Finally, someone who has answers." Just subscribe. You got me at a Woo-hoo! rare time. You got me at a rare yes! time where I have answers. Hey, I'm telling you, this is the channel to come to if you want answers financially wise oh and recession gosh. wise. Joey and I are on the same page, but, you know. But yeah. he is going to tell you you better start stocking some stuff away because you never know what's going to hit you. Either it be medical, car accident, yeah. a death in the family. Because we had a show with Sherry Smith who had that happen. Her husband passed away, though it was a chronic illness. She wasn't. I mean, she was. They were prepared, but thanks mm-hmm. to him. You know, doing whatever. So, you know. Thank you so much. There was another one up here too. I just saw. Dude, it? thank you for that, man. Yes. yes. So that's basically what's happening in California. It looks like we're going into a recession because, just as Joey said, you walk down the street. Though I have to say, in Joey's, I know, right? I I love Finally, it, man. Cerebral intelligent, intelligent chat, chat. Joey. Glad you joined us today, the Cover Thrifter. It's woo, our first woo. time watching us, so there Me you go. Me too. Um, yeah. Yeah, Joey's going to get all the little kudos. Yes, there. and <laughs> I will definitely say, Tracy, you are correct. All these problems lead to additional fees on sellers. <laughs> you yes, are correct. I, <laughs> you uh, are, you amen, are right. sister. Somehow it leads back to eBay and sellers. No, somebody asked about plastic straws for coffee. It's the when you have the, uh, no, not the stirs, the hot coffee, straws for iced coffee or soda or anything. Oh, now, now, now we have to pay, if you live in certain cities, you have to pay a twenty-five cent 
reusable cup tags. Oh my God, the reusable cup tags. <laughs> So if you go buy a cup of coffee, an iced coffee, right. you have to drink it out of a plastic straw, and then you have to pay 25 cents on top of it because you're using a, reu- a, plast- or a paper cup that you're going to throw out. Right, right. But they do have cup exchanges, Robin. Did you know that? Uh, yes, I, but only, so I, can I go- think, towards the Bay Area. Not right. In, I so, found it in Sacramento. So if I go to a coffee shop and they give me a cup, I could take this with me and bring it back yes. to another coffee cup place later yes. on, and they don't get yes. charged for it. And Noxie's talking about sippy cup lids, and that yes, yes, I do like those, and I do like those too. But again, it's still a plastic cup, though. So again, some of us are getting charged for the dang plastic cup. I don't know. It's like a losing battle with Joey it's and I crazy. with coffee because we. I mean, we're drinking I, all the time. What do you expect? I know. <laughs> you know it's like God. Oh God, like just just get it so Man. that we coffee drinkers can just enjoy our coffee. Taxing me to oblivion. I know, right? It's like like smoking. You know, you, you smoke, you get taxed too, right? Now they're doing a snack. Oh, forget tax. it. Yeah. Scooby snacks are going to be next. Ten cents a bag if I you know. want a, if right. you want a bag or more. Then you got to pay for this. Then you got to pay for a plastic uh, paper cup that yeah. you take with you. Yeah. And it's... Reginald reseller, I agree. When people start seeing infrastructure not getting done, which we and here in California, especially on I five eighty, and what's the one that we go to meet up? It's always mm-hmm. being repaired. It 880, does, it, forget it. It's oh hints. Gosh. It's like, though, you're absolutely correct. It's like, Joey and I have this conversation with other resellers at the meetup. Like, how long do we have to wait for one segment of the freeway to get done? It's like, I, look, how much money do you need? I mean, we're already in the billions, Joey, at this point. I mean, Krillin, they're, not, I actually, they're not taking care of our homeless, and they're certainly not taking care of our rent fees because you live two hours for me let's just say two hours mm-hmm. your rent for your space is extraordinary like i right. don't i mean you have to could you imagine if you had children and you only had one income like i don't know you how can't people do are it. doing it I, I'll, I let just, me get back you know. to the chat real quick um las vegas drifts yeah hawaii tax on bottled water we have that tax here too on yes, bottled water and um and plastic bottles it's five cents or ten cents depending they call it a deposit a so you pay, you pay it when you when you check out an extra five cents per can or ten cents if it's a little bit higher, and then you could take that back back to a recycling center and get your money back. Oh, However, it's not 10. In a, no, it, you, <laughs> they what they'll do is instead of hand count and give you the exact money uh-huh, if you have more than like weight. fifty, they go by weight, so it doesn't yep. always match up to what you paid, and then. It's a, it's they a closed a lot of them like, recently. Yes! Oh my God, Joe! I was just gonna say that. So, oh my God, you the, guys have got us on a good night. We've had and the reason coffee, they did. And we've had some rants. <laughs> the reason they did was the towns who relied on the recycling income when they picked oh, up the recycling God. were losing money. Yep. And so they essentially close some of their recycling centers so now if I wanted to go to bring the recycling center I have nowhere to go what do I do I put it at the curb town comes and picks it up they take it where they got to go they got their, some of their income back yeah but have you heard the latest okay so here we have like cities right so Roseville mm-hmm. is a city within California or in the Sacramento County and they are not recycling anymore so basically when you used to have three cans one for green waste mm-hmm. one for recycling and one for your trash yeah they are now saying oh no 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 we're, we're just gonna put it all together because now we're not recycling really wow it's like what so i you know don't get me started don't get me started and then krillin yeah i actually anywhere i go that i find plastic straw still there's some starbucks i hoard them so i grab like Absolutely. five or six and throw them in my car if i can dude my my uh, thing in my truck, you know the little you know the little side mm-hmm. thing on where your little window. What is that called, you guys? What is that? The little the little space saver thingy down there by the door. I mm-hmm. all full of plastic straws. And you're right, Dory. Uh, she said I'm not going to get into it, but California has a billion issues like everyone else. But if they would dam up a river or two or t- or twenty and stop protecting dead underbrush, do control burns the energy. Uh, Christ might not be a, might not be a such where, a year where did you see that? Oh. I'll throw it up here. To control burns China the energy. Isn't taking it anymore. Right, Alexis, China isn't taking it anymore. So now we have all this plastic. You're right, Dory. 
It's crazy. Yeah, you're right, because a lot of the issues recently they've been talking about, environmental or not, some of the brush fires were from areas that previously had mm -hmm. controlled burns to it that didn't happen because of underbrush and some other issues with environmentalists in the state, which is, you know, you have a cause to let go right ahead. Um, that's fine. I'm not messing on you, whatever, but they stopped all the control of burns essentially. And then in the last two or three years, we had some really bad fires in areas that previously had uh, control burns in them. And you start seeing like correlations, right? Dam up a river. There was supposed to be some highway, highway four, I think oh, it was. Oh, we do too. Don't we have a soft drink tax? Or yeah, it, uh, Berkeley does for sure. Berkeley, right? Sugar, Francisco, sugary, su think. sugary tax. Yeah, Berkeley, sugar, Oakland. A sugar tax. Just like New York City. So if you yeah. go to Berkeley and buy some coffee, and you get sugar in it, you get a sugar tax, a cup tax, and you have to a paper straw. And a paper straw. So, some coffee I shops I stopped going to because I don't want to deal with that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, kids. Yes, they. That's exactly what they're oh, doing. Yeah. And so Sacramento has been freaking out because that's what we pay to recycle. We pay. The city. So, like, when you guys pay garbage sewer, we're also paying. We Sacramentoans are paying for recycle. So, our question is, well, where's that tax going? Where's that money going? Because if you're not recycling anymore, and mm -hmm. you're literally not pulling the plastic out of the trash, like, where, where is that? And why am I paying you? Right. I mean, it's just okay. He's saying, oh yeah, you know that. Um, we you know how we talked about plastic. Hundred thousand dollar, hundred thousand dollar a year jobs at Taco Bell. Remember that yeah, last episode? Yes, and also, they, you know. <laughs> they recently had a hundred thousand, I think it was a hundred thousand dollar a year job in San Francisco if you were on poop patrol. Wait, on poop patrol for the poop dog? Poop patrol, no, for people. Human. So you, if you walked around the streets with this thing and you sprayed the, the poop down from the homeless people, because there's an app, there's actually a Twitter a Twitter account and an app oh my. to map the poop. Where and the oh. live pictures of where the poop is, and to report it, and then you go, the, the company goes or the city goes, whatever they hire people, and they bring it down. What if you bring your own cup? They don't, you know, they don't really. Sometimes they'll give you a five you cent get a, discount, a, maybe a five or twenty five cent discount. I was going to say, go. talk about the app. Stockton, we just heard it on the news. Stockton has an app now, so that if you see a homeless person with a shopping cart, it's a crime. Mm -hmm. So now you get to report that. Mm. Like what? There are bigger issues, people. <laughs> Which is weird, because then in San Francisco, anything that happens under it's under nine hundred and fifty dollars um, of value is not a crime. It's they just get a citation, and if they don't appear, oh well. So if somebody but, breaks I mean, your really, window honestly, and steals your laptop, oh well, nothing we can do about it. I mean, seriously, what are you gonna do? These people are not gonna come to court. They're I. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Dory. seriously, regiment. Like, don't yeah, yeah. break wind, otherwise you'll be taxed. <laughs> I said on Dory here. Dory said, "I live in Alabama, but we will dam up a river in a minute, and we have the lowest and close to lowest energy costs in the nation." I totally understand. I follow a lot of the news out of Tennessee because that's where we're going to probably relocate to soon. And it literally took 20 years in the Bay Area to build the Bay Bridge again. 20 years to rebuild the Bay Bridge. Half of the oh, Bay let's Bridge. Let's talk about Folsom Dam, right? Joey. I got Folsom Dam over here. Guess how long that took? How Billions long? of dollars later. Yeah, it took over 20 years to build the, they the rebuild the Bay Bridge. I watched a video where there was a part of a freeway collapsed on I. Mm -hmm. 75 going north and south to Kentucky, and it was fixed in a week. Wow. The roads were back mm -hmm. open and fixed in a week. Well, don't you remember when they had those fires on the one and they closed down the one or, or no? The, the yeah the, the tunnel and, and, yeah the, and they had that the landslide and one was open mm -hmm. for months and everybody had to go all the way around and for... literally it closed off the yeah hey blaster so it really is just like how long people want to get things done and what kind of government you're you're using and running I know and don't just get the us consistencies started. of it us Californians have a lot to gripe about <laughs> because when we go to Walmart and try to buy a milk and it's five dollars and I go yeah. to Reno Nevada and it's two dollars. I'm just like, what is happening? But the view, Robin, the view. I can't the enjoy the view. I work too much. Jeez. <laughs> I work too much to enjoy the view. I know, but you're paying like you're paying like you've got oceanfront property, my friend. It's ridiculous. The rent yeah. in California is out of control. And I just saw somebody who lives down in OC, Orange County. Mm -hmm. That's in the, I'm seriously, man. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. 
There is a runner out of Walmart Home Depot daily because they don't steal above the allowed amount. No one chases them. Kind of. Wait, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. <laughs> I know what to talk about. So if they won't prosecute if it's over a certain, if it's under a certain amount. So people, if it, it's if they steal, let's say they won't call the cops if it's a hundred dollars or less. You just steal ninety five dollars worth of stuff and run out the store. They're not really going to do anything. Are you because, kidding me? Yeah, I don't know what their threshold is, but that's well, usually like what those, happens. They uh, bother. What about those teenagers that come into a store and they like swarm the store? Like they can't get all those kids. They that happened recently the... by us over at the Hilltop Mall. I bet. At the, I, bet. I think it was it Sears all the time. or Macy's. They walked in, they just yeah. grabbed clothes, they all ran out. Swarming. Yeah. And they just come in and they just grab armfuls. Like I, these, I'm. What is happening? And then when you try to stop them, they're like, "Hey, you can't touch me. What are you doing?" It's like, you just exactly. you have like a, a whole armful of clothes you didn't pay for. What are you talking about? I know. About? I know. Really. All right. Oh, let's man. let's get back focused. Okay. So we all have the same issues, yeah. except for California. Exactly. The most expensive. And all that means, Robin, is you got eBay fees. fees keep going up. <laughs> Tracy's right. Tracy's right. It oh. just comes down to the bottom line. We're just going to pay more eBay fees. fees. That's all it means. <laughs> more fees. <laughs> More fees. Oh, so if you don't have a store, get a store. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, I know. It's hysterical. That's a but great anyway. conversation. I love this one. This is fun. It's a fun one. Thanks, guys, for getting me all riled up. I know. Joe, Joey's going to get, he's going to, he's going to, like, he's, he's going to do the, uh, what's that one with um, that commercial where all of a sudden they're talking about prescription and it's, uh, What's his face? And he's like, seventy-five dollars. Yes. yes. Because she goes, it was a, what was the show that he was on? West Wing. It was, West, it was a West Wing moment. Yeah. <laughs> Joey oh had his gosh. West Wing moment. Yes. <laughs> Throw my hat in the it. ring in 2024. There you go. I know. Well, well, don't say it, Joey, unless you mean it, because there have been other people who have. I got 29 I votes it. right here, maybe. Yeah. Hey, 30, yeah, exactly. I oh, love it. Man. No, they'll look back on this tape and they'll find something if I said something somewhere along the lines and I'm screwed. Yeah. But go overall, eBay, the meat of the, overall, we had a lot of people. The food was eat Like, it was yeah. gone. The food was gone. And it was good. We had yeah, a lot good of food, information. Robin. Yeah, thanks, bud. Um, yeah, you're, I made, I basically, when I was making the sandwiches, I was like, ooh, what Joey's Joey wife want? loves her some Italian sub. Yes. I'm going to make her some Italian sub. That's awesome. Hey, <laughs> Do you mind if I ask that question about um? Yes, where? Uh, I you know you probably did jazz. I'm sorry, but what happens is when I see it right away, I don't see the questions, and then I uh, uh, I, I refreshed. I already let you in the group, so don't worry about. It. Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> um, the question I asked you earlier about the um the offer to the group. If I can see if anybody else is in that situation, that weird offer. offer I got. What was the offer? I'm the sorry, offer what to you... view the offer to viewers. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So before the show, Joey brought up a a quinky dink that I was like, "What?" Like I hadn't heard of it. So yeah, I think it's, I think it would be a good idea because I think if you're experiencing, perhaps somebody in here is too. Has anybody here? And if you're listening on on the podcast, podcast. or watching afterwards, you could put it in the chat below if you have or haven't. Has anybody recently? I know there was a thing where everybody was getting offered the clients on um, best offers. Right, and then there that was, was a glitch. By there the was way, a glitch. So. There was something apparently they were testing out, and it just they didn't tell everybody they were testing it out. It's big old glitchy it was thing. Awful. But um, we all thought we I were, had sales. <laughs> was thrifting yesterday, and then doing some comparison on eBay and checking other people's offers, some other people's items, just to get keyword ideas and stuff. And then this right. morning, I got an email. Apparently, one of the items I was watching, the person sent an offer out to their watchers. And I got a email from them, but it wasn't an offer to watchers. It was, um, let me see if I can blow it up here. Yeah, because you didn't like it. You didn't no, like I didn't it. like you it. You didn't put it on your watch list. You just so looked it says, at it. He because just you it. viewed this item, here's a special offer. Have you got, Have you experienced this? Have you gotten an email like this? Of just viewing it, not liking and not putting it on a watch list. I have not yet, but I think that is very strange. It's very big brother. It's spooky. Yeah. So my concern was if I'm a buyer, let's say, or I'm, or I'm a seller, let's, I have a seller, and I'm checking out all these different things, right? And 
the next day I just get an email from like here you want to buy all these items and I'm like no I don't want to I don't want to cloud up my inbox with all these things that I potentially looked at or just viewed it's kind of weird like I've never had that happen before I've viewed lots of items but no I haven't either and I view a lot of items and yeah. I just looked at my email and I just could, now while yeah. you were talking and nothing, nothing and I can like, understand like hey you might have looked at this item they're uh -huh. running a sale or hey come back like I did get another email after that from the same item saying hey this this guy's accepting offers why don't you submit an offer to that extent but this was an oh, offer Krillin, sent to me though specifically Krillin an offer is saying, Krillin's saying that they've been doing that for a while so you've but it's weird. It's really? like it's an offer to me, and I didn't like the item, view the items, or I didn't like the item, save the item, put it in my watch list, or anything. It, maybe it's IA, like the intelligent, you know, the where you wherever you're watching. You know how you get those commercials on your phone, like if you're watching IG, like if you're, you know, you were watching how to bling out your cup, you know, this kind of cup, you know, with rhinestones, and all of a sudden I'm getting commercials for rhinestones, how to buy rhinestones. Maybe it's something like that hmm. on eBay. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Like they're. So a lot of people actually and say Tommy, they get that too. So Jazz is saying she got that and she sent herself an offer between her two accounts. Oh, she really? viewed her item, switch accounts, and set myself an offer and she wasn't watching it. That's, That's when eBay's done offers to watchers. Yeah, so it was an offers to watchers because it said that there was three watchers on the item, but I had just viewed the item. So I was just... He did, yeah, so he didn't click anything. He didn't, like, save it. He literally just put eyes on it. I literally clicked in and clicked out, and then the next day, I really the do buyer must have like sent something. What is that called? The cookie or whatever they do? Like when they they yeah, they, it just, watches what you what you're watching, and then it. But it's yeah, but it's, isn't it weird though? Because like if, if I don't want the item because I didn't yeah, like yeah. it or watch it, and then let's say it was just I clicked on something by accident or something, and then you send me offers for it, I get I get aggravated, right? I get pissed off at eBay for sending me offers for things I don't want. Yeah or, or, yeah. or to the buyer for thinking that they have somehow got my stuff. But I don't know. They're checking into it, so I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, we're just trying to get, like, data. Because, you know, the more data we get, the more, you know, it's all about the numbers, really. So if it's a one-time thing, then they call it, like, oh, it's a fluke. But if there's, like, you know, 25 of us, it's not a, it's a glitch. And, Tommy, I do think that's weird that they asked for your YouTube show. Who asked you? The concierge? Mm -hmm. And what people are saying about when there's botchers and then you um, send an offer and it says you only send it to one. Now, sometimes it is if you've already sent an offer and it's not lower than the previous offer, they won't resend it out. That's what I've heard. The other thing is That's what sometimes heard, yes. those watchers that are there are not valid accounts anymore, but they still stay on the, on the watch list. Yes. So if Robin Kelly? if Robin yeah. watched my item, and mm -hmm. so it says I have one watcher, and then she got her account banned or disabled or kicked off the platform, it still has the one watcher of her. But when I send it, it sends to nobody because it's not connecting to anybody. So sometimes you could see actually how many real watchers you have, and if that's the case, there was one time where I had seven watchers and I sent an offer and I went to zero. I ended the item. And just relisted it because I knew nobody was getting those seven. Those seven people weren't real. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Um, yeah, you're right, Kelly. Yeah. That's exactly what I was doing. I was comping stuff and I started getting these, it's like, annoying. hey, buy this item. I'm like, I don't want to buy the item. I'm comping. <laughs> I'm checking out what I could sell it for. I don't want to buy yours. Sorry. Plus, I don't like it. So stop sending me. Yeah, that's just weird, Tommy. I don't know. Yeah. I want to know I, who asked you that. I, tell me in the chat who asked you that. I want to know. He said specifically. second tier when seeing if they would reinstate my accounts. Second tier. What does that mean? Like a, a upper level. Probably. Customer service rep. I'll plug it here, everybody. Tune into the next Tommy Bernard show to find out more. About the drop shipping gate. <laughs> mm. Oh, his his videos from previously when he's got his accounts banned. Remember those? Limited offers. Yeah. Wait, what is? Check them out, guys. Reggie talking about. So the one that gets me is the limited offers to watchers eBay let you click on. Limited offers. What does that mean? Limited offers to watchers. Explain a little more, uh, RR. Like, what does that mean? Like, are you saying that the, you, you feel like you're – because you're in the U.K., right? So you feel like you're limited on sending offers? 
What's the next show? Oh, next Goodwill is going to be called <laughs> Lobster. You know it. Yeah, we're kind of the same, brother, because like I, I, every time I say your name, I never want to say lobster. I always want to say lobster. I'm always it's doing like some funny lobster voices. bisque right now. Lobster, lo no, not lobster bisque, lobster chowder. Hey, and and you never answered me, lobster. Have you ever gone down to that Splash Cafe down in Pismo Beach? Like that is like super rad stuff there. Though your chowder, your chowder sounds pretty good. Evidently, there's a way more to my swag. Oh my gosh, I guess so. Risk management, Tommy, because it's because you're a risky dude. <laughs> Yeah. What grinds my gears? That should be a show, cause you know to see Joey kind of fired up is kind of fun. And then I'd have to throw a flag up, like I have to do a, a, you know a, you know when the cars come by and they do the checkered flag, I'll be like, wait, Joey. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Griffin. I love it. Peter Griffin. You know what really grinds my gears? Yeah, talking about that. Hey, I saw a show you guys yesterday. Not to change the subject, but I'm just gonna I'll bring it right back. But the fact is, talking about cars, I saw this thing called Grand Time hmm. on Amazon, and it's three really popular car guys. They're all British, which is amazing when you get three Brits together. It's like uh, three Brits walked in a bar. It's funny. It's hysterical. But the cars, you guys, and I'm a car girl. Ah, uh, it was amazing. And they were comparing a Ferrari, a Porsche, and a McLaren. Oh my, it was amazing balls. So I only saw the first show, but I am so going to like bin, binge watch that. Joey, watch or the watchers has notifications for offers turned off in their settings. Offers. Oh, they can. Yeah. Uh, Barry, they can. The, the buyers can actually turn off the notifications. So if I was watching eight items. Tommy, do you want to jump in offers? and explain? I can only offer four offers to four watches for. Oh, you're talking about the limit. Yes. Yes. There is a limit on how many times you can send that offer. Yes. And they've just built in that new toggle where you can. So you sent like, let's say Joey offered me a jersey for 200 bucks and he toggled the thing that says I can come back with another offer. Like I can come, you know what I mean? We can banter back and forth. He can actually unclick that or click it. Um, and that's not unlimited, I, or it is. I think it's like four times. It's like, it's the same thing as like uh, when you do regular offers. Mm. I hear you. Tommy, is your IP blocked or your wife have an account? But I have some pick Pismos from Peach for sure. I bet. He does uh, clamming, which is nice. a, it's a hard job, man. been to Pismo Beach one time on my way back from L.A. We drove, we drove there. I remember from the old Bugs Bunny cartoons, if I'm dating myself again. That's all right. You're he always wanted to go to Albuquerque. He took a left turn at Albuquerque and ended up at Pismo Beach. <laughs> oh popped his head God, out of the I sand. I love that you know that. Because they don't want hammer buyers with... Oh, hammer... Right. Right. Tommy's right. They, don't, you just, they just don't want you to keep hammering your same buyer because the biggest complaint from the buyer standpoint when they did their beta was that it was just... It was too much spam. It was like spamming them. Mm-hmm. Robin, do you watch Mav TV since you're a car girl? No. And where is that? And how do I get to there? But I'm telling you, anybody who's a car person, I shouldn't say just, you know, it's not a dude thing. You guys got to see Grand Time. It's hysterical. These three bits, Brits are hysterical. And Tommy, you're not derailing. I mean, it's, no, I no. mean, you know, we're all kind of curious because it could happen to all of us. So. No, definitely no, totally. It's, it's not a derail at all. Just um, it's no, very just interesting. don't don't throw cuss words up, Tommy. Just behave. Yeah. Behave. <laughs> I'm gonna post the link here if you want to pop in, Sir Tommy, because I'm curious Tommy. about the situation because you know we actually you know we had our meetup last night like we were saying and just yeah. obviously with a lot of the changes and a lot of the corporate stuff going on there was actually a really weird thing too that happened where this might be along the same lines with the weird customer service was. We, we were dealing with, or I was dealing with a, a, a seller yesterday at Meetup who had a mix-up with some items on a return, and customer service told them to file a police report before they would help them. Oh, yes. Let's talk about that, Joey. So Has that's anybody had this? The okay, other listen, weird start, stuff that comes out of do like, it again, customer do service. Do it again. Say it again. Yeah. So, like, here, you got to hear this story because this she, blew me away. Yeah. Like, I didn't even know how to answer it. She had a return on an item, 
it was an expensive item. She got the wrong item back, right? So she called customer service and said, hey, I got the wrong item back uh, and I can't reach the buyer. So the, they did whatever they had to do on their end. Eventually, the buyer sent the right item back. But in all this, what happened, she ended up getting a, a charge back on her account from PayPal and a ding on her account at eBay. She eventually got the right item back. The buyer got their money back. But in the interim, the solution was to file a police report against the buyer and before eBay would step in and help. And this came in an email from concierge that said, we want the, the, the badge number, the station number, the police report number, everything uploaded before we're able to step in and help. And it was just like, when I talked to the guys at Meetup yesterday, it was just like, what what is this now? What's going on? What are they telling people to do? Yeah, file a police report against the, the buyer. Right, which so. is crazy. And it wasn't, and she wasn't the only one, right? Like, so no, they're, literally, they're, they're, they're never heard of it before. Talking to them, right. He and never then heard of this before. Guy comes up. He literally pivots to talk to another buyer. Well, I continue with this one, and he has the same story, but his item was only like fifty dollars. The other lady's item was like a thousand dollars. And both solutions were file a police report before we can help. And this oh, is wait, coming look. from customer service. Did you see that, Joey Dory, saying that part-time pickers had the same thing said? Really? Yeah. Told Matt at Part Time Ticker. You know what? We should like reach we gotta, out to him. Yeah, because just... I'm collecting people's stories like this now and sending it into my, our contact over at eBay. Yeah, and the thing is too, it was the lady who sent back the wrong item. It was an yeah. elderly lady. It was an honest mistake. The woman, the seller, got her original item back. The woman who bought the item got her money back. So all that was cleared up in the end. But the lady who sold the item still got a charge back from PayPal and a ding from eBay because of the whole. We don't believe that she sent the wrong item back. We're going to close the case in the woman's favor deal right. um, from PayPal, and then eBay eventually, you know, did that as well. And the eBay solution to step in was to file a police report. So she never did file the police report um, because she didn't want to file against a you know older lady for an honest mistake. Right, because they had obviously had communicated between the buyer and the seller, and she, yeah. that's how she found the story, right? Yeah, the lady took a little bit while to get back to her because she was yeah. an elderly. She doesn't check her email all the time. But eventually, she had she had mailed the original return to somebody else, had to wait to get it back, and then send it back to the original buyer. And it all worked out in the end. Everybody got their stuff, but the, the mm -hmm. seller's left with a de chargeback and a, and a default, and the mixed message of going to the police. Yeah, but that's it's so... I, I don't even know... I, I gotta know the answer to this because I have never sense. in my life like heard something like that. We'll file police reports at every single INAD and item. No that, kidding, right? Know. I mean, I could see it if you purchase something and like a, let's just say a laptop that was stolen from a school. Yes, then in turn you would have to do a, a police report so that because the school would have already done one, you're doing it in the state you collected, and that way eBay can actually close down that account. But I've, I've, that's the only time I've ever heard that. It's stolen property. This is not stolen property. This is, and they can see the emails between the buyer and the seller mm -hmm. saying it's a sweet little old lady from Pasadena who's just a little slow because she's not on the uptick on her emails. And I just want to make sure that I do everything right per the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not filing a police report. It's ridiculous. Right. And then it's really frustrating because there's a lot of the groups that will talk about the IC3. You're, and you're right, Reginald. Yeah, you, exactly. Yes, Regimilia. it is. It is a civil case, but mm -hmm. here in the states, you have to file a report online to show that you started the paper trail. It never goes really anywhere. I mean, like no cop shows up at your door and says, "Hey, I'm here to take your report for your yeah. supposedly stolen eBay property that the little old lady in Pasadena didn't want to send you back right away." Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. But the problem again, Robin, is a lot of the groups will talk about the IC3. So the IC3, I think, is that's what it's called, it's the mail fraud, where you file like oh, a mail complaint for, for for those items, and that's like through your attorney general or, or mail fraud kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. So people get confused by like what police are they getting involved, what government agency is getting involved in some of these things. Mm -hmm. Look, a lot of it is just just talk to your buyer, talk to the seller, and just try to work it out mm -hmm. before you start jumping in and bringing authorities into things. Well, but yeah. The because, fact that eBay actually you know, mentioned that was sort of like, wow, so what's the point? Who's going to bother with police? So he's just out of the money. See, okay, we need like Joey. Okay, we have it in the chat, Joey. You've got the guy. He's on IG. 
maybe reach out, just explain, or maybe Dory, if you know the guy, maybe have like just say, hey, go talk to Joey over at Ecom because he's just uh, collecting data. Mm-hmm. Um, because that's his Instagram. It just, he says. I think so. It's at uh, Part Time Pickers. And just that way we can get the correct data. Because, again, one time is a fluke and more than one is a glitch. Like, there, okay. there's something wrong. There's a communication error. I think the police have a lot more. Yeah, no kidding, Noxy, right? No, I got that. I'm actually going to message him right now. Okay. Yeah, I totally agree. I think it's ridiculous that you guys – I mean, I, I who and who would tell the customer service people to tell – the seller to file a report it's almost like shoving off the problem like no here's the problem but now we don't want to deal with it you go file the report and i'm not saying that's that's uh, factual by the way i'm not i'm not saying i just think that maybe there was particularly wrong information being said and that needs to be corrected fairly quickly hello 911 oh my god can you imagine dory can you imagine Oh my gosh! Don't they do that on the radio where they do nine one one calls? Like they like uh, there's a deer in my in my windshield. You know, yeah, yeah, uh, crazy. I think I talk to the Matt all the time. I just oh oh you oh you just sent a t- um, a text to him, Tommy. Oh cool. All right, so Tommy's on it too. Yeah, I'm just sending him an, I- an IG direct message with my email. In Australia, we have a Department of Fair Trading. We must have something. Yes, we do. We do. We have the Better Business Bureau. We also have something fair or something. Uh, official complaint about what eBay is doing. Sure. Do you I have mean, the we FCC? Could, we, we could if it got or to FTC. that point where if it was a, a more broad, you know, if it was a really big thing, but maybe it is and it's just people aren't addressing it and maybe that's what needs to be addressed. Someone sent my dreams to the... See, now I've had that too, Dory, where I have sent something out to a wrong address and both my items got mixed up and I just... Uh, immediately talked to the buyers and then I paid for the for the correct labels for them and they just slapped them on the packages and sent them out but no one called the cops on me and I certainly didn't call the cops on them oh you think he's at work tonight Tommy okay but anyway Joey sent the message yeah, let's hope he gets so. the data and because this is like the third person in the last t- less than, less than 24 hours, hours that has yeah. said something to me about or has brought up yeah. This issue it's where weird. it seemed like eBay corporate or eBay heads have no idea this is being talked about. So, if I can just get everybody to, you know, pass, if you hear this in other chats and stories, guys, just shoot me an email or a DM on or Instagram. Or tag him in that chat. If yeah, tag in me in the room. chat or DM me on um, Instagram with the person's name and I'll reach out to them and just kind of get a list eBay, together of stuff eBay. because this is ridiculous. It's kind of weird. eBay's crappy service, they turn the seller into customer service rope that give them no power to craft policy. In this case, yes. I think that if this is the case, then whoever is giving that information, that bunk information, is uh, yeah. They need to be they need to be schooled because that's it doesn't seem like it's a good policy to be or to tell everybody to do. And like I checked the lady's email and I thought maybe it might have just been regular customer service, but it came from concierge, which was even a little bit more disturbing on my front. Wait, was, say that one more time, Joey. Her email that. came from concierge. That told That's her so to do weird. a police report. It wasn't just a regular yeah, like it wasn't overseas just like a operator that doesn't yeah. understand the situation. You know, right. she might have been frantic and said, "Oh, I got the wrong item. I don't know what's going. I'll call the police." So it, you know, that wasn't it. It was actually written out in an email yeah. to call the police and file back what's going on. That's it's, so weird. It's, I've never heard that. <laughs> it's like nine one one. Yeah, somebody sent me the wrong item back on eBay. I, you know, and that's that's another thing. Like, why? I wonder, like, if you escalated it to a supervisor on the phone. Like, I still, I, I don't think that's correct information. Can I please speak to a, a supervisor? Because, like, I, I want to know, like, maybe she didn't understand the question that was being posed. You know, the customer service person mm-hmm. on concierge. I don't know. But three people, Joey, less than 48 hours. Like, that's just weird yeah. to me. So, again, if you're watching this back and you have the same situation, you leave, you leave a comment in the chat or if you're on – any of the podcasts there's links below to contact us send uh robin or myself a direct message on instagram that's there or um just find a way to contact us through that and let us know your situation give us your story and um we'll, we'll collect all those and put them together it's just we've got to make this more visible and, and, and bring this more to the upfront because this is bad bad customer service advice well, to just, give out it's just bad information it's not yeah. it's not a good buyer experience or seller experience no. eBay concierge overseas no 
concierge is only in the United States at this time. I don't know what is happening for Europe, like the UK, Australia yet. Um, but you will get an Irish guy occasionally. And I think it, in Ireland, maybe, like I do think that once in a while I do get overseas for concierge, like if it's a holiday. So I do think they do throw out their customer service to other places. But I normally I just get straight Utah. Holy crap, I stepped away. Sorry, Tommy. When is this going to stop? Oh, yeah. I agree, Tommy. A lot of different. It'll Let's stop when, when Tommy becomes the new CEO of eBay and runs Oh, there you way. go, Tommy. Just saying. Tom, hashtag Tommy for CEO. Or just go Tommy for president. <laughs> I don't... Oh, let see. No, I have heard there's a lot different site because it's mail... No, I heard So the mail lot. fraud thing that I was talking about is I, the IC3 report. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little different than calling that. your. Yeah. It's different than calling your local police department, you know, in the city you live in, to file a report against somebody that lives across the country, on some mail and not thing. Not so you're right. It would have to be in the comments under the video, not the live chat. Live chat shuts down once the live yeah. is done. Um, they need to file a report. Oh, yeah, she's saying yes. she heard this mail for you to follow report. Yeah. So again, like I was yes. saying, that's the IC3 thing. But. And RR, yes. That's where it is. It's double. I have called. Uh, so it was a holiday. It was Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. So it would be Christmas Day there. Yeah. It, I got Dublin. So I do think Aye. they do. I think they do. We got a guest oh, in the green room. Oh, nicely done, Tommy. Come on up, Tommy. So Come on up. Everybody, stick and sit, get your coffees refilled. Pour a little something in it that might be a little stronger. Sit back and relax. We got Tommy joining us in the chat below to explain his story a little bit and catch us up on what's going on in his eBay saga. Tommy's eBay's number one fan right now. He loves eBay so much. Tommy for CEO. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. We laugh about it, but it's I, I can imagine this being a nightmare for him. Man. Well, get him so, up already. Come on, let's see the Tommy. Everybody Meister. knows Tommy. I'm gonna bring Tommy and everybody. Everybody knows Tommy. Be nice to Tommy in the chat. <laughs> I'm not being nice to Tommy. I got Tommy. Nice for some Tommy. Can I get Tommy, a chicken fritter? Tommy. <laughs> what is going on, man? Uh, eBay for What's president. What's happening, Tommy? There you go. Tommy for president. Of eBay. eBay for president. Yeah. So, so I listened to the conference yeah. call yesterday, and I come to the conclusion they are the most dysfunctional company that I've ever seen in my life. They blamed literally everything in the world for their failings except for themselves. They blamed taxes. But Walmart don't blame taxes. Amazon don't blame taxes. Apple's up fucking, what, 10%? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> they got taxes, right? They all got taxes. But eBay yeah. is ruining been... their business with the same taxes every other company in the world has to pay. And lo and behold, Brexit's ruining eBay. I never thought Brexit really? would ruin eBay. Oh, did, yeah. It probably that. doesn't affect hey. anyone else in the whole world, does it? <laughs> it's like... Right, it's right, crazy. right. Things go up. It's like... And then they're down like 9% year over year and it's a victory. And they, that's after they scrape the GMV with promoted listings and fake ghost buys. When people don't actually pay, they still count that into their GMV. And we we don't know how. Just think of the people you know, how many canceled sales they get or no pays. Just those people that you know personally. Mm -hmm. And then multiply it times the whole the whole world. So how, how much are they really down? over? And it's not really 9%. It's it's probably more like nineteen percent when they really figured out. Yeah, I mean they were saying yesterday they're up up two percent in active buyers, but they were down five percent in gross merchandise right. value. Active, so you have more buyers. people selling less stuff yeah. or less value. And that yeah. that gross merchandise value stuff that you've talked about in the past where if I bought something and got a return, that still counts as gross merchandise value. Right. Right. All and that's, that's, fees uh, yeah, and but, but the transaction things. happened at that point. I could almost understand that, right? Mm-hmm. I can understand that the transaction happened, but what I'm saying is, but if someone like um, makes an offer and they don't pay, they still count that. That that should never count. Their money never happened, right? It never transpired. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand that. But all right, back to my saga. <laughs> um, so they said that it would be well. You know, I got restricted, mm -hmm. and getting the reasons out of them from day one has been very hard it was very um well let me just pull up my emails from them and you can actually see that makes it easier so i'm not sure. misconstruing something um so you can see on your end what what's actually coming from them 
Uh, so. Let me see. Let me just. Sorry, how I should have been prepared for this, but I was not That's thinking cool. about this. Like, because there's so much to it that I don't want to um, get it wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So we're back to it was like November the fourteenth, I think, or something like that. Oh, uh, here it is. All right, November the nineteenth. Here it is. All right. So, um, just pull a little bit. All right, so I can share this, and I don't care like if about sharing this anymore. So, so this is my message from eBay. If you want to show it, you can pull it up on the screen. Um, oh crap. Your banners over top of it. Well, either way, it's just saying I don't. I don't meet the guidelines of the user agreement. Blah blah. blah. They removed done this, done that, done that. And to appeal this, they want proof of delivery for the all items sold on my eBay account. Right. The easiest way to do this is upload the tracking numbers. And here are the listings we removed. Boom. So immediately I called. They said yes. Just send them over. I sent them over, and. Uh, they said, oh, it'll take, it's going to take some time. We're backlogged. This is a new dragnet, you know, et cetera. Um, if we're trying to get rid of drop shippers. We want to clean this space up. And, and I, I respected that. I was like, okay, cool. Because at that point, I thought it was just going to be easy peasy because I already had, you know, the account was relatively new. I had like 107 sales, if I remember correctly. And I think there was 32 feedback. So it was a rather high percentage of feedback on top of that. Mm-hmm. Um because generally it's what like 10 15 percent feedback i think you get yeah, maybe. If, yeah if that... so i had 30 percent running into this and they were still accusing me of drop shipping so if i had a much higher percentage of feedback all my tracking numbers were uploaded except for that day shipment at that point already where was the logic behind it i couldn't figure it out so i just let it roll i just you know let them do their thing and then it got stickier and stickier as we as we went you know it was um uh hold on let me pull up the 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 next one that was that email so that was when i sent the tracking numbers they did nothing they for three weeks and then they on the but on week two well just actually just a few days later they slammed my other accountant linked it to that account i got a message on that you're linked to account that's restricted blah 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 that's my main account and we're going to shut this account down until that one's resolved. So now I, that's when I started getting heated because I had just come off my best week ever for the whole year. And I went down to zero dollars for the rest of the year. So uh, the frustration was real at that point. Jesus. I bet. Um, so I'm, I'm, let me just pull up the next message. So I, you can't, the reply is just in gibberish. They encrypt the reply for some reason. I don't know. It's like, it's dumb. I like the way you said gibberish. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> crazy. Uh, so, basically, it was, I'm trying to see when they, so they never responded to me, and it was like three days before Christmas, I called, and I was like, you know, it's been all of Q4 pretty much, you wiped me out, because Q4 started off slow, if you remember correctly, and so it was uh, middle of November. That's when it started rolling. That was my first really good week. Mm-hmm. Started rolling. So they basically wiped me out all of Q4. And at this point, I had a, I I turned into Mr. Rebellion because they ruined my year. So I wanted to push back. So it was like, I, I was like, well, guess what? You're not getting paid. I'm not paying you. I my bill was twenty nine hundred dollars. Right. Whoa. Right. Twenty nine hundred dollars. I was like. I, I, you've taken nine thousand dollars roughly away from me in the last three weeks, because that well that week it was almost a five thousand dollar week. I had a slamming week, um, and it was on Instagram and everything. And that was right after I put it on Instagram is when this happened. Funny enough. So they they were charging you the fees on the stuff that they're accusing you of drop shipping. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and they never refunded any of that or anything. So close your account for doing this, but you're still gonna pay us for the stuff. That you absolutely, sold absolutely. And cool. they, they and then when I call them and tell them this isn't right, there's no way these fees can be right. I have the lowest sales of, I have one good week. You take that one good week away, and I had the lowest sales in history before that and after that. Of course, mm -hmm. how can my bill be double? Well, you're going. You have to send us proof of this. Like you, they can't just run an analytical on your account. They have no way of doing that because that would admit fault, right? right? And plus, they probably can't read their own bills. Can anyone else read the bills? Because I can't. I mean, if you just take the basic <laughs> math about it, right? Bills? Yeah, the fee. The, the, yeah. yeah. If you just take your basic math and say you sell five thousand dollars at ten percent, then you figure five hundred dollars is your fees. Right. Right. Twenty so, twenty nine hundred dollars, unless you're adding on right, right. old face I mean, type and extra. You know, active right. this exactly. and photos and exactly, <laughs> exactly. So that's my point. I'm like, do the math. I mean, you can pull up your PayPal account and see the transactions, right? Yeah. Um, so that would that would have been like a what a thirty thousand dollar month or something, a thirty three, thirty four thousand. I yeah. mean, I, I, I would have had I would have had my Rolls Royce out here just chilling, you know. Um, nice. It, 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 there was no way it was right. the math was not there, and that I've heard that from several people that the math was, just wasn't there for those time periods but no one ever follows through and i didn't follow through i sh I, I have no way to fight how do you fight it yeah i'll, I'll admit too I, I don't really look at the fees that much i know what our store fees are and i know if i sell a little bit in there but sometimes i look at the account and i think we only sold a couple items this month why is like my why am i paying an extra like 50 60 70 dollars mm -hmm. in store fees on mm -hmm. top of my store fee i only sold three items this month like where what's going on but i gotta be more then, vigilant and then my conspiracy theory starts running and it's like that's why they now want to do things like 90 days on your app instead of 60 days right they're changing the app over to 90 days sold mm -hmm. so it looks bigger the number looks bigger right you're not gonna are you gonna question your fees less because your numbers look bigger it's just like your last 31 days yeah. in your your seller hub your last 31 days it's yeah. highly inflated and it has your shipping and everything built in and also, and also, it tells you you're up. Oh, you're up forty two percent in in beans and carrots. Like beans you've never ever listed. You've, I mean, never yeah. listed in, you've never listed in your life. How can you? Yeah, sure, I'm up. I mean, how can I be up? I've never listed before, and I haven't listed yet. But yet, I'm up one hundred and ten percent in these two categories. But Yahoo, I'm doing great, right? I'm killing it. So it's all these little things that they do to. Uh, it, it's brainwashing it really is what it is. They're just warping your mind to think that you're doing great. And at the end of the day, I don't know any resellers that aren't living sale to sale, really. I mean, honestly, I mean, to be quite honest, I don't know. I mean, I know there's a lot that come on YouTube and say they're doing this and doing that, but then they get the EV open. They can't afford a cab fare. Um, right. You know, oh, my God. Like, bingo. Right on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like I see it all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, and, and and that's an actual real story. So that I was told by a friend, I wasn't there, but they, it's uh, it's somebody that has a big show, and they they you know talk about all the money they make, and you know, and it's just like they couldn't afford. They literally bum money for a cab fare. Wow. <laughs> but um, so the moral of the story is, I pushed back. I was like, you know what, I you. I need this money right now. I'm not paying you. I'm not. I mean, the money was in my PayPal. I just emptied it out, took it out, and I was like, I'm not paying you. So I let it just. I let it go through Christmas. Right. So I decided I wasn't going to come back at all eBay. I didn't want to come back, and it kind of set in that maybe I. I started doubting myself. Maybe I did do something wrong. Maybe I did, but I. I didn't. There's nothing I can find or anyone can find. So let's fast forward and make this not a Krillin type story. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so the last few days, I'm like, I, I just, I just paid it. I just paid it. You know, the 29. If one account was like four, almost 500, and the other one was 2400. Um, so I paid that, cleared them, and but what had happened when they shut my account down? I was totally locked out. Right, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even log in. I couldn't look at sales. I, so I had like forty nine orders pending. Dang. They never went out. They never went out. And I told, I called them. I'm like, you locked me out on my account. I'm not gonna spend hours and days going through shit. Or, sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. That's all right. Like, right. Paperwork to find out what it is and send it out because even 
the the problem was PayPal couldn't pull it up on their end because they dis they they broke the they broke the chain when they shut my accounts down. My accounts didn't exist in reality. So you would think oh, I could just go into PayPal. They said, oh, just go into PayPal. Well, you've done this to my account and you don't know that you broke that chain that chain in PayPal. I cannot when it goes in when I go into PayPal to try and pull my orders. There's no account associated to it anymore. Mm. Oh, so, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, if you now, if your account, yeah. if you can log into your account, that's one thing. But if they totally shut your account down to the point that they did mine, where they you can't even log in, it tells you it doesn't exist or whatever. Um, uh, they uh, it breaks the chain. Pirate ship the same way. I tried to go through pirate ship. It won't just to see if. And I tried everything I could to backdoor it. You know. And I so then I call eBay. Can you send me all this stuff since you've done this? No, they can't do that. They 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 can't do that. Okay, so guess what? You already have a problem. You already are losing. And I would just blast them. You're already hemorrhaging. We know you're hemorrhaging. Everyone knows you're hemorrhaging. And yet now, I'm small fries. Forty nine people is nothing to you. But if all forty nine of those people tell a hundred people, now we're starting to do some math here. You you need every person you can get to love eBay at this point. You you need those forty nine people to tell ten thousand they love eBay. Mm -hmm. Not the opposite. You ruin Christmases for these people some of these kids or whatever, you know? Right. And, um, you think they cared? No, they didn't care. They could care less. Right. Um, so at this point, they still could never tell me what was wrong. Like what they all had was that email telling me they wanted these tracking numbers. And when, when I, every customer service rep told me the same thing, twisted it a little bit, but whenever we see activity on a new account that looks suspicious, we do this. And that's understandable. But also, you can see that I had this account since 2012, and they're linked. I've had this sales velocity many times. Why would you? What does it matter if I do it on a different account? It's not like I'm a day one seller and I don't know how to write a title at this point. I could see if I right. was first. So they're basically telling you or telling whoever would call in at this point if you're a new seller and you decide to sell on eBay and you have immediate success, we're shutting you down. Right. Exactly. That's what or they we're gonna that, pull your account into question. We're going to pull your and account and verify it. and make you run through hoops and hoops and hoops and hoops. And this like. isn't all the hoops. We're not even through all the hoops. Now we've had a whole other week of hoops this week. Because so, you've, so you've been down. Let me backtrack for a second. So you've been down since November. November. Middle, middle yeah. November. Mm -hmm. You lost all lost all fourth quarter getting everything going the, mm -hmm. with the slow sales and mm -hmm. with the issue. We're now in the middle of January. So we're two not, months into well, the yeah, like last, two and a half well, months. Yeah, two weeks ago or whatever it was, I decided that I cleared my head. I'm going to just pay it and open my accounts back up and and just, I'm going to take it as a challenge and see if I can do it again. Okay. On more accounts, you know, and just see if I can do. I just wanted to. I really just wanted to turn it around and twist it and ram it up them is what I wanted okay. to do and show gotcha. them and like just show them. Here's what I. Here's why you did it to me. I'm going to show you step by step. I'm going to YouTube this whole account that I'm going to create. And I'm going to show you step by step, day by day, how to do it, right? And um, something you should do at your e your eBay opens maybe, and that way you make money on it. You know, so you're making money. I, you're basically punishing me for making you money, and mm -hmm. that's what it was. So I paid the bill. It, it immediately got an email. Your accounts are open. Yada yada yada. So I went in, and none of my stuff was there. Nothing was there. None of my un all my items were gone. All my unsold. All my solds, my ended, everything was gone. Okay, nothing I could do because I was going to try and contact sales and smooth it over with them and see if I could get some, like uh, some of the 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 item not received, like uh, removed or something, you know, because I fell below standard, below standard on both accounts. Which that doesn't matter. That happens. Like it, it's that that's easily fixed within a month. So this is the account that got shut down. You well, decided both that, now at this point. So which shut. account have you decided or tried to, to log back into and start up again? Your original account both. or the new account? Okay, both. so you started I, to say, let's get both accounts back up and running. Let's see if we can get this going again. Mm -hmm. Screw them and what happened. I'm, mm -hmm. I'll figure it out. And then let's go forward from here. Right. Now there's a and, problem again with this. And then, and then so uh, I got the immediate email that, you know, my account's been reinstated both accounts when I sent the payments off like 24 with, you know, within minutes and I go to log back in and, uh, nothing was there. Like I said, so I went to create a draft drafted it 
and I went to hit list, your selling limits are zero and zero, you know, on both accounts. So you couldn't do anything, which certified. So I called, I had to call in the next day because I got, it was, it was already late. I would have just been overseas and they can't do anything about it. So I wait till the next day and I call in and, uh, they're like, yeah, uh, your accounts are open. Um, we're gonna, we'll send this up to risk management. That's who holds the accounts and see what they need, you know, what's going on. Uh, they may just need to turn everything back on and okay. Well, within like two hours or well, no, it was like the end of the night. Cause I was live when it happened. I was live. I, I don't remember oh. what time I called in. I was live when it happened. I got an email in my account from eBay saying I was restricted again. Before I even lifted, I hadn't even lifted. I hadn't even lifted, and I'll show you. I'll pull that up. It was the craziest thing ever. Um, so, uh, did, they, did they just restrict you from selling, or could you buy during this time? No, oh no, you can buy. Okay. But oh well, well they now didn't restrict that now, yeah, but not when I couldn't log in originally. I couldn't buy because I couldn't even log in. But um, mm. but this time around, I could re I could buy once I paid those fees off and open them back up. So, um, <laughs> just, open, just open a third account to buy. You, but you can't. It's like all these are tied. Like these aren't even one of these is a business. One is a you know a personal. Mm -hmm. uh, they're you know they're not even uh, really linked that way, and they still because they're uh, your IP address, your your PayPal's, your they sniff everything out. They know everything. I mean, it's uh, so. Okay, so here we go. The, that one, and then where is it? At? Actually, Tommy, I think Joey and I were on that live. Were you? No, like in the chat, in the chat, because I remember when you just said that. I was like, oh yeah, you were you were doing measurements, or or you were doing something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and you looked at your phone. You, this is you. Yeah, like, I was like, what, what, what what is happening? And yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? All right, so let's share this one. This is the the second blast that I got out of. You know, after I was reinstated, it, this is the one that came in. And I read it on air. This is one I read on air. And this is a new document that I've never seen before. So, activity has been restricted to ensure safe trading for you and your eBay community, as well as allow us to confirm some information, including your identity and your current business practices. We understand this process may seem confusing. Please allow us a little bit more. Blah, 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 blah. We're happy to review your account if possible. Adjust your selling restriction to allow additional activity to take place. In order for us to review your account, we ask that you please upload the following information. A readable copy of your driver's license front and back or other government ID. A copy of your of a recent credit card statement, bank statement, or utility bill. Your name and billing address must be visible and consistent with the information registered to your account. A documentation that shows that you purchased the item recently listed for sale on eBay. Documentation that will help us verify your items can include either manufacturer invoices or receipts. Unfortunately, we will be unable to accept photos of items to fulfill this requirement. Important to make sure you weren't purchasing though. No, 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 no. So basically, they're, 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 doing Amazon. they're doing Amazon. They want me to be provide invoices. Like, so how they many people's invoices. businesses sold? Oh, I see. The part that you purchased the items recently listed. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, and make sure that your are name. Are they one-offs, Tommy? Huh. If you're well, selling yeah, something I out of your closet, you don't have a receipt for something that right, you're selling. Exactly. Your thing, that's the whole. That's the whole. Which point. is the whole setup of eBay initially. Initially, is right. your, your worldwide garage sale. Sell your yep. stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't so got that receipts was on, for half the stuff in my closet. That was on the twenty. When was that? That was on the twentieth. They sent that. So okay. that was like Thursday. Uh, uh, I don't know when the twentieth was. Anyway. I called them me, uh, the next day immediately, and I said, "All right, here's I'll send this, this, and this." I said, "But my business is based on, every, just like most other people in eBay, auctions, thrifting, you know, uh, personal items, you know, you name it." I, I said, "I go to pawn shops. I I give them the whole like legit list of where I get, you know, I go because I at this point I was like, now I'm trying to scramble to come back because you know before I didn't care. At this point I'm like I already had my mindset i'm coming back and i'm going to do it again and i was like oh great did they just really because they said there was no issues before i paid you know before i, I was like i called them I was like hey, all right i'm ready to come back i'm gonna pay these fees today will my account be open yes 
trying to think about it. So now I'm thinking, did they really just lie and do that to just get the payment? You know, which I owed them the money anyway. So it wasn't about that. It was just a principle. I was just trying to be. Right, because you were just holding out. You were just. I was just trying to be to just, difficult. Right. Which shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done that anyway. But it didn't change the the realm of anything in the end. So I got everything together and I sent it off um, the the next day, so that been the twenty first, and and so they said it would be up to seventy two hours. Blah blah. So all right. So I waited. And then fast forward to next like last thursday well, the 20th was monday 20th was the monday yeah so then on up. thursday i heard nothing so i called back again um and on the 23rd i got the same email again right here like you this is you can see this uh i'll show you the same exact i have to already submitted everything there's the same email in a different form, you can see. But here, January sent January twenty third, four twelve p.m. That's specific time, so it's eight whatever our time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, same so, email. Same same email, right? And I'm like, what? So, th so there's no way, like, once you get something like that, there's no way you could actually like physically call someone and say, I need to speak to someone from this department. Oh no, 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 no. There's Starbucks hanging out um you know because i don't know how you're gonna show receipts unless they're talking about your goodwill receipt like well, i don't know yeah what don't show, receipts. show anything right um so then i send it in yet again right here's another yeah. one so pull this up same for i still have a shared you can pull it up so then i get oh this God, on the 29th one? on the 29th oh god so, i can't yep, even read it today so we're Thank whittling it down something. now right so they want proof of my business the car trading company government issued documents Proof of purchase. Now look at this. Look at the items that they throw up here. This is where it gets funny. Proof of purchases for iPhones, Adidas items, Marvel items, Windows software, Banana Republic clothing, Canon, BMW items, Footjoy clothing, sports cards, J. Crew items, video game items, Ralph Lauren items, and toys listed and sold. You can submit invoices, receipts, order confirmations, etc. that show the items, prices, billing, shipping information, etc. Mm-hmm. So this is basically probably stuff that you had previously listed in your store in those right. categories. So they want receipts yep. for everything. Oh so I, but you don't have them. You're not. You're like re right. Well, I did have one receipt because it was a brand new item, mm -hmm. and I sent okay. it, and that was for an iPhone 11 Pro Max, and um, it was uh, the wife bought it and she wanted to flip it, and I flipped it for her because that was on the day they came out. You know, she pre-ordered yeah, yeah. two, flipped one, kept one, so sold within a day. So I sent her, you know, her receipt, for, which is the same address. Every it shows the address, shows everything. So I sent that over, and then I, I called in and I said, "Look, I, this is the only thing I have." I said, "I, I told you my business model before." Uh, oh, okay, just send that over then, right? Um, so then, about two hours later, they escalated it, and here's my final response today. Out of two. Now, granted, I have two accounts that they that are that I use. I have two more that I've never touched. They're just sitting there. I'm sure they've already hit those two. I don't. I don't know. But you can you can pull this one up and look how funny this wording is. After careful consideration, you've decided to restrict your account indefinitely from listing in the cell phone and smartphones category. You're still able to list and sell items in other categories. However, you will not be able to list in this category any longer. We know you'll be disappointed with this decision, but please understand that we've taken this action to help ensure a safer buying and selling environment on eBay. Some of the things we look at when reviewing the category restrictions are how much history a member has in selling these types of items, positive selling feedback for the items in question, any feedback that questions the authenticity of the items, unresolved disputes with buyers of these items, complacence with compliance with eBay policies, previous account suspensions or eBay policy violations, the current status of your account, and any supplier information that cannot be verified. Please keep in mind that you are restricted for this type of item or category with any eBay account. Any associated accounts circumventing the outline of our decision will be suspended with no chance for appeals. This may also affect your current account and appeals process it may hold in the future. Going forward, we encourage you to continue to build a positive selling history on eBay and follow all policies. If you'd like more information about the policies or rules and listings, please visit this following page. Mm -hmm. We also place a selling limit on your listing activity. 
Oh. Mm -hmm. And Flywheel's mm -hmm. limits to help slow down sellers who may be experiencing temporary performance declines, or obviously in your situation, temporary boosts. This could also help a seller focus on their core business and address any issues before ramping back up sales. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. So, so now, lo and behold, they the only receipt that I had, they used that to restrict me for. Yeah, the category that you sent it in, that's the one they told you you can't I'm sell like, it anymore. Okay, so wow. you're, shitting, you're shitting me, right? Like, literally, I have a receipt for it, and you yeah. restricted me in it. And I've sold, I can't tell you how many iPhones I've sold over the years. I mean, ungodly amounts. Ungodly amounts. And you still haven't talked to a manager from risk management. They, they're they're like um, the Illuminati, I think. So so actually, a couple questions in the chat real quick, Tommy. Yeah. Uh, first one was, um, how long was your main account open for? Like, how long have you been selling that main account? 2012 or 13, somewhere okay. around there. And then, obviously, Knox has got a conspiracy theory here, but is there any way that your buyers maybe were calling and complaining? Um, like haters from the YouTube show? Like, just calling in and complaining about your well, stuff? Well, I asked them that, and they then responded with, well, what's your YouTube name? That was the... the oh, that's where it came from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that because, And I was like, excuse me? And That's interesting. I was like, that, that hit me just kind of weird, and I'm usually pretty quick on my feet, and I kind of just like, kind of start, I was like, what? I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, I mean, not hard to figure out, but I was like, that's kind of weird that they would ask me that. Like, I was like, is there possible there's more to this you're not telling me? Because one... The whole story has changed since day one. I mean, if you look at the timeline, the whole mm -hmm. thing was my tracking history they wanted in the beginning. They got that. Right. Now it's down to receipts for name brand items. And once I sent that receipt, they restricted it. It was like a fishing expedition. Like to, it seemed like there was something yeah. like they kept going until they could find something, but I don't know how they could even find something because um it, it's, it seems that you've been having this is just me looking at it from a thirty thousand foot view i haven't really been as specific down as, as you are right. but it seems that as your issues have ramped up in the last few weeks so mm -hmm. has the down votes and everything else on the shows you've been putting out i've been noticing an increasing amount there as well which is why noxy brings up that point is could there be something to it? And then obviously if they're asking you what's going on there and you well, know, you did that really long show where you complained about it. Is there a way that maybe people just, I mean, we know who the, the people out? are that are doing that. It's two people on all their troll accounts and they are creators. And that's because we banned them for talking in our chats about some of our friends. Um, I know, you know, garage flips, Lonnie Honeycutt, mm -hmm. um, and John Cincinnati Picker. Do you know him? Uh, I know of them. I've okay, they're like the two big, one of two of the bigger resellers and like channels in our space, and they're close friends of ours. So um, when we started our show, there's a lot of jealousy in the reseller space on YouTube. You don't say. Lots of it. Really? So, really? So they. Joy and they I were, haven't experienced that at all. Small, <laughs> there's a small group of like failed creators that have never went anywhere with their channels over years of trying and it's because their personality sucks not because of anything else one of them actually does sells really good stuff and has a lot of knowledge but he can't get out of his own way with his personality and he's too worried about other people and what they're doing and why his youtube channel isn't growing and so what they were doing is once we started our channel they they knew that I, we were friends with them so they were okay. they used to use this haven this other small channel haven that people go to it gets like 10 20 people in it to bash them all night long and had this little rah rah, and you know, hey, they're buying views, they're doing this, blah blah. blah. Well, no one paid attention to them. So when we, they found out we were doing this, they started coming to our chat, and I was like, Shh, I just blocked them all. Then they started following us to other people's chats and doing it. Okay. And then when we were mods in those chats, we would block them, you know. And then then we got a 21 minute video put out about us for controlling the internet and holding their channels back. And I saw that one, yeah. <laughs> And what? Okay. And yeah, and and the and the people have four times the amount of subscribers that we have, but we're holding them back somehow. I haven't figured that out. Okay. But lo and behold, that's where so, that comes from. They're they're and and the next day, generally the thumbs down are cut in half because YouTube only allows one thumbs down per account. So if they go into twelve account, you know, sometimes I'll have thirteen or fourteen. The next day it'll be down to six. 
because it'll be that YouTube won't, doesn't allow them to, to do that. Yeah, after right. the real time stuff kind of. So yeah, so just, gotcha. to, just okay. to go back to what you were saying, when you were talking, when you were on the phone talking to someone, was that just a regular customer service, or did no, you escalate it was it to no, no. They 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 told me they were like a liaison to risk management. They wouldn't tell me. They don't tell you who they are. They don't tell you the levels. Mm. They don't because I was really? overseas. I was overseas. But they transferred oh. me two C's. They transferred me two C's, which never really happens. Um, they try to hold the call over there all the time. They don't ever uh. transfer. I don't. I don't. But when they pulled up my account, they transferred me over, and it was definitely an American, one hundred percent. And he he was really nice, and he was just, right. oh, just like you know. And I, you, they won't even let you speak to supervisors in that department. Like, That's it's so weird. crazy. It is. It's the crazy. So have you ever? Have you ever spoken to anybody in the reseller community team? Like, I'm just curious, because like, it seems like you've done all that you can do, and now you're just kind of on the hamster wheel. Like right. maybe you need to get a third, you know, like a fourth, fifth pair of eyes of somebody who maybe will actually call you and like really get the nitty gritty and then maybe take that to, you know what I'm saying? It seems there's some sort of disjointed thing like you're saying too. You send in all the right paperwork, and then they ban you in the category you sent the item in. Right. Well, they yeah. ask for information you can't provide, um, like right. tracking so numbers saying, that are like, already it there. Seems like he needs to talk to someone right. who might advocate. So they're like, for ask for, they ask for tracking uh, numbers. You're like, here they yeah. are. They're right here in front of you. I'm on trying your platform. to. I'm trying to go back to. And then they're like, sorry, that's not good enough. We're gonna yeah, ban you for the go... tracking number information. It seems like it seems like you're constantly on the hamster wheel with risk management, and you're not getting anywhere. You're like you're not being yeah. escalated to uh, wherever you're gonna be. I'm wondering if I can ever find out who Weird. is like. Yeah, I, I I don't even I don't know, know if they exist sometimes. Like I don't believe half the stuff they tell me. You know. Um, well, I, well the, I mean, I get it, right? Like if you feel like you're getting yeah, the shaft. I'm trying to remember which. The runaround. And, and now I'm looking through my solds on the this account, my newer my new account, the one that got blasted. And I actually think the iPhone sold on my old account, and which would make even less sense because I can't. I'm Tracy, just, what, what do you mean? How do I force that? What do you mean? What is she saying? I right. guess the bright, talking no, to the I right person. Huh? What is Tracy saying? No, I think I was talking. I think Rob was talking about was yeah, talking to somebody like, in the reselling community department, and she was asking, like, how do you force that transfer over there? Oh, you know, what do you mean? There, what do you mean there, a reseller department? No, that's what Rob was talking about. Like so there's an actual department. department inside of eBay, you mean? Or what are you talking about? Yeah, so, I'm not sure what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's a, like there's you know well you like okay so let me ask this Tommy I'm just gonna I'm just gonna redirect you for a second like okay. have you ever gone to a meetup have you ever gone to a meetup like within your hometown? My hometown? No, there's nine people. But, oh okay. well, you can start a meetup. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. no, no, I have I have not. So have you meetup. reached out to like eBay for business? Like yes, you know how they have they their won't touch it. okay so you, so okay. they won't touch it. Mm -mm. Who did you talk there? Did you talk to Griff or did you talk to Audrey? Or did you talk to uh, well, standard response on Facebook person. Yeah, standard response on Facebook. Um, and it was just a policy back to us if one like there is a pol it was the policy they sent back to me about if one account is restricted, they're all restricted. And if they caught they just find they just found one resp canned response that was pertinent to my whole story and sent it back to me so i gave up on them at that point because they weren't they they're just too busy for it they right. won't they so won't is, touch it and this is where ebay open really is good for like because you you i would want you to go to something like that like okay so now they have i wrote i even wrote thing. a letter to the to shankle kankle whatever cackle whatever his name is yeah it's scott shankle yeah yeah i got it yeah, yeah, I got yeah a camera, you're camera going that's yeah, too high that's too mm -hmm. high it, it <laughs> yeah. got, it, he didn't see it his secretary probably yeah saw it. Yeah. So wait, no, I ended so up in a spam folder. That's where it ended up. Yeah, well, no, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I got a canned response, and, that, and that's the, it. What? Um, okay, so the events page came out, and they have something called eBay upfront. Do you have anything locally? New happening? York City is as closest I think okay. they get to me. So I'm telling you, Tommy, I want you to go. I want you to register and go because in that upfront, you're going to have people who you can get face to face with. There's going to be Harry. Uh, Tempkin, there's going to be Brian Burke, there's going to be, there's another woman, I can't think of her. What, yeah, but let me ask her. you this. Let me ask you this. Devil's advocate. Okay. And let's just say that they were that type of person. I've never seen one person from eBay answer a hard question. 
Never in my life. I've seen them actually. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, Tommy, I know how you're feeling, and I know you're feeling kind of crushed and disheartened. But I'm gonna tell you, as somebody, I, and I know you guys all in the chat think Joey and I are like rah rah rah. No, no, no. I don't. I know. I, I am I'm wearing my eBay you, podcast sweatshirt today. Sorry, guys. Trust me, I wouldn't. He's very proud of that. He's very here. proud of that. No, I understand. I know. I know what you're saying. Gonna, and I think we because do. We, we you're totally right, Robin. Understand. Um, we, I, we totally understand. And, but I do think that there are certain people within that community. Like I get what you're talking. You get that canned response. Like I've, I've gotten it too, mm-hmm. like from people mm-hmm. that I think are, right. like, are cool. But and we're I'm in like, a luxury, Rob, and we get that canned response. I call up or mm-hmm. I text somebody else and I get the better response. Yes. Nobody has that. The yes. People don't have that luxury. Mm-hmm. Right. A lot of the times we just happen to be because our meetup is where it's at. So I don't think, I mean, mm-hmm. I just, I really, I just think the right person is going to be at that upfront. Do you know what I mean? Like, right. I just think that. But when is that upfront? And then like, how long can he wait till then? Yeah, where is that? When? What? Do you know when uh, that? That, uh, that I don't. I don't know. I don't know when. Does anybody is. in the chat know when the, the um, first New York upfront is coming? Can someone? Because like, they probably don't do them in like DC or anything like that. I'm sure. Do they? Well, there's like twenty. Uh, I, they might because there's going to be ten this year to like, pop up. I think. <laughs> Yeah. That's what so, I was hearing. I think tomorrow is going to be um, a lot of announcements tomorrow. They'll probably have a lot of mm-hmm. listings of where they're going to be. So I don't know times and stuff, but. Mm-hmm. Um, I was so, just going to think is there anybody in New York who has an actual meetup? Like, and if it's not an upfront, like an actual meetup, meetup? Oh, I know. Um, Kathy, Kathy Terrell. Terrell, has a, Terrell has a meetup. Well, yeah. Terrell, I always say Terrell. Terrell, Terrell, Terrell yeah. whatever. And would they, I mean, would they sacrifice time with her for me? Yeah, because they talk after the after they do their little segments, then they have the meet and greet. Okay. And then you just got to put yourself, Tommy, be bold, and just get in someone's face. And then I can, you know, once I figure out who's at that meetup, I can tell you who who to go to. So, Joe, you but have everything ready. Yeah, pull this up. Pull that up. Oh no, I got the wrong one. Oh crap, sorry. Hold on, I got I shared the wrong. Wait, don't be giving out passwords now. Come on now. No, I don't care at this point. You can have. Really, it's, I think it's in, it's one of the libraries in New York. I'll, uh, I'll have to check the site for you real quick here. There you go. And let me just hide his information. So there's the phone. He's very purple, Tracy. <laughs> That's the phone. That can you see that? Um, oh, hold on. Ooh, sorry. Oh, Noxie, I didn't know that, really? So there's you, I mean, there's the delivery, the phone, everything. So why would I, what did I do wrong to where? Nothing from what I'm looking at yeah, it right now. I mean, that's like that's the phone. That's the sale. Delivered. It was ordered on, when was it ordered? Uh, can I, well, I'm afraid because I don't want to click on his name. I don't know what comes up yeah, here. Yeah. So. I'm afraid to like click on um yeah one of those like uh shipping details I guess we can Oop, get the idea it's delivered on the 22nd and this you could see when it was sh- oh, order yeah. placed November 15th okay so November the 15th payment payment date Friday so so it was on Friday so it probably came in at night it didn't go out until Monday which would have been 16th 17th 18th right mm-hmm. so that now we're so from in four days during Christmas it got to him and got positive feedback correct it so, was great so what did what did i don't I do? know i think what's happening is you are in a circle of bad customer service i think you're not getting people who who have any pull i think you're just in that little roundabout and because you're risk management meaning that they consider mm-hmm. you high risk they flagged your accounts no one's helping you so now i need to get you in front of somebody who mm-hmm. is going to like sit and just listen to you for a moment. And even mm-hmm. if it's bad news at the end, at least your story was told. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to swirl on it. Because do you think, I don't do wanna... you think that they're in the business for, uh, of, of caring about that kind of stuff? I would say at this point, because they've fired 200 people, um, they've got so many balls in the air right now. They don't even know what the right and left hand are doing. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say I, I get your feeling, but mm-hmm. the experience that I have is yes, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I almost lost my account because of fraud, meaning that they, I sent something else and something came back and then they, it was a, it was a high end purse. Mm-hmm. And so they were saying that I was selling a fake and I was like, uh, no. Um, so I had to do a lot of stuff, but I had to get myself in the front of right. the right person. But what, but so what would happen was, if you, they asked for a receipt for that and you couldn't provide I, Well, they didn't. I mean, this is what I'm saying. Like, I'm just really, 
I'm very amazed by the email chain that you have. Like, mm -hmm. it just, and, and what I'm surprised about is that they haven't escalated it to like the next level. Like, and I don't know if it is. Though. They told call. me originally, and that's another thing. They told me originally this was a newly created team. Yeah, the, risk the, management is a completely. I listen when I did speaking uh, coming eBay Summit. That whole team was on our where we were doing the speech. So the they're all new event. hires then. So they're mm -hmm. all new hires, and the team that the head of that team. I got to figure. I, that's why I got to do some research. I got to figure out mm -hmm. because the 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 reorganization that is happening, and it is happening because mm -hmm. there was two hundred before, and now there's two hundred now. We've lost people in Portland. We've lost mm -hmm. a crap ton in San so they're, Jose. They're, they're losing 400 now? Well, the 200 happened like uh, a couple weeks ago. For, yeah. Well, no. The, yeah, that was the second wave. The first oh, okay. wave happened like last year. It was like 186, mm -hmm. and it was mostly temps and, mm -hmm. you know, whatever they call that when you, you know, uh, job sharing and stuff like people. That. Yeah, yeah. And so they kind of did like a hiring freeze, mm -hmm. and they just stayed within their own you know, they got rid of all the temps and then they just shifted people into positions. Right. But this but, one, you know, was, and I know, like, this one was a hurtful one. Right. And it, and it is because I know that it's easy to say, like, you know, I get on, I get on YouTube and I blab and I go on and on and on about stuff. But when it comes to something like this, when I just quit my job to go full time, like two weeks I beforehand, know, dude, or week, whatever, I, my heart and then, hurts for you. And then it was like, it, it was just stunning. It, it, it wasn't like it wasn't shtick. It wasn't like it wasn't. It was like so legit that it was scary. It was scaring me, and right. uh, th that's the thing. And then you just try not to let it bother you. But in the end, it does bother you really because as much as I bash on eBay, this moment in time, you're still able to make money on there. You're still able to make a lot of money on there. It's yes, hard. You, you it's have hard. You got to baby a lot of money. it. You you got to baby it. You got to milk it. You got to you know. Um, keep the bottle warmer on, but you know, we just got to get you the right people. Yeah, I, and that's I don't. What it comes I just, I, I'm like, I just don't even know that anyone cares enough there to care. Well, I to, get it, and that's an honest feeling, Tommy. Listen, you've been, you've been kind of actually the script wheel it, it's exactly what it is regimental reseller it seems like he's been stuck on the same script oh, yeah. and it, they just reworded Absol yeah absolutely and i'm i'm kind of devastated mm -hmm. for you that's why i want you to i want you to print yeah. all those out put it in a folder and i'm going to try to figure out trying to get something on the east coast mm -hmm. so that you can get the right people to stand in front of because i just think you need like at mm -hmm. least 15 minutes get your story down to 15 minutes get facts beef punk you know like on the facts so i can't have krill and say, for me no <laughs> No. <laughs> and then that way, and then a phone number. Like you just say, I just want to sit down with somebody. Right. And you know the thing really, is, is I respond really every time with my phone it. number in there. Respond every time with my phone number right after my name. Keep Securely doing it. Thomas Burnham, Keep my phone number it. right every time. And they don't, they'll, they don't. But I got to tell you something, Tommy, I'm going to give you a clue. Even the, the ones with big followers. So, you know, um, and I'm not going to name names. Right. But every time they have an issue, every time they put it on their Instagram story and right. I've done it several times where and then I get the phone call mm -hmm. because guess what when you're the squeaky wheel yeah but then again then you, realize, look at, then you look at some the biggest story which was you guys weren't aware of at the time but was the the auction with Pete Craigslist Hunter mm -hmm. they didn't do anything for that as far as I know they well, ended up so the I did I did talk to somebody there's a lot of people who don't know about that story so Probably. it's it meaning that I, I you have to understand eBay is a huge corporation. It's not just this no, tiny little that. one little thing. Yeah, I mean, but they have a PR. Like a, company. He reached out to yes, PR. but if they fire people from their PR and it's a company, not eBay employees, right. mm -hmm. they're not gonna. And then they buffer it so that mm -hmm. eBay does not get it. So they, I mean, they basically stop it from being they they sw they sweep it under the rug. I don't know. In this right. case, I don't know because I didn't even know about it. Now, how is it that I I follow that guy, and it's like why wasn't it on his Instagram? I mean, I'm not putting the blame on him because I, it was just devastating to watch the story, and then I'm like, what? I think because it is. I think because Pete's YouTube is so monstrous. You know. Yes. He has like right. two hundred thousand subscribers or something ridiculous. But just, you know, but just like the Australian auction, like one word, one word, it's like telephone. We all kind of got the word out to each other. And it's like, I just think you but guys eBay never, understand. But eBay never reached out and tried to offer. I know, but I think people. they would have. I think they would have if they had enough tags. Like if we did a chain, 
like we did for the Australian auction, mm -hmm. you know, and we had enough people tagged, it was seen. And I know that when other issues have happened, like the glitch of Palooza happened, mm -hmm. and I had questions, I did my Insta stories and I would tag eBay all the time. Yeah, but eBay my... also can have you shadow banned quick. They have the power to shadow ban. They do it to my friend on Twitter all the time. He gets shadow banned once a month. Well, it's, explain what that is. Shadow banned is you don't know it, but you're not being seen. You're, you're right, right. You're, I you're, you're your story, your stuff's still going out, but you're no one seeing it. And so, Ask eBay on Twitter is the same people of Facebook for eBay for business. You know, Jasmine and Corey and the, all the five or six people, the same exact ones, unless they all just use different the same logins and they're really not any people. But he explained to me about their <laughs> no. system, but. They have one system for all media, email, Twitter, Instagram, anything you can tag them in and eBay for business. And it all routes to one central server. Right. And it okay, has a name. So you're right about that because Joey and I were talking about that before. And we were saying that there at one time on IG, there was like five different IGs for like there was a, you know, eBay for business, eBay for Germany, eBay for England, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, all of that disappeared or, mm -hmm. or it became like a dead zone. Like, right. They merged so into I do, one. They merged one. Yes, account, yeah. they did. And mm -hmm. it really affected all of that. And that yeah. department that you're talking about is the most affected on this, on this reshifting and reorg of this company. Well, so, and that's probably why they're just sending out canned responses all the time now. They don't have time to correct, actually. At this point, yes. Or they don't really, or they, or are they not given. Because they, ultimately, they have to be given the power to, to reach out to someone higher than them. They don't do things themselves. They actually have to, re I mean, they can do small, normal, everyday things, but anything more than that, they have to reach out to someone else for permission. The, how many times they tell you, I love a check, we'll be right back, you know? That's what they're calling someone. They have a direct line. They're, I know. I just they, don't understand this. Like, they, I just don't understand why you just don't have a liaison to keep talking to so that we can, like, like if they legitimately, they don't have, well, the, like if they don't have the power or the power, manpower. At this point, right. 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 It's like, it's, it's, you know how you have like the, the, um, you know, the federal <laughs> sheriffs, like in the country, you know, they have the ultimate power over the whole country. They can go wherever they, there's no jurisdiction. That's what it seems like the risk management team is in eBay right now. Like they're like the, you know, I, I, you know, at this point, Tommy, you might be right. Like maybe risk management lost their jobs too. I mean, listen, seriously, I, we are starting to get the trickle down effect. Mm -hmm. Doug Smith was the first one that I knew because we're, we're good friends. So we reached out, you know, and it was, oh my gosh, it was devastating. But we're just, start, I think we haven't even seen the start of this yet. I think. I, just, I think there's going to be a ripple effect. Oh, uh, I, I mean, I've been saying you know. this for a long time. Like, I don't, and, and it might be, they may, it wouldn't, I know they monitor social media. I know that. We, we know that for a fact. They mon they've pretty much stated that. They have ears. And yes. they have services. Like, um, so I know people, a lot of, all celebrities have services. They're like, they're yes, called, yes, they, yes. If their name is mentioned, talked about, anything, anywhere in the universe, on any type of platform, print, over the air, they're notified. Yeah, like a Google alert or something. It's, a, it's an alert, yeah. And so they probably get reports of everyone that has, you know, they probably know a lot more about YouTube than we think they do. I wouldn't doubt that. But I don't say anything about them that isn't happening to me that's false or my... Oh, no. No, no, I hear yeah. what you're saying. I definitely think no, this is definitely legit. Right. And, and I actually I, sent in a I'm better really business bureau. Right. I, right actually, person for you. I actually asked them for, I sent in a better business bureau complaint against them and asked them about I wanted to put them on the spot about um visibility of items. Oh, right? on the when they were doing the glitch, yeah. Well no, yeah, they said that there was no visibility that no loss of visibility, but yet they changed their terms of service to say they don't guarantee visibility now. So I, well, I, hear you're I filed with Cal State of California a Better Business Bureau complaint to, I want to verify this. You know what their answer was? And did you get anything back? Yeah, they responded. We don't have to answer this. Oh, oh, it actually said then, we don't have to answer then, this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, and around, I don't know the exact verbiage. So then Better Business Bureau said, now the ball's in your court. Do you want to proceed with this? And now I got to go into a legal battle to get the response. Oh, so yeah. That's it's like, not what? Gonna... Seriously, they can't even, like, to the Better Business Bureau, they can't answer a question? 
Like they they just so at that well, point. Well, I mean, you, the better is the better business bureau run by the federal government or or state? Is it or is it a private? I think industry? it's a, just a, I think it's just a third party agency yeah, that, a, that holds the credibility yeah. to a company. I mean, they yeah. I don't even know if people take them serious anymore. They used to be oh, better business bureau rated. I mean, you don't even how often do you see that anymore? You see more Geico commercials than that. It's it's, yeah, right. it's, it's, it's crazy, but um, right. so I don't know, but. I do. I praise them when they do stuff right. I praise them about when I can make money. I praise yeah, 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 them, yeah, but yeah. I all, but I also don't want people to think that it's all, you know, green land ahead because we haven't seen the right. worst of it. It's going to be way worse than my. I can. I, I predicted this drop and this cut and this stock plummet that that's still going to keep going. I think because Wall Street isn't dumb like that. Like people like the average eBay seller is like not dumb dumb to financial reports maybe like we're not i'm not saying they're dumb i'm saying we're dumb to the to the we don't pay attention that to that area. part of it you know right. we don't pay attention so, to the structure of the company we're worried right. about our own individual stuff that we, we don't believe, worry about the, we believe around what it. they tell us by default because we so they try to make everything yeah. sound good when in reality everything they said was horrific mm-hmm. like every other company's up 20 well, percent year over year and they're down nine percent listen so you think they're still the going to do the line. fulfillment center this year? Yeah. Why? Why? why I mean, yeah, the, in the white background nap and the. But let's see. Well, that's we talked that. to the guy who's in charge of that. I mean, how, uh, much, so. how many? How many failed campaigns have they had in the last seventy years? The uh, category categories, right? They were the categories they failed on. They gave up on and pulled out of the, the um, which the, the catalog was actually necessary to make listing faster. That's why on Amazon you can list in seconds. I can just scan, boom, boom, done. I don't have to take pictures. I don't have to do anything. Right. Why would they fail on that? Something they could I actually don't know. feed their platform up. I don't know. I we heard a we heard a quote yesterday. You know, like like you have to remember, there's humans running eBay. I mean, I definitely think sometimes these things are human error, um, and then I think sometimes greed. So mm-hmm. you have to understand the board is running EV. Right, at this point. the board is running, and Elliott Management. And, has and they're role. all from Fortune mm-hmm. 500 companies, and they all have the executive mindset. And there is no, they need money, right? That's mm-hmm. what they want. It's all bottom but line the, is the money. The problem too is the last people they bring in, the presidents and CEOs they always bring in, yes. are from retail stores. Right. The retail they, 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 don't they have exist. nothing to do with e-commerce. They have nothing mm-hmm. to do with selling. Mm-hmm. They're they're in the they know how to sell, but they don't know what it's like to be a seller. Right, they don't. Right. They've never been on this side, and and especially as a, like we're contractors, we're not employees, so it's even it's different. We're running micro businesses underneath of millions right. of micro businesses underneath one umbrella. They're really clueless on that, mm-hmm. um, and also the. I don't know if they're the, clueless. See, Tommy, I don't think they're clues. I think they're fully aware. See, because you have to understand, there are some really smart people on eBay. I just don't think. I just don't think I they think, think we're as smart as them. Some you of the people are handcuffed. Some That's are handcuffed. the problem. Yes. Right. But how but, come but they I think don't you're right, Tommy. About... Listen, Tommy. Listen, listen, listen. Tommy, Tommy. Let's like Linda. 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 So, Tommy, oh, like Robin. this. Okay. So, you brought up a very good point, Tommy. Like, I wanted to address that. Like, about the, the dummy sellers. So, the problem is you put those sellers, and on the podcast, if everybody's like listening and not watching, mm-hmm. I'm doing air quotes. The is. They have they certain people come up to these execs and they are not knowledgeable. They like don't right. even know the basis of their store. And so what we as resellers need to do is get people who actually know the business, mm-hmm. like not only from the financial, but like from the ground mm-hmm. up, like boots up. Because I gotta tell you, at eBay Open, to actually listen to some of these people talk to executives, it was painful. Right. It was painful. Right. You're like, they're wasting valuable time here. With I'm like, why are you talking? Right. Like, stop you, talking. I've got some five legitimate years questions. You yeah. should never come for five more like, years. Right? Why? Like, they, they want to know, like, why are you taking away blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, because it was stupid. It why needs didn't to I get go a birthday away. card from eBay? <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, and so it's not I that. Do. And I don't and I don't mean that in is like sellers are actually, you know, they're smart. No, and no, they're, I know what you mean. Right, I know what you meant. But they we don't understand. Like Joey might. But I, I don't have an MBA. No, I don't in, know. I, well, I, yes. I, if you were, have an MBA in finances, yeah. sure. I don't but have that. At the so same time, I know. When all these numbers, it's like. I know about 20% of what they mean. The rest mm-hmm. seem like they're fillers right. and 
they want to bamboozle you with BS. To like, yes. But the good thing is, Tommy, you know that you can go somewhere and get answers to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But the same point, even though Joey's in finance, he still needs to hear these kind of stories because yeah. if, if you are his client, uh -huh. right, he's going to have to figure this out because mm -hmm. how does one lose their business mm -hmm. and now they're trying to get back on the platform and it's legit, it, it's all legit. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. I got to so, get you what in is front your, of the what right is your, person. I didn't, if you ran it early on, I missed it because I was on the phone with eBay. But um, yeah. <laughs> uh, did you? What is your take on their numbers? Like uh, the, like your honest take on it. So I. Wait on the numbers that um, they just dropped. Yeah, fourth quarter, quarter numbers. They're, they're so quarter numbers. we we I actually brought up the I had the stock price up on the for the last year or mm -hmm. the last six months on the thing, and you can see the drop off come third quarter. Um, release date. So middle of October, you can see the big drop in, in stock price. Mm -hmm. And that had to do, obviously, with third quarter issues and, and coupled with the mm -hmm. glitches that were going on in fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Fourth quarter is even lower. Fourth quarter this year is worse than last year. Year over year, it's it's down 5% in their gross value of merchandise, but they've got more sellers on the platform, quote-unquote, 2% more active sellers worldwide. Mm -hmm. But their volume's down. Right. So but how does that down. even Matthew mathematically? So they got more people selling it for less stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, or to get so, multiple. So final value fees. If you look at think about final value fees on their items, they have they're making less money because if they're getting final value fees on twenty five billion dollars worth of stuff as opposed to say twenty two billion dollars worth mm -hmm. of stuff, now it's they're getting that percentage is lower. Mm -hmm. Um, stock price dropped a lot, like six percent overnight. Mm -hmm. um, analysts still think it's a good buy, but I don't know. Because they got they got dropped in rating by somebody. I'd yeah, probably. and if you look at it, just said from year to year, like last year yeah. to this year, it's lower. I mean, the earnings were lower. They had to readjust the earnings. They they made the mark, but the, they made right. the mark because the earnings were readjusted. Well, yeah. At one point, they, they were talking they, eighty-six to ninety eighty-six cents a share. They dropped right. it to seventy-six cents a share, and they made eighty-two. So right. yeah, we beat the mark, but but they re, because they adjusted. We had to readjust our numbers, and then so their sure forecast the is soft on Q one supposedly, right? Yeah. They have a really soft Q one. This fourth quarter. quarter didn't have a good sale, so that fourth right. quarter stuff that comes out is based on a lot of fourth quarter sales, and then we have now we're in Q one, and we're. Um, so, so but even the so, just taking their numbers and let's say that their numbers aren't that bad, but all the rest of e-commerce is up like 20%. Right. Every other company. Mm -hmm. But eBay's down like not. Our numbers aren't that bad. We saw Etsy. <laughs> Etsy was up, I think, 6 or 7%. And eBay's Etsy down 5%. Here, See, right? okay, so Tommy, there you go. You just answered your own question. Look. Posh is going to go public Joey, this year. Who's got MBA? Tommy, no MBA. Yeah, and Tommy has legitimate questions. Wait, listen. <laughs> Tommy has legitimate questions, and he just answered his own question. Let's right. see. eBay's down by six percent. Right. Etsy's up by eight. Uh, yeah. That's you a fourteen-point right deficit on Super Bowl Sunday, right? Exactly. Right. right. And that's and then you got Posh exactly. And and then so you got, again, yeah. Joey. Now hold on. I, I, I will backtrack and say. Diversify. <laughs> I will backtrack and say. Posh was going to go public last year, and right. I think it was third quarter. They pulled back because they weren't ready. I think it was another company, the Real Real, went public, and another uh, company went public, and their IPOs tanked. Yeah. So they came out and they fell down. Poshmark okay. pulled back because they didn't want they, that to right, happen. That's a smart move. So they're hoping in 2020 to go up again but you know they're part of that secondary right. retail e-commerce market there it's different than say like an amazon who's got yeah they have some secondary but in the minds of most people it's primary purchases right it's you're buying new with new in stock new items you're not buying secondary market retail mm -hmm. you know um reusable stuff or re you know rethrifted right, items right. like eBay would be so all these people who are trying to in that secondary market, like the real real, and all these people who are trying to go public, Poshmark even per se. I mean, that they're muddying the waters. I mean, they're testing the waters to see what's going to happen. Which is, if eBay keeps tanking, I mean, Poshmark's in no no rush to go public. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. I mean, no, how long no, it took no, Facebook to go to. public? And I don't Facebook know. Facebook went public because really. they were forced to go public. They hit so they hit the parameters. They had to go public. Poshmark could just pull back and whatever and, and kind of make right. it as long as they want, but. Obviously, with the their investors coming in there and giving them twenty five million dollars every quarter, or fifty million dollars every quarter to sort of build up their brand and business, they want to, they want to see a return on that from an IPO. Mm -hmm. 
and stock price is going up. But yeah, I mean, you guys are all making sense in the chat. That's going to be the test there. We got to get Tommy on the platform. Well, no, that's we why I'm asking Tommy Joe because I don't platform. know. I don't know. I don't. I hear the numbers, Look, but I don't know the. I don't know the what that really means. Like it sounds horrific to me, but it really couldn't be, and that's why I'm like, okay. No. I don't know what it means. It's not good. It's not it's, good. Listen, it's not great, but mm -hmm. it's not super bad either. And it, we listen. Mm -hmm. We we have an interim CEO. We just lost two hundred people from key positions. Um, just like any Fortune five hundred. Just like when I was working for mm -hmm. PayPal and it pulled away from eBay. Look, you're gonna take a hit. It's gonna mm -hmm. go like this, and then you never know. The next mm -hmm. CEO comes in. We might have some like, well, like I mean, and I, stuff. that's what I'm. Uh, but it's really gonna help you, Tommy. You're not even on the platform. Right. We need to get you on the I'm platform. On the platform. I'm on the platform. I'm on the platform, and that you didn't hear the last part of the story. We didn't get to that. Oh, we didn't oh, get yeah. to the, silver we didn't lining. Get to the, oh my God, we didn't get to the good stuff. Oh God. Oh, silver God. lining. He's allowed to. You really are Krillin Jr. <laughs> so with, uh, so with the, that final email that I showed you that we pulled up, yeah. they, you know, said yeah. that your your accounts reinstated and all that. You didn't see any specifics in there at all. Like you didn't see mm -hmm. like anything. They said that there was they were putting limitations, right? You saw that, right? But they didn't right, tell right. you in that yes. email what they were or anything. So now I got to call in again, like to verify mm -hmm. this email. Like what does this email even mean? Because to me, they they're wasting their time. They could have put it in email, saved a phone call, saved on rep hours, say you know they're just making more work for themselves over and over again. Yeah. So, so out of the the two accounts that were affected, they said you know they uh, they said oh well we're only going to open one of them back up. We're going to leave the other one restricted. And give you time to learn the platform. <laughs> and, and, excuse me. So you okay? Just you, say okay. Okay, just, I'm gonna learn the platform. You're just spending me for overlearning the platform. Yeah. Now Can you send me I, videos on how to learn eBay, please. Thank you. But here's the kicker: they they opened the baby junk account back up and left the main account down. Hmm. And I'm like, so why would you leave a you know a, a thirty some feedback account open? but leave the 1300 feedback account closed to make it even more difficult and even give you less revenue. <laughs> I'm like, uh, what? Oh my gosh. I don't know. But I don't now know. Let's get even better because my other, my main account was like really high. Not, it, it wasn't unlimited because I by far, but it was ridiculous numbers. I could never list the amount to meet the, the, you know, the selling limits. My second account okay. was like uh three, 300 is a weird number 330 and i don't know 15 18 20 000, whatever that the math is there they brought it down to 100 listings and five thousand items five thousand dollars to start me off to learn the account with uh to be making okay more just say okay and that's what i did i just, just i giggled i'm like don't don't fart it's fidgeting around just with it just giggled. do it just say like, okay okay I say, so you're just gonna play nice you're gonna be one hand behind your back and you're right, just gonna I be say, like i'm not gonna be tommy about it i'm just so gonna learn I'm the just platform gonna, like, i just literally giggled i'm like are you for real right now <laughs> he's like yeah I just that's like, good I'm like, but just so just don't flood like, it like, what were so, you flooding it with like new stuff or or your one-off i'll just do i'm just gonna put all like 150 plus dollar items on there just because that's all i'll be maxed out and just over month over month right. and then I'll, i'm right I, I mean i have other stuff in the works but i just that's right. the that one i'm just going to use is to track it and to show ebay on right. tape how it's done so that they can learn how it's done to that I'm, I'm not drop shipping on that account like you know Touché. Like, no I mean, drop shipping yeah i mean my receipt for my iphone that i just showed you i, I drop shipped that by the way yeah, i was like well. <laughs> yeah well and so, i was just gonna say to answer everybody in the chat listen joey and I, and I are not saying chicken little we are not saying the sky is falling we are still big time right, eBay right. resellers it's still my main platform I love eBay. I just lost some really close friends. That's all. So I don't think that this guy's falling in the yet. Heart. That's honestly. all. I don't think it's falling yet. I, but I, I think, think that they don't have think, much time uh, to turn the ship around if they bet. No, if they win it. they're already in Q1, so like they got to yeah. figure something out. But I don't think we'll see anything in probably till Q3. But right. I, you never know. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to say in long the term, like because you got to look at people say don't give up on eBay, right, all the time. But the only people that say that 
are people in the demographics of eBay because they don't want eBay to fail. Pretty much. You'll never hear a millennial say, don't give up on eBay. Well, first of all, it. we don't have enough millennials, and I'm talking on the on the younger end of millennials. Mm -hmm. I want to see a 19-year-old talk to me. I want to get him on the yep. show. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to them about eBay. Can you I doubt a 19 year old they are selling on, on eBay. the list on eBay with their ADD going full blown that crazy? <laughs> they could have put 20 items on Poshmark by then. You know, that's the that's well, the yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got a 16 year old nephew mm -hmm. who sells on Posh and gr and, mm -hmm. and, gra and gra Grailed, the one that I did. I don't. I always get wrong. And it's uh, and but the I'm thing that, that is, that. I can understand the whole. Every person I talk, like Krillin's one of them. He's 100% yes. into eBay, so he's passionate. Like, you know, oh, don't, 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 you know, eBay, eBay, eBay. You know, Ronnie Hart, a good friend of mine, he's passionate about eBay. The Kent Dago, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's passionate about eBay. That's all he does. Um, you yeah, know, I've met all those people. I, you know, all, I get it. But the the common denominator is the demographic. Mm -hmm. That's the, it's in your YouTube uh, analytics when people are searching. Well, that. And I think Justin go. just hit on something too. You got to quit going places based on customer service alone. Basically in this, I mean, I was going to say, I thought it was dead phone calls because I have a feeling our customer service at eBay could wait, could do, and I'm just going to call Wendy out. She's the CEO for that. She can do better. Like this is her, this is her, she's this the is CEO her for what, PR or for no, not PR for customer service. And when she stood on uh. the stage and said, here's my email. And I want you guys to call me out when, customer service is, is lacking and I gotta tell you the couple times that I've called concierge I've had to correct them so it's like no 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 sorry you guys are giving bunk information I need to talk to a supervisor because that is not correct information and when the supervisor comes on it's like you know you're right you're right, Robin, and I'm like, thank you. I don't trying to get right. I'm just trying to get this corrected. Mm -hmm. but oh, Matt texted me back, and he said he never he he texted me back. He said I think I ended up contacting eBay for business, but I can't remember. Uh, it's been a long yeah. time. It sounds like yeah. Yeah, he said, but it was a long time ago. But I still, I, was... I still okay. am a big believer of eBay, and I still believe in my meetups, and I still believe in the programs that I, you know, that I'm in, doing for eBay. Um, because I'm a full-time reseller and eBay is my main platform. But just like any platform, it has major hiccups. And it's okay, like Joey and I talked about this last night, it's okay to talk about the issues that are happening with on a main platform, just as long as you do it on both sides. You say the negative and you say the positive and also know that there are human beings behind this and not all the time can, mm -hmm. and like Joey says it all the time, this is Joey's sign, they, they're, they're handcuffed. Mm -hmm. They can't do anything until mm -hmm. they get a CEO or they get more money in that department. I mean, we mm -hmm. just lost, we just lost the social media and we just lost like, I mean, <sighs> You guys are well, going to be surprised, man. Well, yeah, and, and, and like I said, I I hope they do succeed. I don't, but I but I think that what's going to happen for them to succeed is they're going to have to retract retract back into the to the to the Etsy type niche or uh, like and get back to their roots and stop trying to be Amazon and stop trying to be Poshmark and stop trying to compete against StockX and they can't do it. They're not that company. Well, yeah, I think mm -hmm. you're right. I think you're right. I, I was talking to, um, I don't know if you guys know, Wade, like, or know of Wade. Wade's a, a good friend of mine. So Wade know, Ventures? Just, yeah, I yeah, love no, that guy. I so, I don't know him. I know So him. we were talking on the phone today because uh, we just have some personal friends who mm -hmm. lost their job. And it just, it kind of hit us right in the heart, you know, and we were just like, man, that sucks. And we were both thinking the same thing. Like, if eBay could do a little bit of posh, in the sense, like, if they could just create an app that was just all for the fashion, accessories, and purses, and just make that a selling platform, and then separate all their other categories into something else. Well, I they think separated they eBay Motors, actually... right? And made it in its own app, right? eBay Motors has its own app. They did, they did break off well, eBay yeah, Motors. and I, they're so killing why, it over why there. Why couldn't they do that with Posh? Yeah. Or like a, not Posh, but with a right. clothing app. But eBay see, again, for clothing. eBay clothing or right. eBay sneakers. Right. Or, you know. I know, but it's like it's like this, Tommy. See, I don't I don't know if you've ever worked for a huge company. It like takes, like you can say it, and then it takes like five years for it to actually mm. be come to fruition. I, that's the part that frustrates me with executive, like a Fortune 500 companies. It's like, 
I think it would be such a great idea if they could separate that app mm -hmm. and make a special app for eBay mm -hmm. fashion sellers because all the sneaker heads, all of us who do streetwear, all of us who do, I mean, like, we could just take pictures like on Posh and just right. throw our stuff on and then the, mm -hmm. they could make a killing and be competitive enough with mm -hmm. Posh in that sense that maybe we could grab the millennials that they need. They need the 19 to 25 year olds and they're not doing it. So, I mean, right. you know, it is what it is and they know it. They know it. I think that the problem that. is they, they have they have an image problem, right? We talked about this hmm. a little bit, yeah. but you know, when eBay first started, and I still remember it in my head, it was it was the tagline underneath was Worldwide Garage Sale, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that's the image that us, my age group and up have. It's a place mm -hmm. where you could find anything from anybody at any time, mm -hmm. but sometimes it might be broken a piece for this or broken that, and you need to fix things. And yeah, then they try to place. right. So then they try to sort of say, well, that's not us anymore. We're, we're 80% the, we're, new items now. Yeah. We're new items with tags, mm -hmm. we're, we're punishables, we're multiples. We want to be your stop instead of like, don't go to Amazon, come to us. And as sellers, it puts a lot of pressure on us because we're not always buying new items to replenish our stores. Well, now they want receipts, you better, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Jesus. If you want to succeed, you better buy 20, the pallet of clothing you can't sell I in just 16 don't in the garage. It, but it's like, you're, you're so right. And I just, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, no, right. I'm on a pastry so bad. <laughs> it's like, Grab one right there. <laughs> like, we got to get so that that background is crazy. But uh, I don't know. They befuddle me, man. They just. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, but I think also with the image problem, like I was saying, you're right. Somebody yeah. said it earlier in the chat. I live, and Robin, you live a little further north from me, but I live about an hour from eBay's campus. Yeah. We drove down the meetup yesterday right. on the main freeways. In the Bay Area, mm -hmm. I did not see one eBay billboard. Do you see Mercari? I, I saw do. I saw Poshmark. I've saw I've seen Mercari. I've seen Thread Up and Real Real. Right. Why would I eBay allow them to not see their one, face in their own yard? Right. You think about it from a sports perspective, right? And we talk about, you know, if you're familiar with like when teams are trying to relocate and there's there's markets you can't mm -hmm. get into. Like we have the A's and the Giants in our area, and the A's wanted to move further south towards San Jose. The Giants said, that's our historical territory. You can't move there. This is where our rights are, right? eBay's eBay's been here longer. It's here. But they let all these other companies just sort of, you know, inch they're into like, their market like the space. Carpet. They're like the carpet. They're the, they roll out themselves as the floor mat for the other companies to just walk on <laughs> trampoline. all the other tech companies come in San Francisco, and they're here. And eBay's, eBay's by itself in San Jose. And even near the campus, you don't see any... You should no, know. You, would, you wouldn't know Nothing. If, you, if you're approaching a stadium or even a hospital for that matter. You know, within miles, you're coming up on that, right? You oh, know, you're yeah. coming to a hospital. Oh, yeah. you can talk, but do you know you're approaching eBay for miles and miles? No. And miles? Listen, Every month I go to meet up, and I still have to where? use the GPS because I don't know where my turns are. Right. But, there's no so, signs. That's a, that's that's a fundamental issue right there, right? <laughs> I'm their serious. Town, I have to put on every month. I have to put my GPS. Should be like red, white, and eBay. You know, the whole yeah. town. The whole city. It's true. I drive like three hours to get to meet up, and I'm telling you, I'm all freeway, and the signs that I've seen mm -hmm. ain't nothing about eBay on there. Yeah, like I, like there's no signs where I live except for local stuff. But when I travel out to big cities, like uh, if, on the highways to Philly or New York mm -hmm. or Jersey, I only see Mercari. I see Mercari all day long, all day long. I don't. I've never seen eBay anywhere. I think eBay still does like um, AM radio ads. I think I'm pretty sure. Um, the, the, that, their occasional we make fun of Amazon ads with the yeah, Alexa person. And, how can you make fun of Amazon? They they yeah. are not they literally spend more on toilet paper than you're worth. Like literally. I don't know, but I I want to go back up to something that Some um disjointed smaller that ads that they do too. With uh, let's it's, see. Regimental reseller said, "I that's interesting. I love that you disagree with me. I disagree. If they start to de departmentalizing, then it's goodbye eBay. I want to know why you think that is." Because we're only talking about the fashion. We're not talking about like, you know, properties or motor, because motors did it. They they moved out. So I want to know, I want to know your thoughts on that. Cause that's interesting because I really do think if they did it, I I'm think that's so how they would I was reading Marie's Nike has huge signs in Beaverton. Like Nike, oh, you can yeah. tell when you're in Beaverton evidently that Nike owns that, that's their town. You're not coming yes, into their town. Yes. You're coming in and you're not seeing the Reebok thing when I go to everywhere, the, right? You're yeah. not seeing Reebok signs yeah. everywhere. Um, the Adidas. It's like when I go to the Adidas question. outlet. 
What was his question? I'm sorry. It wasn't was... a question. He was just he was just saying that he disagrees. I was saying if you compartmentalize, that, that I would like to see. Gone. I was fine. Okay. Um, it's, it, I, it'll be gone. I mean, I think everyone has their own theory. I mean, we don't know. I don't. Yeah. I think anything that they, as long as they don't status stay status quo, it's a it's but a I, positive. I, I think that though. Be... Right. Yeah, even Rukitin does better marketing. I mean, eBay, we live, okay, so we live again like in the to, Bay Area, like right? Hear... So, Rob, we live in the Bay Area. Yeah, like, Justin, you know within miles you're coming up to. Right. I mean, eBay is just, it's a brand. It's a, it's a worldwide brand, right? Like, right. I, have a, I have a brewery here. People come from all over the country to this small brewery in Delaware. It's called, um, oh, Jesus, God, Dogfish Head. It's okay. The, Dogfish Head is, is you know, Mm -hmm. They're they're pretty big for a, one of those craft beers. They're, they're I've heard of them. Yeah, I don't really drink much. And I've heard and of here them. in California. Yeah, people come from all over to tour this crappy little place. They're signs forty miles out, like you know, like their billboards and mm -hmm. or anything. Or our pizza, our Delaware pizza that for our beaches is called Grotto Pizza. That's like brand recognition. You go right, to the right. pizza here, Delaware, and you eat Grotto Pizza, and you have diarrhea the rest of the day. There's signs everywhere, everywhere, right. all the God. way to get you hungry, all the way there. Why eBay? Like you should see like an right. aura Mel, of eBay. I'm flag totally logo. agreeing with you. Yep, I'm telling you, yeah. Mel but, ain't no yeah. 19 year old on eBay. That's for dang sure. Mm -hmm. But even and let that's me, let me back up with, with uh, you're right. And what Landshark was saying about like, well, you know, who's going to eBay just to go to eBay? It's not so much even that. It's like if you're gonna find like the convention center downtown, there's still a sign that says convention center two miles convention center to the left or whatever mm -hmm. there's no signs wherever even if you get to the corner where you're turning left to get the ebay there's no like sign underneath the street sign that says mm -hmm. ebay left or ebay arrow or whatever just to let you know mm -hmm. that it's there and even when you pull up to the main gate there's signs that say ebay are kind of off kilter to the side they're not mm -hmm. sidewalk facing right you really only see it as you turn into the parking lot mm -hmm. the sign that says ebay on their campus and, and like like justin and marie said about beaverton it's like nike town now it's called nike town now and it's not called beaverton anymore yeah and but you don't see like i said you don't see reebok or puma Rock or any signs probably overshadowing yeah. <laughs> that town. again like earlier we were saying too with all this other stuff we're in the bay area so we have the sharks okay, so we have the warriors the hold on i feel like i'm talking it crazy here no say so we yeah. have we have the sharks we have the warriors we I have the diners the raiders I was say, sorry, we have the Sharks, Warriors, Niners, Raiders, A's, Giants, and if you want to get technical, the San Jose Earthquakes MLS team. Right. eBay has not sponsored any of those teams' uniforms, which you can do. Mm -hmm. They lost out to Rakuten. I don't even think they bid. Rakuten for the Warriors, where they were the champs. There's no signage in any of the stadiums. There's no sponsorship of any of the stadiums or teams that I can be aware of. Right. So there's not... It's not eBay Arena or right. now batting from eBay Park. eBay's not relevant anywhere, and in, in in the for marketing, they're not relevant. They're yeah. staying with what well, they're eBay at. Well, eBay is marketing their... for NASCAR. It is on a car. Um, okay, and that failed. That's why UPS pulled it's, out. It's yeah. I know, I know, but I was, just, I was just saying, just to be corrected, just to have the facts out. Is that also you yeah. have to understand where Joey's talking about where eBay is? It's Silicon Valley. There is no signage mm -hmm. for Google or pay or not Google. I have seen Google for PayPal, mm -hmm. for uh, Apple. I have I've seen, seen Apple. Seems Facebook, to be the I've only seen. one I really see. Um, I, I don't yeah. see like signs on a door. Though. I mean, like on a on a street sign, like you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I've seen like, Facebook. When I go like, into when I go to Menlo Park, there's all signs for Facebook everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know you're approaching Menlo the. Park you is, know you're approaching the. Is the that rocket in San ship. Jose? Like I don't know San Jose. It's uh, above San Jose. It? It's it's in the San Francisco side above San Jose. If you're going down 101, mm -hmm. you get past Palo Alto. But anything specifically Park to there. where eBay, PayPal, Facebook, Apple, all on that one strip right there where Hamilton is, because that's mm -hmm. like where all those companies are. I was just curious. Like, do they have billboards there? Like, I'm wondering if like they keep it on the down low as. I mean, I don't know. I'm just I'm just throwing stuff out. But does PayPal? Because I agree. Or... I agree. I never yeah, see Apple's anything Apple's in Cupertino, with eBay. so that's a little different. I just see their big sign that lights up, and then it's behind a jail. I mean, it's behind a fence. <laughs> yeah, the bar <laughs> fences. <almost> yeah. <laughs> and the metal fences. Yeah. Has got some. I I'm 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 reading, man. I am. I hear you, but I still yeah. I don't. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna kindly disagree with you. Yeah, I, um, I mean, 
eBay may need to be it, less category too period. many we categories. Don't like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like way too many. And I think mm -hmm. if you separated the fashion sellers out from that, mm -hmm. I think, I think they would see mm -hmm. thus, thus a small resellers. So it, well, anybody who's selling again, look under at, 10, yeah, you're right. Look at posh. 10,000 items or less is a small seller. Well, it would also not, probably alleviate not, the servers and, and crap if they separated them onto their own. Well, it would make it easier mm -hmm. for 19-year-olds to get on and throw their mm -hmm. gear on. I'm just saying. I mean, yeah, like if you said, you're, you're saying, you know. look at Posh, right? Posh mm -hmm. has you, you exactly. click men, shirt, T-shirt, done. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about whether it's like a frilly yeah. sleeves or what kind of right. V-neck or cross neck or this neck or that neck it has. Like on eBay, yeah. it's but now 20,000 things to fill out. You, you've got some legitimately no, but, good points. No, like NASCAR, like, like Justin, I think NASCAR is like the cheapest buy-in ever. Like that's why people do it. Is like, it? Yeah, I don't know. It, I don't it's the most famous so sport there is. Like you know, my I live ten minutes from Dover Downs International Speedway. And Noxie, mm -hmm. do they really give tours? Because those buses that you're talking about are just for uh, for the uh, employees. employees. I never see the tours that you're talking about. They might have been new employees getting yeah. a tour around. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, so, I don't think they because it's a security thing. You have to badge in and badge out, and I don't yeah. think they would just do. You know, tours. Well, they do like though. They, though as resellers, you could call and they'll. Yeah, they do you, like. People if you're go do good tours standing, all the time, I hear. Quote unquote, yeah, if you, you go, and, go and talk to someone, you can get get a tour. Um, but just so Dover Downs, here's the thing: they every single year, year for the last I don't know how many years, less seats because they're they're empty and the, it looks bad on TV. So they take out more seats every year, and put more banners every single year. The biggest thing at Dover Downs now is Firefly Festival. So that's so they're if it wasn't for Firefly, they would probably have to fold up because that mm. they hold Firefly in Dover Downs <laughs> parking lots and it, it's it's so crazy I don't know what they would do without that because it, it it's miserable UPS pulled out like a few years ago when I was still working there and they just they weren't getting any return on it they gave up well, the whole contract they had the whole contract like we drove onto yeah. the track and delivered parts to the teams mm -hmm. and they paid an absurd amount of money for that service so that we guaranteed it by you know a certain time before race everything and they gave it all away. They just gave it. We don't want it. It's not worth our time. You're not, we're not making any money doing yeah. this. So yeah, because you know, like in Sacramento, we had Arco Arena, and now we have this huge multi-billion-dollar stadium called Golden One Stadium because mm -hmm. Golden One jumped on that. And uh, I don't see any eBay banners anywhere, but I do see like Joey talks about uh, Posh. I see Macari. Mm -hmm. I even saw one for Depop. Like mm -hmm. I was like, what? Because they've built the arena so that everything around the arena is like little cafes and like little, um, what do you call I don't know. Right. Like It's like an open air kind of thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so like the stadium is huge, uh, huge, huge. And I don't see anything. In, I mean, I've been there for enough concerts. And I'm telling you, I never see eBay ever. No. Ever. But they're, they're missing the boat. Like it's like they could be doing so much. You know, like concerts, like I go to, I love concerts. You go to a concert, eBay could be advertising concerts, mm -hmm. like like anything, because the, with the thrifting world in there, up, like, they so many, so many, <laughs> with that, Joey drops the mic. <laughs> yeah, the stuff up, yeah, they get rid of the only thing making money for them, right? You know, it's like, it's so crazy. Yeah. So actually, I'll, I'll yeah. back up here. It's, I found an article that said eBay Motors does is the primary sponsor of the Charlotte Motor Speedway, Laguna Seca, and the Sonoma Raceway. Mm -hmm. With an eBay fan zone, and that cost them twelve dollars and eighty cents. And that yeah, article is from twenty twelve. Yeah, twenty twelve. <laughs> that was seven and years Rackington ago. They sponsored that stuff. Marketing. Yeah, I've, we've What's had that? that for. Yeah, Rakuten. I, I know. I was just gonna, he's gonna pull down Krillin's thing. It's been up there for fifteen. Yeah, because Rakuten sponsors the Warriors. It's on their jersey, and Warriors mm -hmm. were winning championships with Rakuten spreads across their jersey. I never heard of Rakuten. I didn't know eBay. I've never heard Rakuten. of Rakuten except for that commercial. I had no yeah, idea what it was. Well, Rakuten now is different now. Aren't they something it's different eBay. now? It used to be e eBay. eBay bought okay, them out. So yeah. It's Rakuten by yeah. eBay. So it's the thing. So I didn't know what it was, but they're yeah. on the Warriors jersey. Wow. Yeah. Cool. It, it, it's Local. just amazing how companies can can sense blood and go well, after Well, I mean, I think we're, yeah. I mean, I think we're like kind of di beating a dead horse at this point. I mean, we all agree marketing for eBay is in the tank. I mean, like, let's be honest. Robin. And they just fired that whole, that whole department. So, yeah. like, I don't even know where we're going to be on the marketing area. Well, um, they don't need them, evidently, because they don't use them. All they have to do is watch one of our shows, us, you guys, whoever, and we'll give you a million <laughs> tips on marketing. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying, Great you, plug, how, but, but that's what I'm saying. We, not, not me, not you, not, but the whole community, 
Plim feeds them their business model. Right, that's what I'm saying. We, the we all, just, all, all the answers are right here on YouTube. We every day I'm thinking. hustling. I love that. Every day I'm hustling. Um, uh, Gromix, look, I just love that. Yeah, yeah whoever like this regimen, was, just drop it. I, yeah. I love it. I can I sell. I, I have a... Uh, Call Tommy. Yeah. Let's see. Can Tommy sell as yet again? This kept me up. All yes, I can sell. <laughs> he just wants to know if you could sell. I, dang yeah, it. I told you. I just told you guys I can sell. You can sell everything but cell phones. Well, the thing, yeah, you can sell everything No cell, cell phones, phones for Tommy. The only thing I had a receipt for. No cell phones for, for you. The only thing I had a receipt for, I can't sell it. That, over that, under that, will Uday at least one wait have at least one ad this Sunday during the Super Bowl? <gasps> Ooh, okay. Who's got the money out? Get your tally. eBay Joey, will not have an, eBay no will way. not have an ad at the Super Bowl, but uh -huh. there will not be after another. Firing all those people. There will be another marketplace that does have an ad. Yeah, they'll, yes, they'll have an ad like yeah, they'll have an ad on tailgate party time. <laughs> or or it'll be posh and. Trade Z or uh, no, not Trade Z. The what's the one? The one you just saw, uh, Joey. Um, that real, I real? Oh, thread up, thread, thread up. up. No, not yeah. real, real thread up, thread up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know much about those. But those smaller companies are willing to throw around at two, three million dollars to get an ad because it is for like thirty seconds, right? Yeah. Well, and the thing about it is, and they verify most of those companies verify the authenticity <laughs> right? of their items, right? Yeah. So you know, with eBay going after like StockX really hard, and they're doing this because. The one of their big wigs went to StockX, remember? Mm -hmm. So they're trying to they're trying to fight him now instead of fighting companies or fighting an ex-employee. So they're trying to make StockX fail instead of actually tackling something bigger. That why why StockX is going to annihilate you with because for one they authenticate everything. There's zero live. There's zero fear factor. Most people in that market will pay ten twenty dollars more. To guarantee they're getting what they ordered. Oh, yeah. right? that's a good one. eBay doesn't uh, guarantee anything. Right. They don't guarantee that you're going to be able to get a phone call in, or let alone your sneakers are going to be authentic when you get them. I mean, look at the Kobe Bryant mm -hmm. fiasco. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of items being faked daily now, and auctions and everything. What are, What are they doing? They're not touching it. They're right. letting it go. It's, it's 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 because you know why? That's GMV, right? Yep. Uh, yep, well, yep, yep. And then StockX got Scott, Scott Cutler was the guy yeah, from eBay. Yeah, I couldn't remember Scott, his name. I knew you pull it out. So he yeah. leaves. Yeah, because you were that was kind of over my head. I was like, wait, what? Because I was going to well, say, I told you, you guys that when you were on our show. I was yeah. talking about I know. that. What happened to our thing for eBay where you could send something in and get it? eBay authenticate. <laughs> that went out with the white like, background. What happened? What happened? <laughs> they couldn't authenticate the white background. What happened? <laughs> Uh, well, they they were charging like thirty percent for that or something, weren't they? It was it was a lot. Uh, I, I never used it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but but like but, all the other companies, if it's over a certain amount, do it for free. I remember they they had teamed up with because I was doing a lot of sports cards at the time. They had teamed up with PSA, mm -hmm. which is uh, one of the companies. Yeah, PSA is the biggest one. The big like, one. As far and as I know, it was just, grading. Nothing happened with that. Mm. Right. There's, Why? There's nothing happened. Why? So James yeah, is saying that Macari had an ad during the NFL playoff. That's that's expensive too. That's they did have you know what they spot. did have one thing that I used actually. It was um, mm. I don't think they do it anymore because I haven't seen it. It was a third party autographed item, so it wasn't authenticated by PSA or Beckett. And there was a thing on there to pay, I think it was ten dollars to have it temper or authenticated um, <laughs> from PSA. To let me know if it if they thought it might have been authentic just from looking at it, mm -hmm. and then if I bought it and sent it in and it turned out to be not authentic, they would refund my money. So I paid the ten dollars oh. on the item. They came back and said it's our opinion that this is not an authentic item, so I didn't bid on the item or buy it. So I wasted ten bucks on it, but I didn't have to go through the hassle of buying and shipping yeah. it in. But then yeah. I've never seen that option again when I was on stuff that are like isn't that, that crazy. And then like in um, Amazon has teamed up with somebody like through Prime, like you know they're. Amazon is all doing so many things that you don't even hear about. Like with their Prime, you you get like a discount to have comics graded uh, through Prime. Uh, Amazon Prime, Tommy, you can have stuff delivered inside your garage. Oh, I you know. know. Well, or I, in your I mean, car. Yeah. They, I understand. <laughs> but I mean, I get to, I get my buddy, my buddy Zahir. I don't watch Twitch, but he's a, he plays streams Fortnite. Zahir Malik, he or Malik, he uh, mm -hmm. streams Fortnite on Twitch. So yeah. I subscribe to him. He gets five dollars every month for my Prime because I don't use it for anything. It, there's crazy. so many little things that you get for that hundred nineteen dollars. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's crazy, and what, they're just 
eBay can't, has to forget about them. They have to forget about StockX. They have to forget about everyone but eBay, right? That's it. They got to concentrate on eBay. So, I think, well, I mean. Yeah, and like we talked about I it, think I think, on our show before. Now. And we talked about it at nauseum before. It's like we talk, we think of Amazon as Amazon. So if you're selling on Amazon, <laughs> right, <laughs> and you buy something, you're not looking at who the store is or the buyer is. You just think mm -hmm. Amazon. So if there's a problem, Amazon takes care mm -hmm. of it. And Amazon does a very good job of taking care of things. Mm -hmm. When something sells on eBay, eBay, you don't really necessarily reach out to eBay at first. You reach out to the person you bought it from, and that's mm -hmm. us. And I think eBay is having an identity crisis of are we eBay? Mm -hmm. You're buying from eBay, or are you buying from the sellers on eBay? Yeah, eBay's just eBay's basically Craigslist on steroids. It's a good like that's yeah. basically really what they are, honestly. Just yeah. cra like Craigslist with pretty ads and listings and all in one because place. Because they don't have their own products that they sell. Mm -hmm. They don't have their own services that they provide, like Amazon does. Amazon didn't have third-party sellers; they can go lean and mean and be all right. Right. Cause they have their prime stuff. They lean have their... and mean. And, Enjoy yeah. to say it. No. And I have a theory with Amazon too that they're just utilizing all the RA people for knowledge. And once they, and then they just start locking things. Once they find a hot item, they're going to just oh, they get, it. get those communities. Get it and bring it in. And I don't know that you know that's just a theory I have. But what other what else? That that's brilliant, right? On their hands. If they... <laughs> no, Noxy. <laughs> What's that? Oh nothing! I'm in the chat. Sorry. <laughs> Marathon uh, show. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. We're, I'm we're, I'm looking at the time. No, 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 no. I'm thinking it's. it's and I, I told you not to Tommy, let me come on. Tommy, it's not a good time fine. for me to be on there right now. Tommy, no, no, yeah, you're fine. fine. We've had a good yeah. time. Look, we've had 30. We haven't dropped in numbers, so yeah. you keep growing. Actually, you know, yeah. I mean, they can hear it radiating outside, right? It's and they. Yeah. I love it. I'm just gonna say. Reg, I love Reginald, man. He, I love the fact that he's, he's got, he's just, you're saucy, my friend. Mm -hmm. I love that. He goes, thank God we're not at 16 pixel anymore. Be happy about that, my friends. I love yeah. it. Krillin, you, I don't even know who your girlfriend is. I don't know about your t-shirts. I don't know about the Chinese copying, whatever. I don't know. I'm trying to answer everybody's questions. Um, <laughs> Tommy's spot well, on. Oh, lots Krill, of Krillin's stuff. got a lot of girlfriends, so, but he's in, he's oh, infatuated dear. with, he's got this one girlfriend that doesn't know him that, um, <laughs> she's a she's a in a band and there's a Chinese seller knocking off her T-shirts in the U.S. and Krillin trying to um, be Prince Charming and climb up the castle wall and all for her, but he didn't make it. Oh my! He, um, he told him he was gonna take down that shirt for her. He's gonna have eBay take it down because eBay will take down fakes. eBay won't take it down. So Krillin oh still can't get in digits from her yet until he gets that shirt yeah, down. Krillin, He's trying. Krillin, Poor Krillin's like trying. Don't be messing with my girlfriend. Yes, but, I mean, how, but why? Why can't they take it down? Why Why can't anybody take it down? I don't know. I, who knows? Let's see. Hey, we late night viewers are good people. Yes, see, you and are, And that was Mary. the thing, too, I Tommy. You. We were talking about the back in the day, it was, you know, the picture. I, the pictures on there were, you know, they were your pictures. So if you saw somebody with, you know, if I put this picture up with this mug, and it's mine, and you put the same exact picture up. You could be, and an, you know, an item not as described because you, you know, your item might be a little <laughs> bit more askew than mine, or have a chip that's not disclosed. But you just because you steal my pictures or use the pictures. Now eBay has with their catalog issue, or what they wanted to do with the catalog is mm -hmm. everybody used those same photos, even and not really describe the item so much in general, right? This mm -hmm. use the same photos just to get mm -hmm. stuff up, and that again takes away from the fact that we are all individual sellers who have the same item, but maybe slightly different look or slightly different. Mm -hmm mess up to it or thing here or a scratch there and but see but amazon does that and amazon has a catalog and you can you have an option to put your own pictures in if you want or you take the risk of an item not described which way do you want to do it right you know so yeah i agree i, th I think you're right i definitely think i mean i think we've we've definitely touched on a lot of points that marketing is lacking the mm -hmm. uh they don't even know who ebay doesn't know who, who they are right like, there's a identity but, crisis happening within the race eBay. to the bottom but you They're know why like, eBay doesn't want to do it? And let's be honest. eBay doesn't want to do it because that will destroy. Do what? Do what? Destroy their bottom line. Because right now, and we're going to see it in the next update when they take out duplicate listings and there's no more duplicate listings coming up in the next patch. They're, and they're going to introduce the pay-per-click, the pre premier, you know, uh, promoted listings the next round. That's how they're going to make money next year. They 
can't have a buy box like Amazon because you got to have fight people fighting with promoted listings to be able to make a penny eBay does. So if they go to Amazon strategy where you have one listing for the items you and people are rotating through based on price, eBay should be that way. Best item, best price wins, right? You shouldn't, I shouldn't be able to put in 50% promoted listings and take your sale away and my item don't even work and yours is brand new. But they're going to see me first because I'm willing to give up half of my, uh, you know, my profit margin, right? Mm -hmm. That's not the best customer experience that eBay touts that they're oh, giving. Oh, no, you're right about that. But the way eBay looks at that is uh, it's good for them because it makes their bottom line fatter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For That's sure. interesting it is, what you're I mean, saying. Yeah. eBay is about money. I mean, it's like it's any a, Fortune 500 it, it, company. It's, it's, it's about, all about money. money. I mean, you can go on Amazon right now and go to like PlayStation 3s. They're not brand new. They're all used. You, there's, you know, hundreds of them on there. You're just going to get the next one in line, whichever one you buy. You look at the pictures if you want to buy a different one. Yes. But. Yes. Yeah. The, the catalog for collectibles is right. It is very hard to have a catalog with collectibles, especially I, I would, with yeah. I mean, yeah. I would agree with that. It was actually interesting you brought this up um, with the Chinese sellers and, and, and the race to the bottom kind of deal. I was watching a documentary on Netflix. I can't remember the name of it. It was on. This is how boring it was. It was on. I was on furniture making. Mm -hmm. So they talked, <laughs> yeah. So they talked about the the, the environment and, and the deforestation to make you know the furnitures correctly, oh, and then okay. how the Chinese wow. market got That's in there with yeah. um, like the plywood type furniture as opposed to like the real thick wood that they used to make. And so these guys the guys were the IKEA was the big culprit on this as opposed to like mm. some of the real American companies that still make furniture. Mm. So IKEA gets in there, they just strip the forest, they get things real cheap mm -hmm. to get out the door. Uh, it had to do with some of these Chinese companies. They were at a convention, and basically a lot of the big furniture companies in the U.S. had started closing. And the, the guy was asking the Chinese marketplace guy, like, what's going on? Like, you guys are just selling this stuff real cheap. And basically the Chinese marketplace guy admitted they're willing to get into the marketplace so cheap and lose money for the first few years to drive down prices to get you out of business. Right, and then they'll take So they're the only business. game in town, yeah. and then they raise their rates and make yeah, their money absolutely. back. But you're gone at that point. Yeah. So when you see these Chinese knockoffs come in, or even you know, and driving prices down, or this race to the bottom thing that we're thinking of, it's it's gonna. It's, it's gonna, gonna be good I, for I, people. I think you you got have you paid attention to the upcoming changes at all? Like, uh, well. They introduced the new item specifics in Australia last night, and oh, for the home, they? the home and electronics. So they're getting hit with that. So they're oh. going to be a mess now until they get. I it saw it, uh, Brad's. Brad talking video about that, right? About the Where, you know, seller thing, yeah. So then, then, um, you know, bye, Lisa. Uh, bye, Lisa. Good night. Bye, Lisa. So, what is going to happen? You know, we see eBay die running their own platform. Now they want to be a bank too. They want to introduce a bank on the back end. I'm mean, Agent's going to be the bank, of course, but it still has to be coded into eBay somehow, some way, right? They don't just work without being a part of each other. And um, so the thing with that is, we're, that's going to be people's livelihood at that point, not j more so than just selling items. Some people can deal with not selling items, but when they're holding your money, can't pay you. Two weeks, people have money to ship. People just because there's a lot of resellers that, and I'm sure you, if everyone was honest, well, you could just see clearly they're, none of them are millionaires. I mean, that, that we deal with, you know, the average, they're just doing it to work for themselves to have a better quality of life. They're not in it and killing it and making a killing in, in the world. You know, they're not buying timeshares and stuff like that. So when you take, start taking away and making them hold their money for two, three, four weeks overnight, and they can't, some of them might not be able to ship. What happens if there's a glitch like there was where they can't even pay out? Right. They already had that happen once where they couldn't even pay people for a month. But how much interest did they make on that money? Right. You know what I mean? So was it really yeah. a glitch at that point? Or was it a plug? <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> eBay's pretty shady when it comes. They're, they're, every problem that happens, except for like the last ones with land specifics, is generally lining their pockets. When you really break it down, it's it's pretty. You know, the sales won't end. The promoted listings won't end. They they just keep going for some reason. Well, I wonder why. It's it's just I don't know. There's so much to it, and I hate <laughs> to keep ranting. 
What is she? No, you're not ranting. I get it. But Mary brought up a good question too. Like after all this, uh, obviously the trust with the resellers has gone through the, the toilet. What's that? Um, the trust. Well, for basically, you know, the trust. The resellers don't trust eBay, right? Because of the glitch of police right. that right, 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 right. have happened. So she brings up a good point. She says, "Do we trust them?" To hold on to our money and her no. answer was no because you know when we go to manage payments which is supposed to happen this year well that's what i was saying yeah it's like you because other platforms do it right i mean you got mercari you you got to wait three days to get paid you know that that's not who cares you know you're getting paid i've never had once where i don't oh, get yeah, paid. No, i've never had an issue Gosh, Mark, yeah. i've never had once where i don't get paid nope. no not you know either. um they also all except for grailed they all if someone gives you an offer it's it's find it and con it's in came over instant payment other than grail aiden. so What's aiden what do you guys know about aiden what's aiden just aiden. that's aiden. the payment processor that's the processor oh okay. they do also do poshmark and a couple other sites i think or the bakari well it's like they, venmo um, is paypal i don't think people realize that venmo yeah is yeah PayPal. they're the same company yeah paypal bought venmo um but yeah they're just the processor but it still has to be attached to I mean, well, look yeah. at PayPal and eBay. There's a ping pong game going on the last couple of weeks. Right. <laughs> you don't people, have to tell me. <laughs> people say they can't pay. Has I mean, how many people have uh -huh. I've seen my personal friends send show us messages they can't. People, customers say, I can't pay. I can't pay. You know what? Do, but is it PayPal really, like eBay is saying, or is it eBay? No, oh, because you go if you call either one, it'll go back and forth for sure. That's the thing. And it's like, you know, um, Amazon, yeah, they have a two week pay, you know, two week thing. But guess what? You know, you're getting paid. You don't have to worry about it being held up or messed up or anything like that, like, like eBay. I'm trying right. To well, and they, Poshmark sends you a label and you just hit print and that's it. Mm -hmm. And it's a priority label. You fill it in any box. And how much easier is that? How much easier is that, Robin? Like the Poshmark, you do the Poshmark, right? Yeah, yeah, I do Fosh. I love Fosh. Is, why, why can't he? That's another thing. Why does eBay shipping is so complex? It's 2020 and it's like 1989 shipping. Well, I mean, I don't I don't know the formula to it. All I know is that I still think uh, a buyer still, like if you, a t-shirt is like six ninety five and it only costs $3 to send. So obviously they're paying, they're overpaying. They're doing an average. It's a wash. Cost yeah, goods, like right. it's a wash right. if there's something uh, like... Uh, Joey's wife and I were talking about it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Up to five pounds, six ninety five is a really good deal. Absolutely. So um, that's that's less than cubic. I think like they just. I just think they have like a really great seven ninety two. Yeah, I, I just think they have. Yeah, yeah, I think they got a great contract with you. But then also, the like I had someone say, "Well, that what if I want to buy a three dollar pair of earrings? It's going to be six dollars a ship." Well, no, exactly. Poshmark is genius because then that person makes it worthwhile and they'll create a bundle of six items. Exactly. Exactly. Like that's what I was going to get to. That. Like, like that's what we were talking about. We were talking about bundling, and I think that's the marketing that Posh did, which was exactly your thinking, Tommy. Like, if I was going to buy earrings for ten dollars, but my shipping was going to be six ninety five, mm -hmm. why not add the five dollar T shirt in from the same buyer? And next thing you know, you got like four or five things in one box, and right. then it's all. And it's like good. we had that happen the other yeah. day uh, on the other account. She's sold like seven pair of J Crew pants or six pair. I don't know. Um, but they were cheap. They, you know, cause they were, they were not really relevant now. They're older pants, but they were like 10 or $12 a pair. The lady put them all in a bundle and asked to get them for a little bit less. And it was brilliant. They all still ship for the same price. It, it was so, so crazy. And eBay can't do that for their sellers or their buyers. It just think of how many mistakes well, okay so what we were told there because we did ask though so we were told because there's so many uh different uh categories see like again my point and again i'm going to come back to it circle round mm -hmm. was posh is basically they've just added home goods you know what i mean but before that it was just a fashion site so you had mm -hmm. accessories fashion shoes that kind of thing um, that's how they got a great deal. Now that they're doing home goods, they still have to do under five pounds and anything over it. The shipping does bounce really high. Oh, well, it's like pretty it's, high too. And it's, and it cuts yes. off at 10 pounds. You can't even ship yes. over 10 pounds. Yes. Which I didn't know that originally. And I was like, right. Hey. So I learned that too. I learned that too. Mm -hmm. But, but what eBay was saying, because there's too many categories, the, sh they can't get a bargain. Let's just say I'm going to, I'm, and it's not, a, it's not a key term air quotes here. Uh, that eBay used, I'm just going to use a Robinism. They don't have like basement bargain pricing 
for eBay. But if they did the app situation like I was talking about, I mm-hmm. think they could then bargain basement bargain at price for shipping there. Right. You There's no I mean? way that as big as eBay is, they cannot go to the USPS and get a price. And I don't. I guarantee they might be doing it and just reaping the profits. We don't know. We don't know really what they're doing because you're buying your label through eBay, right? A lot of people. Not. I mean, it's, I use pirate ship, but still, they might be yeah. getting that and just not passing it on. Mm-hmm. And we don't know that. And they can. Oh no! I, wait, 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 wait! Rebut, rewind. You said what? eBay is getting a discount. And I said not eBay passing could on be them. getting a, a rate, nah. a, a baseline rate, and not passing it on to us. No, no. I mean, because we, we asked that same question at the meetup when we when we had that come up. I mean, I, listen, everybody could be lying to us for sure, but I honestly don't think, you don't think I, they got bigger problems, out? dude. Seriously. Yeah, they got bigger problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When the shipping team comes in, they talk about how they have to every year they have to go to the whatever and postal union thing and negotiate exactly. rates. And it's right. Right. It, but to me, it's still talking? like you said, like. Poshmark is flat. Like, here you go. Poshmark takes the hit yeah, on, a yeah, few, yeah. on everything, well, probably. But, and it's just But do you remember that so same simplified. conversation, Joey, where we were teaching them? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't know about you, Joey, but I know. But Joey was in that same, like, we were all kind of standing around talking because his wife was at that time, you know, I wasn't on Posh yet, but she was. And so she had some, like, legit information about the flat rate shipping. But Mm -hmm. the conversation was about pirate ship, and they Mm -hmm. didn't even know. So the shipping team didn't even know. They're like, what's pirate ship, Robin? I'm like, what? Here, let me show you. Because I do hard goods. Mm -hmm. And so once they got a hold of it, I said, you guys need to open up a Posh account and see what Joey's wife's talking about. And then you need to open up an account for pirate ship to see what the Cubic is all about. Because I want to know why eBay can't do Cubic. I, you know, I, listen, we had a lot of questions because I am known as the shipping queen and I want to know because right. the shipping department they, why, is my favorite I, department. Why can, why does everyone, well, not everyone, Amazon has cubic, Pirate Ship has cubic. I don't know. I don't know anything about Amazon, so I'm going to take Yeah, they do. Well, they do. But eBay can't do cubic. And that, and, and I, I'm sorry, but there's a, when you're on a coast like we are, it's, it's, just, it's hard to compete coast to coast without cubic i mean you cannot do it the middle of the country it doesn't affect them as bad but coast to coast cubic is a game changer it's just a game changer and eBay, just for simplicity everything with an ebay you got to take an extra step now i got to log out into pirate ship every day or you know it's a whole nother day it's all time everything is time and um yeah everything should be self-contained if i have to go to another site to get better shipping than possibly exactly, the second Joe. largest shipper in the United States if you combine all the sales together. Mm-hmm. I mean, how are they not negotiating exactly. better rates mm-hmm. for ourselves? And now PayPal's negotiated I, extreme rates with U, with UPS that supposedly are crazy good. I, and I haven't checked into them yet. But I, I know haven't either. But on Mercari, you see it. They're doing it on Mercari did the same thing because now UPS comes up cheaper than USPS and Oh, and this is gonna be interesting. The so UPS Oh, yeah. so they're gonna have some competition. That's gonna be interesting. Right. I like that. I like that. I like UPS that because is you know vultures. UPS will cut the well, road. You USPS is gonna go by the wayside. Let's just be really honest, because that that they're I'm, don't even get me started on them. Because it's not a federal or state, it's a private industry and everybody knows it and they're doing bad business. So well, that's just so they can <laughs> launder money for wars. That's what they do. They just that's what their slush fund to take it and put the it in their pocket. Slush pockets. fund. You that's are just doing. You know we're getting tagged right now. Big Brother is following Joey and I now because you have just said all the keywords. That's all right. <laughs> Nobody say right. anything else about. Well, I anything just checked. Else. We have nine thumbs down now. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, and then, of course, FedEx. Lower, I totally you know, agree. eBay's deal with FedEx where they lowered the rate for 2020, but couldn't do it for USPS. Like, right, right, right. Right. Um, I told. I was just gonna say I concur. Mm. We're yeah, ecom. We love Tommy and Tracy, so go follow them for who sure. Who said that? Um, I I would love to see the FedEx difference this year on eBay. I haven't checked yet, so I really want to see that. I want to see. Um. Uh. I, I just don't know. eBay. Uh, I don't know. UPS, I think it's gonna be interesting. UPS sure. will go after people. They they. I mean, I worked there for twenty four years. I've seen so much. It, over the time like with amazon how they just yeah. they they actually they got it to the point where fedex folded and said we can't do this anymore because and 
they like the Chinese way. They just kept their UPS's infrastructure so massive, they can handle anything you throw at them for the most part, weather, yeah. and everything. FedEx. But I gotta tell you though, FedEx is cheaper than UPS though. I, well, I want to know why UPS is so expensive. Well, but you got to look at it. FedEx are not employees; they're contractors. It's oh. a whole different world. Their overhead is nowhere near the same. A whole new world. Yep. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> so, and, and UPS is the highest paid. Highest paid. Well, they're a union for one, so their employees Through are the U highest U paid. In the, yeah. yeah. So their employees are the highest paid in the industry in the country by like ten dollars mm. or something an hour. Like the Coca Cola drivers. Yeah, it's it's crazy. So they have to, you know, overcome. But they got it so de cheap on Amazon, and gave Amazon such great rates for FBA and stuff like that, that mm -hmm. FedEx folded. They couldn't do it anymore. They couldn't compete. Now, it's, uh, it, it, uh, and that made a lot of sellers mad because then UPS said, okay, now they're going. We can raise the rates up a little bit. And it's like just like the, the Chinese way you said. Um, mm -hmm. He gets the second <laughs> lobster. <laughs> He's crazy. But yeah, I just I'm curious. I, I want to check in the FedEx rates because uh, UPS is supposed to be going hard after the small package stuff now. And really? you can see okay. it on look at Mercari. Just look at Mercari. And someone just said okay. it. UPS was two dollars cheaper than the post office the other day. Ooh, nicely done, UPS. Mm -hmm. I'm about it. So if you have, All right, any wait, I gotta find out. Is lobster like what is he doing right now? What are you doing that you're digging? What He's are you cracking digging? his balls. Um, oh dear God! <laughs> so no, so if anyone, and it's after nine thirty. <laughs> no, so, but anyone right now, if you have like something big on eBay to ship, you generally go to either Pirate Ship or FedEx, right? The challenge now is add another step and check UPS on PayPal because PayPal's got supposedly a monster rate that even beats FedEx with. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. I am gonna check that out. I don't sure. know. That's the, the only thing is, if you're gonna do. If you're going to do PayPal, you just got to make, because I, I did learn this. I forgot to put the tracking information on eBay so it looked like I never sent out my package. So by the time they actually questioned me, like they sent an email saying like, hey, did you send this out? You're going to get a ding, blah, blah, blah. My customer already got it and she left positive feedback. So I had to call concierge to I say like, hey, like, you know, uh, yeah. I no, no, I'm saying, I'm just saying. It, well, no, because PayPal's not connected to eBay, so you have to actually do it. It's not the, uh, the labeling; well, it's not through e PayPal. So, how does Pirate Ship do it? That's crazy. It's connected. They've they've done it so that you can, you know, you um, whatever you whatever that's called, merging. I don't know the tech words for it. Yeah, you know, that's they so mesh weird. Up. But eBay and PayPal will never mesh up. Do you not right. know this? But they already, used to, Tom? though, right? They used to do it. I thought they are two. I'm going to tell you, as a former PayPal employee, I know they're two separate companies entities they were at one time and then paypal decided bye bye right so and who may let were, them walk out so who broke up with who that is a confidential secret no i can't i don't know i honestly i don't know what started but i can honestly paypal is the one that wanted to start off and so look and they probably did a good thing because now look at all the issues paypal with, wanted to pull know, away is what you're saying you think in your opinion you don't know yeah because don't they it. wanted to become more of a lender like so right now you can like or resellers can take loans out you have credit and uh ebay was you know at the time kind of up in arms about it and and they were kind of if you know i mean like you know different different times back then um now, but, you know and also i don't as long as Amazon or pay I'm sorry as long as PayPal was attached to eBay or part of eBay's company Amazon probably would never touch them and they're lo that's the world's biggest marketplace right mm -hmm. pay or Amazon or PayPal Amazon Amazon Amazon's 40 yeah. oh, yeah. 46 percent of Amazon's all e-commerce in the whole world or something ridiculous yeah. right I think Joey like named numbers the other day and I was like oh my god he's right they got when I was TV, saying that Amazon spends radio, as much on their toilet paper got... as eBay makes I wasn't joking I mean that's <laughs> literally like uh <laughs> like <laughs> Their janitors make as much as eBay. Like when you add it all together, it's crazy. But no, it's forty-six percent of the marketplace. I believe the whole entire world's e-commerce is Amazon. Forty-six. Yeah, right? I mean they they bought Whole Foods. Yeah. Guess if Whole Foods. Import. Here. That's it, Junk Girl. Thank you. Importing. So. You can import Pirate Ship with mm -hmm. eBay. Right, right, right. Oh and my god. So, oh my god. So now Thank let's you, take that into consideration. How much if PayPal? stayed with ebay and noticed that they they said that their sales were declining they, a long time ago they they put out the truth like yeah our, our sales are down because of ebay 
why wouldn't they want to pull away? Maybe get in with Amazon and everyone else in the world and really take off and make well, some money. Well, now yeah. they can because the right. contract with eBay is finished. It finished last year. This is why we're doing managed payments 2020. So they're actually tied. For, they're free now. Okay, cool. Yeah, that would be free. awesome. Free fall. Yes, they're free. Yeah. They're free. Look at Joey. We I don't know, but we wore I'm Joey out. I'm no, I'm... He's the, when he has that face, he's on the Google. Uh, no, I'm Google reading. Face. I'm reading the chat. Trying to see, like everybody's talking about it. PayPal broke up with eBay. Check your email from ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it hasn't been that long. Seriously, it hasn't been that long. Yeah, it hasn't. It hasn't been that long. No, yeah, I, I heard about it like I don't know, like he, I only heard about it like a year ago or something. So I don't know how long it's actually been. You know, because you know he was working. He was like he was working at a nine to five. Yeah, yeah. it's just funny. I used to only ship through PayPal too when I first started. I didn't know. Same any, here. I didn't know any better. I was like, oh, this is cool. And then, oh yeah, now you got all kinds of choices. But I, but I, I don't That's like that. Too. There's too much headspace, yeah. man. You do what? Too much headspace? Too much headspace. Oh, but see, I love shipping, though, Tommy. I do, too. I love shipping. I love shipping. It's got to be better than this because I'm telling you, I kept thinking, like, dude, Mm -hmm. like, there, it's got to be better shipping. And then someone, you know, I got an email. I got, that's what happened. I got an email from Pirate Ships saying, hey, listen, we got this deal for you. Mm -hmm. And And I was like, let me check it out. Let me check it out. Yeah, yeah. Like, my international sales before I got tanked, um, were through the roof because of simple export rate. Like people couldn't buy through GSP. It's astronomical. They can't afford it. Oh yeah, it. no, I stopped doing GSP. Um, and it was uh, oh, it, it was crazy. Good night. It was good. It I love I, I love your thinking, I, dude. You come back. I and like that, that you bring some hard yep, questions. Yeah, man. Like Thanks, you bring man. up some good questions, and I yeah, like that. Yeah. And that's always fun. Like even if they're like um not your ideology they're still fun to look, think how how other people oh yeah think. dude i like we i respect him and he respects i me. love the chat it's awesome um yeah fun. i just do you do simple export robin or do you do gsp no i don't no i just do simple like i don't i don't do gs i don't even seriously i shipped out to russia the other day yeah good they yeah. got it they got it faster mm-hmm. than gsp mm-hmm. so you know i don't know i don't i think i think it's all changed. I mean, I actually had more problems, and this is just me as a reseller. I'm not saying it's bad for everybody, mm-hmm. but I had more issues with uh, GSP than anything else. My stuff would get held up. Mm-hmm. I'd have my buyers, like in the UK and Ireland and Scotland and all those places in Italy, asking me, like, where's my stuff? And I'm like, dude, so then I'd have to get them connected mm-hmm. to eBay. So then eBay would literally refund them. I mean, it was just crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, I, you know. I mean, I still got paid. Yeah, but I just, I just know. It's only a necessity if you're. I don't know. I I don't think it's ever a necessity, but maybe if you're, you can't afford to take a hit on something at right. once in a blue moon. Like maybe you would want them if like for. And an I would, and maybe this is what I should say. Yes, exactly. Like if I sold a five hundred dollar glass vase or mm-hmm. a computer, a iPhone, like anything that has, a potential of you getting something back that's not the same thing that mm-hmm. you sent then perhaps that would be a good thing. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because then it protects the buyer and the seller. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think yeah. it's good for, I mean, I, I think there's a, a pro and con for both. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, and it, and, but I'm know, selling clothes. But like, it still I don't mean, protect it, you it, from it, INADs or anything. People have the misconception that you're protected under GSP. You're not. You're no. You're not. No, you're just not. from like, if something's broken or gets lost, yeah. then mm-hmm. uh, it doesn't get delivered. So like, what we'll do is uh, I yeah, will exactly, specifically Mary. ship to exactly. certain countries Mm-hmm. And I will GSP for countries that I don't direct ship to. Right, right. Yeah. So I don't direct ship to oh, Mexico. I don't direct go. ship to Russia. I don't direct ship to Brazil. Because a lot of those countries, those marketplaces, once they get into the country, tracking is like mm. suspect. Right. So I GSP for those countries. But I direct ship everywhere and else. That's a, and that's, and that's if a I have something point, that's Joey. expensive or mm-hmm. heavy, I might GSP it just because mm-hmm. I, can, I right, can get absolutely. it in a cheap box to Kentucky and then yeah. handle it that way rather than have to spend a lot right. to ship and it out. And the reason is is because it's not even eBay. It's Pitney Bowes. They subcontract out to do GSP. Yes. So it's a yes. whole different third-party yes. company they're and paying. You, and, and, and Tommy, tell them how you know that because when you do the printout of your slips, right, yeah. you can see that underneath your thing. Like, yeah. You guys need to look at your shipping because it'll like, tell you what companies actually – and, yeah. and plus UPS does the same thing like with Sprint and all these companies. Mm-hmm. There's Like that, that Louisville hub 
or I guess they call it Erlanger, but I think it's near Louisville. I don't know. But U, UPS has one in Louisville, and there's Sprint and all kinds of other places all in this yes. one thing. It's like its own little mini Silicon Valley. It's crazy. So UPS yes. owns a repair, like yes. Sprint repair facility there or something, and it, just all these companies are intermingled, and I don't even understand it how it works, but I just see it on the shipping all the time. Um. Yeah, I've never. I just don't ship down south. That's the only place I don't ship. I ship anywhere else. And when, I don't think I do China, because well, like with sneakers and stuff, because I don't want them to come back counterfeit. And like, yeah, and, no, I'm kidding, yeah. right? I try I, to yeah. play like that. Like, is you know, what am I going to get back? Like you said, what am I going to get back? And um, yeah, but, every day I'm hustling. I've never had an issue with Russia either. I send, no, I I send a either. lot of needlepoint, a uh, needlepoint, and Levi jeans there, and I never get anything mm-hmm. back. It's so I weird when you put your PayPal like your analytics on mm-hmm. PayPal. They, they is it, and why does PayPal have way better analytics than eBay? They're not yes, they're just the payment agree, process. Noxie, we need get another that. Mod. Like, they they can show you like the 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 age, how many repeat buyers you have, everything mm-hmm. all inside of PayPal. But eBay, unless I don't know where to look. I mean, maybe I don't. I don't. There's no way to easily see all that stuff, right? Uh, On eBay, yeah, eBay's <laughs> tough to find their information. Unless you want to know what two categories you've never listed in that are outperforming the last month. They're yeah, really like, easy to show potato, you that. Potato chips and hot sauce. <laughs> Biscuits and gravy are my top and performers. Hot sauce. <laughs> oh my goodness. I what agree. Well, well speaking, I, like, I will say right now at the four, at the three and a half, three hour and fifty minute mark, you mentioned PayPal and their analytics. I will say this is my tip of the night, guys. So pay attention. If you receive a ten ninety nine k from PayPal, that information goes onto your ten forty. If mm-hmm. you do not receive a ten ninety nine k, you still have to file taxes. You still have to report that income. That goes on your Schedule C. You still have to file a Schedule C for all your expenses on your business, and then you use that information to subtract from your 1040 to get your business mm-hmm. income, but you still have to pay taxes even if PayPal doesn't send you a 1099K. Thank you. That's a 35 so, seconds. Thank, thank you. Thank you, you for that. Uh, and on, on that, too, we hey, we're also taking uh, applications for another mod, too. Poor Noxie, man. She's been trying to, you're doing trying a good Trying to keep job, up with the chat on <laughs> So I'm just saying we're we're accepting applications for another moderator. Just you need, saying. A, you need a BCP in here. Where's he at? Um, what's a B? What's a B? What bum crack. A bum crack. Oh. I think I think Marie's. Uh, she's climbing up the ladder here. She might just get a. Have you seen um, Mary's comment here? This is pretty crazy because there's a. Have you oh, heard of the, thanks, Lasta. Have Which you heard of that? the program um, Web Interpret? Oh God, mm-hmm. yes. Don't do it. Don't do yes. it. Well, I know a lot of sellers that use it. A lot of sellers that use it, and they're very successful with it. But the only problem is, just like Mary, it will not stop you from sending something to a country like um, a friend in the UK. He, I was telling, I think I told you guys about. It, he does a hundred thousand pounds a month, right, for eBay. He's the he's the titanium seller. He has access to, you know, the second tier of janitorial services, um, and he sent a vitamin to Australia that was outlawed or something through web interpret. They hacked, they gave him a three day suspension. Wouldn't talk to him. Wouldn't. He's like, I've never been in trouble. Noxy. Right, right. Hundred thousand dollar a month titanium seller. And he mm-hmm. sends a bottle of vitamins to Australia just a couple months ago. And mm-hmm. they hacked him three days gone. That was like, uh, mm-hmm. so that cost him like 12, 13,000 pounds. For that one thing and ebay did not even flinch didn't care the people that he that call him and want to you know rub his back all the time and and they send him these offers to reduce final value fees and he you know he's, he shows me the letter that he gets he gets a letter saying hey for black from black friday on if you reduce your prices by 20 percent, we will reduce your final value fees to five percent and that, I mean, it's not fair because you're taking the most of it, but still. And he said that he doesn't even get the. He's got his competitors are getting only paying one percent final value fees. Mm-hmm. So what? How now? We don't get it. We get nothing. We get suspended for doing too good. They right. get a discount <laughs> like down to one percent final value fees for the highest tier of seller that there is. That's mind blowing, right? Yeah. One yeah. percent. We used we signed up for Web Interpret last. December, January, when it was offered for free for a year mm-hmm. on, our, on our page, 
and we're like, okay, that's fine. It's, it, we're listed on the other channels, but we have nine listings of the same listing just everywhere on our page. So our our total listing count went from like 500 to like 4,500 items in our store because it counted every item in our active listing. So England had a listing, Germany had a listing, right, had a right, listing. Right, right, right. So our store our store active listings went way up just because it was. So you could multiple. essentially get nailed for fees then, right? Like if you went over your would that count? Yeah. So they didn't count because uh, we were in a, we had a free web interpret pro for the year. So they didn't count the the listings towards our um, store listings, if it makes sense. So, so they, they didn't they didn't charge us for the web interpret. It was like test this program out. Okay. What we found out about it was when we started going through, we sold one or two things through it, but they would change the the shipping and the weights to whatever they wanted basically in those countries. So if I wanted to ship priority or, or, or first class in the United States at eight ounces in England it would say well the minimum to ship this shirt we think is four ounces and it's going to cost you twelve dollars mm. and I would go through it we had an issue where we actually sold something to England and we had to pay an additional fifteen dollars in shipping because the Royal Mail calculator through web interpret determined that our item didn't weigh that much what? and therefore we had to pay the difference in shipping when we actually yeah. added the shipping calculator in so mm -hmm. I had to call and fight them and everything else and you know they they're based over I think in somewhere in like Hungary yeah, 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 or something yeah, yeah. so the time change was all different I I, I got mm -hmm. out of the program like after a month it was just like I know it, several people that use it and they you. they, they love to get it. a little following yeah. Joey you got some fans you got some girlfriends uh, <laughs> I think my I think Noxie's talking me up in the chat too much there. Um, but they, you know, um, I don't know if you know him, but he he comes on every once in a while. Ronnie Hart. Oh he, my! He uses Web Interpret, um, and he says he gets about twenty percent increase per month. We made I, sales. Not, I'll yeah. I'll ask him about the shipping yeah. because there might be that might have been just something when it was up new and a problem. Yeah. It might be different now. Yeah, like I said, we made sales. It was fine. But when I started checking, when that came through our sale, and it was like, I looked at it, and some of the charts said, you know, certain clothing items we don't think oh, God, don't. weigh more than this amount. So I'm selling a T-shirt, like a vintage shirt that's heavy. It yeah. might weigh 12 ounces. Plus, they put it in the padding envelope or whatever. It might be 14 ounces. They think, no, we only think it weighs, it should no weigh no more yeah. than six ounces shipped. Right. So that 6 to 13 ounce range, I have to pay the difference on. Yeah. Well, and it was almost they, the cost of the item. I'm like, I, I'm not gonna, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to cancel your sale. I can't do are, that. But are you sure it's that and not the, um, it's not the VAT? Like it was the shipping and not the VAT? Because I just sent something over uh, to uh, Georgina. Mm -hmm. I sent her a sweater, right? All expenses paid. I put it in as, you know, $20 cost. And she still got a 13 pound bill for that item when mm -hmm. she got there. So there was nothing wrong with the tipping. I, I did it perfect. But it's mm -hmm. they have to pay a tax on every item right. in the country. So, so I'm not sure what that was. I think well, I think when I went through their SKUs or their F, F, FAQs, or whatever, there was something about certain countries with their because when you do rub interpret, from what I understood, that's like right now if I ship international, I ship right. USPS the whole way. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if I ship that, it, what happens is something, but like it gets shipped, but it's shipped through the Royal Mail rate. And once it arrives in country, then it gets converted. To some, it was this is a whole like process where well, then Royal then, Mail took over, and that Royal Mail specific said, "We don't think this costs right. as much to ship." Therefore, well, and then another thing is, like Zahir uses it, and Shazad uses it, and they they, they I've never heard them talk about this. So we can. There's got to be a, something that happened there, and I don't know. Oh God, Krillin wants to show, tell you a short story. Oh Lord. You, no, I think really. it'll be for another day. That's another I'm day. actually I'm more interested in this chat. I got people swapping partners. Yeah. I got Joey with some fan group. Okay. Something's happening. He's Wrong got there. some girls. Yeah, also out. too. I don't know what's the happening. Trans so what happened too was that um when they translated the item into the into the language, language yeah. wasn't the, the translation, translation was too? off on a lot of the stuff too. Right, right. So right, I had right. to go in and fix a lot of the, the issues. So when you have 500, 600 items, and now all of a sudden you have 4,500 items, mm -hmm. and out of those 4,500 items, you know, 3,500 are in a foreign mm -hmm. language that you have to run a translate through because it yeah. translates off. Well, we, we'd be better off when we use it every I just, day. Like, like, I can't like, do this. Yeah. Like Ronnie or Zahir who use it every day and ship overseas every day, 
Mm-hmm. They could explain it inside and out. And, and yeah, for um, me, it was just it was an extra thing. We did sell know. stuff through it. It looked okay, but there was a lot of stuff that they couldn't explain to me about how their stuff. And again, this was like a year and a half ago. I think yeah. they were just blowing out a beta on it, and I was just. They could be better. I don't know. I've never. I've thought about often about trying it, but I don't understand why we would need to because I feel like. I still Ryan get the Tracy. sales in all the countries. I still get the, I still get the sales, like you know, to the country. So I'm not under. I don't know what more it could do. If I'm already getting, I just say don't use it. That's yeah, what I say. I, that's what I'm a little. Like, <laughs> I'm just so saying, deep. if you're on this side of the water of but the pond, so, don't use it. Okay, so if these people, like, so say, like, um, I don't know, just say someone with a different like Russia or China, they contact me all the time about items. They can evidently read my items, and I'm not doing anything different. Do they just translate it, or? You mean on eBay? Yeah, on eBay. Like, I, like especially like sneakers yeah, and stuff. Just, like uh... China will send me messages all the time, and uh, uh, and I just tell them, sorry, I don't ship there. And they'll be like, can you please ship to China? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Because I think they go understand? through like eBay.com and they use it rather than eBay.ca or eBay.it or whatever. Yeah, like if and they're they going to Canada, translate they, in you... there. Your stuff wouldn't be on the Canadian site or the UK site. But we can see other it. sites. Like if we type in something I'm looking for, I can see stuff on there. Yes, but that's because they're using whatever system they have over there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like oh, so I'm seeing all the people I'm seeing overseas are web interpreters then? Probably, or, or possibly, whatever they're using to get onto possibly. ours. Yeah, because the web interpreter would actually take my item and list it on eBay.it. Like I have the option right now on eBay to list on eBay and eBay.uk right, okay. okay for an extra fee. But Easy. nowhere else. If I use web interpreter, or unless I sign up specifically for eBay.it to ship in yeah. Italy, then I can list there. But web interpreter was just taking it and list, listing it for me everywhere. So I was I on IT, you. I was on Germany, I was on Australia, I was on all the right. different eBay dedicated sites yeah, rather than. Yeah. yeah. And I think that was the issue. And then the other thing, too, a curling point out of the thing was when you got paid, and obviously this happens a lot too, but not necessarily when I get on eBay and I ship overseas. They paid in their currency, so the PayPal, PayPal would get a conversion every time. The conversion rate, and then the mm-hmm. PayPal international fee to convert, and everything right. else. It was you end up losing a lot of money. At least that's what we was the items we were selling. Right. Yeah. No, if you're not selling, like, but that's the it thing. Wasn't you, computing. You, you can't do it for twenty dollar items and and yeah. you know or fifteen dollar items. You like Ronnie sells. You know, his average sales price is between seventy and ninety dollars. So, yeah. right. and you can yeah. pick and choose. I mean, I think you can go in and pick and choose the items you want. We just did our whole store because that was the right. deal that they gave us. Mm-hmm. But I think I can go in if I really want to try to sell like a two hundred dollar vintage, you know, Ferrari item overseas. And I think I was going to do better in the Italy market. Then yeah, I will. You know, I can maybe just specifically pick that item and pay right. for the fee for that item to go over there. So but, even though they didn't charge you for the listings, it was still had to be cumbersome sorting through triple yeah. with every listing, right? Yeah, we, li- we literally opened up our store one day. And we're like, oh my God, we have like 4,500 active items. What the hell happened? Could you hide oh. them? I wonder if there's a way to hide the duplicate listings or something. They were just in there and everything was a different language. No, I don't think it. you need to because I think eBay's server would do it for you. It just looks weird on your side. That's all. Yeah, I and mean. then when we ended the items or end- got out of the program, we had like 4,500 unsold items. Oh my, oh my God. God. That one drove me crazy. And man. it was just like, oh my God, how many unsold items do we have? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Krillin's like blown. Just don't do it. <laughs> Krillin's head is like he's, he's right losing now. his mind. Krillin, yeah, you just have to wait till get, Friday, my friend. Yeah, it seems pounds. that they have like a bunch of people lined up Friday because I'm gonna be out of town. So I, I'm hoping I can jump in because I gotta see who's on. So her, I think so, it's gonna be hysterical. Um, All I know is if I sold that same item, the item I sold, it went to the UK. If I sold that same item in the US to a US seller, I would have made it additional like six dollars off of it. Oh my God, that's. that's and if I sold it myself it. to the UK, I would have made money off of it but that item specific yeah, like item that I was selling to the UK I was actually going to lose money on the shipping and the fees and everything else I lost money on a $20 item and I'm like I, I can't so what am I going to do I'm going to raise all my rates for overseas or I'm just going to sell high items overseas like yeah. to me it's not my business model so I couldn't I just couldn't do it so what kind, of, what kind of party is going on Friday night? Is it is it late enough to ask if it's an orgy or something? Like, what's going on? Oh, my. No, because I'm not there, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. you can't like, ask those kind of questions. That's what I mean. You're not here. There's like, I, I see that Joey's invited all women and me. So I'm a little like. Uh, oh, did he really? <laughs> oh, my. And he well, says got, he doesn't my, have any fangirls. I, I got Whatever. permission. Listen, time out here. I got permission from the wife <laughs> on who to invite. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> look, look, speaking of, speaking of beautiful oh, women, my. Right now. <laughs> yeah, Mel will be here. Tommy will be here. Lisa will be here. Le- yeah, Lisa's going to be here. He brought out all the heavy hitters. I'm like, Rob I thought I was show special. Up. I told Mel, I was like, I thought it was special. I was like, evidently, we're just all bottom That's feeders. That's because right? he had no faith in me filming for Disney. No, I don't know. I don't know how the internet is. So it's like, Rob is going to be at Disney. Be- Checking out the cantina down there at that Star Wars World. She's gonna pop in for a live. I'm in line. Look at the new Disney stuff. Hopefully, it shows us all about Disney when she's down there. Are you gonna wear, Are you wearing an eBay t- shirt and advertise for them by chance? Because they're not gonna do it. So you know. <laughs> I, I can't I don't know. do three hours by myself. It's hard. I don't like doing five. When Tracy leaves, I'm I'm like I'm gone. I'm ready to go. Yeah. It's so what much easier. What do you mean? Like what do you mean? with other people, this topic of Tracy, conversation. Because Tracy and I generally are just like you. We get we're this. It's so funny. You're just like us. People think we're married. People think you're married. People just it's uh, it's so hilarious. It's hysterical. It's hilarious. <laughs> so people say we're having an affair all the time and we're three thousand miles apart. Oh, I'm telling you right <laughs> now. Anybody says that, I'm telling you right now, that is a no no. <laughs> it's like, we're three thousand miles apart, and it's like you know, and it's like <laughs> that's a no it's no. So funny. It's hilarious. I mean, he is I, happily, very happily married. I know his wife. Trust me, trust me. And I, right. And so am I happily married? It sounds like. Uh, oh you, hell yes, I'm happy. Like I've been. You went like overboard on yours, Joey, and then her, she was like, and let, let me tell you. Oh, I, oh, I was just gonna say, I was. I'm with the same guy since uh, it's 21, 22, 22 years. So it's amazing balls. I don't have kids. I just have fur babies. Look. And I've that's got. Why happy, that's why you're happy. They they take they take a lot. Of, there's a lot of stress. I you know I can't they're speak amazing. on it, but they're I can amazing. say that you I've heard that a lot, that. Tommy. There is. You would yeah. never give your kids oh, up. Oh, Noxie for the win, dude! I'm loving her tonight. She's like, Joey gets a hall pass. Oh yeah. <laughs> and speaking oh, of my wife. Is... Oh, speaking my. of my wife. She's reading the chat. She just bought me a nice beer. Nice. Nice. There you go. That's a good wife right there. It's a nitro cold brew coffee beer. Since it's coffee nice. talk. Oh wow! Who so makes I, that? Uh, New Mary, Belgium. I am. I am coming down south. Wow, that's but awesome. I only have With, a couple uh, days, and it's jam packed. Now, isn't that like a, like a cancel out. out? Like like Adderall and alcohol? They they don't they cancel each other out. Like <laughs> Adderall does not get. Canceled it's only five percent, so it's not going to do much. Uh-huh. But it's uh. I find it impossible to get drunk on Adderall. Like it like impossible. It's true, Tracy. I am happy most of the time. It's, it's a real, one, you know, man. it's the only time when I'm not happy is, uh, it's like if I'm confused or I'm super tired mm. or my PTSD gets a hold of me and then we're, oh, you better watch out. I think eBay's giving me PTSD <laughs> not to make light of the subject. I'm, but I'm hey, I hear, that, you, brother, brother. I hear you. It's like, I hear you. But it, it, Look, I think if people are having crappy days like Mel and everybody else, I think they should just. Yeah. Pop into the chat right yeah, now. Yeah, no, no. Why do up on here and crack a beer and let us watch? We'll live vicariously through your beer. I know. Noxie's on it, man. She's she's hot tonight, man. She's, she yeah, she's beer doing too? the one liners. <laughs> I love it. Hall pass. Um, Joey's got a hall well, I'm going to give him so much grief now, y'all. Y'all don't know. Joey, so you know what he's trying to do, right? He's I have no to, idea what trying, Joey's trying to do. He's trying to increase his value because he's bringing on heavy hitters. While you're going, and he's going to try and get like a hundred live viewers, and be like, "See, Robin, see, I want more money." Oh, that hurts my feelings, that's Tommy. Man, that's what doing. oh, that's rough, Tommy. That's what Tracy really, does to that... me. Tracy does it to me all the time. Oh man, that's Tracy rough. Man. On, hey, listen, let me tell you something. And... I bring a lot of value to this show, and I want everybody to hear that. I bring a lot of value to this show. You bring so all the value. Just take that. It's take true. that. Since you hurt my feelings, Tommy. No, I didn't hurt your feelings. I'm saying what he's doing, not what I'm doing. Well, I gotta keep this train rolling. That. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's like, we're trying to grow this ship. We're not trying to sink. He's... Is that what he told you to get on the show? Like that's that hurts my feelings. No, he didn't. He just said he was flying <laughs> solo. I'm just being me. Dude, I've done a couple like three hour ones or an hour and a half myself, and to hear myself talk for an hour and a half. Oh, I get you, Joey. Exhausting. I get you. So if you um, want to meet at the tiki what, bar, the driving. My wife Wait, where are you? What tiki bar, Mary? Are you talking about? Uh, Trader Sam's <laughs> landed. Holly Molly? Oh. Oh, Mel. Oh, she Mel, says she man. can't vent. You don't have to vent, Mel. You can just. just oh, I don't your know. Eyes. Is Mel having a bad day? I'm, see, I, I'm trying to catch up on the chat. Well, so be here Friday drinking live with us yeah. in the afternoon. I'm projecting. I am day projecting drinking. for real. Tracy's right. 
But like when I'm not there, she'll have like Lisa on, and they'll talk about huge plush for like hours, you know. And the, mm-hmm. all the men are going. That's crazy all right. And chat Tracy's and... gonna have me on her show. She should. And Mel yeah. too. They should. <laughs> Tracy does do. She did a series that was and awesome. Lisa. <laughs> she did a chat with chicks. She did like three of them, I think. Um, they were amazing, and it's really good. She should do that with you. I'm kidding. I honestly, let me tell you something right now. I'm the super not jealous type. In fact, I get myself in a lot of trouble with a lot of people because uh, I just talk to everybody and anyone, anytime, any place. And I got to be careful because uh, there are people who get super sensitive because I'm talking to their partner or whatever. Right. Yeah. And I'm not. And, and I'm not. And, I'm not thinking like that. I'm just. I'm just so in yeah. the mode, like to do whatever. And, and I, uh, yeah, because I did it in Vegas. Oh my! I, I literally almost had to. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Welcome to my I world, Tommy. It's all good. Yep. It's men, all good. men, like, I see it so much. Like, if a woman is being nice to a man, it's yeah. they don't take it as just friends. They take it as like, oh man, I'm taking her home tonight. They don't take it as no, just. They do not. Do you I'm really? I'm telling you, men do not. That's a blurred line. Do you remember right, Tracy, sick, right? It, it, really? Because you know my Jimmy boy is not jealous, but see he works in a prison system, so he doesn't have time to be jealous. He's just like that's yeah, that's my lady. She's gonna I'm sure she Joey can tell you about that. Like it's a, or like he's seen it. I mean any any man can tell you they've seen it. It's it's so crazy. Because I don't even oh. get I don't even get trippy with like when my man's talking to some like really drop dead gorgeous. Why? He knows you, where like he yeah. comes home to sirloin. Like he know that's he knows. Right. Yep. He doesn't, but you he know doesn't what? come home with the you know. Why would you worry? Anyway, I don't because I don't. You, it, let's say for you know, God forbid it. Hopefully that never happens. But if your husband was going to cheat on you, nothing you do or worry could change it. So why worry? Just be happy. Exactly. Right? But Just honestly, to be on the. And I see you live, streamer. and I see you on the on the open tab that I'm on. See, let to. me show you, Joey. Let me snap a photo real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sorry, I don't mean to stop the chat. It was emotional. just weird. In here, let me. It's just weird because now it's like uh, it's weird. Now it just went to like your live and it's weird. Yeah. You might have just been having a um mm-hmm. a surge in your internet output. Okay. Mel, did you did you announce your show, Mel? Oh. Uh, there oh, chats with chicks with Robin next week. There you go. You see Tracy wants to have you on. You should do that. It's a really good time. You go back and watch her and the here's wife. That was probably one of the best shows ever. And then Jazz came on, uh, Brad's way right after. Yeah, oh I love ja- Jazz. Oh my God. I, I love all the ladies that I've met. There's but, not but the one thing that is, I don't like, absolutely Jazz, when adore. we met Jazz, she was so shy. And she has come out, and she's amazing. Amazing. Oh, good job, Mel. That's awesome. See, that you're like me then. Because, you know, I just don't have – I I'm not – I just don't – I'm not jealous. Mm-hmm. Like I just, you know, I think it's maybe the military in me because I, I had, to, I mean, I literally was with like, you know, ten thousand men. Like you have to buck <laughs> up and you have to like, you know what I mean? Like you don't have time to. Uh, I see a face in your door. <laughs> Shut up, Justin. <laughs> Did you, I'm like, what? <laughs> I, can I tell you something funny? Okay, so we come on, like we come into the Are studio, right? And we like, and we prep or whatever. And I had my hand, my head down, and I was humming, and I was playing a game and doing something else, and I didn't even hear Joey come onto the mic, and I, in my ear, very faintly, I heard Robin, like this. Turn around. Yes, and I was like, I did this. I was like, do I look? Do I go around? And then I peeked up, and I see Joey. And Joey's like, yeah. like you know, yeah. You guys so, always get me. There man. you go, right there, Mel. Tracy's going to be guest starring on Mel's channel because Bron's out of town on Tuesday for her Tuesday show. So it'll be Mel and Tracy nice. for international flavor of love. Wow. I love it. I love that'll it. That'll be that'll be really good. I can't I I'm kind of excited for that. I hey, love. Mel I gotta and Bron, tell you right now, I love all you guys. You guys are all really amazing. I, I and if I could watch all your shows all the time, uh, I try to come uh, in when the lives come on. But I, you know, so I try to comment. I do yeah, if you see up. us come in and like comment, we're you're in there. Sometimes we're in and out, but we're coming back and yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We're there. And that, you can't hold it against anybody. Like people bounce back and forth. They have so many friends on at one time. You can't expect them to choose. You know, yeah, especially just, when you're channel building, you're trying to get your hours in. You just stay yep. out for a long time. You get people mm-hmm. just sitting there. It's awesome. So I appreciate that, guys. Yeah, yeah I just appreciate you helping them out on a Friday because. 
I was real because I, I told him I said, well, I could come back to the hotel and just try, you know, like try to do it from the laptop. But you know, it's like it's it in that area where Anaheim is. The mm-hmm. internet is being streamed so much. Like, it's really bad. The internet is not mm-hmm. always great. Yeah. Noxie, and- I, we've done nine hours without being affected. So, and and ads did 12 hours. So, wow. we don't we don't know. We have, we've we seen 12 hours so far. Yeah. yeah. If you're on the basic free plan, it's it's 20 hours a month. But if, right. you, if you're paying for it, then it's unlimited. Yeah. Unless you use nice, um, OBS, then you can get, it, you can get around that. Uh, Mel, no. I think we're like 35% of the way there. But we still are. We're ruining it. Thirty-five <laughs> percent of the way towards our sub count too, so we will get there eventually. Well, and eventually, you can get, um, like, it's all organic. It's nice. Yeah, and everything's yeah. been recent too. So the, all the stuff that happened in the first like six months, when it starts dropping off, it's not going to be that big of a hit. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's everything's so, been recent. It's so crazy, like how fast, like just it, it changes. Like it just yeah. three weeks ago, we found you guys and we were in here and we had seven viewers in here, right? I right. know. No and doubt. then it's like Dude. the other day you hit like 40 50 50, 51 we 51. hit it's mind blowing and we're at 398 subscribers now right so. but that ratio is huge like uh live viewers to subscribers is a really good way to gauge channels like that's my favorite analytic i think watching which one live viewers mm-hmm. percentage oh, to subscribers viewers. That's oh yeah, I've noticed that. Like, we have 398 subscribers, and our view counts are sometimes are like 200, 250 by the time the video starts trailing off. Mm-hmm. Yep. As and opposed to, and even in the live show, we have you know 30 to 35, we're at like a mm-hmm. seven to 10 percent margin, and I think mm-hmm. that's pretty good when you have that. But when you have a 10,000 channel and you get 35 people to show up or 100 people to show up in a chat, and the videos only get four or five hundred videos, it's like yeah, it, man, well, it just shows you how they got their subscribers. They didn't get them organically. Yeah, um, stick around. It's so funny. Like I love uh, it. It kills me watching people with like a hundred thousand subscribers and they go live and seventy people show up. I'm oh, like, it hurts my heart for them. It really not me does. because they like, did it. Like they should have done it the right way and stop being shady. Well, and to uh, okay. First of all, Tommy, you're talking to the new kid on the block. Like I literally. Which one are you, I Joey? Get or Jordan, or? I, I, I get excited when Joey gives me the scores, or, or I say scores, but scores. the uh, numbers it's all right. we're hanging for the tough. podcast. <laughs> you know, like, oh, we're streaming in, like, Arab countries or Ireland go, or girl. whatever. Look, what? we just got to grow this channel step by step. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Wait. Oh, oh, is he quoting songs now? <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, on the block. I, I, well, I missed it. I was talking. I, what? New kids on the block. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's hilarious. We were like, you, she's like, I'm the new kid on the block. And I'm the new kid on the block. I'm like, which one are you, Joey, Jordan? And she totally didn't oh, get it. Oh, I'd like to be Jordan. I like and Jordan. And then Joey's like, we're hanging tough. Oh, Donnie's, Donnie's kind of, he's kind of cute too back Danny then. Wood. Forget about it. Uh, Forget Danny about Wood. it. Danny Wood, Danny Wood is the uh, brother that never made, like, he's the dark match brother, right? Yes. Donnie got all those. Noxie, you're going to need help on yeah, Friday. Danny Wood is just, just like saying, the dude with the deep voice at the end with the lively, hair. Noxie. Weird looking guy. <laughs> yeah. We'll get BCP to come along. We'll bring him in. We'll, yeah. Because we won't be going live since you guys are. So uh, we'll have BCP cool. uh, get his tea and crimpets to come in. and. I love it. That's he's a awesome. maniac. Have you ever watched him? He's a maniac. Like he's oh, just, gosh. he's professional. He, he mods like 70, 70 some channels, I think. Every channel oh I go into, he's got a wrench. So yeah. I mean, oh, and he does God. like the biggest ones in the on, in the industry. Like he does like Steven Steph, like the resale, the whatever oh. um, resale killers. Like they got like Dang. they they'll get two thousand people in their live chat. Wow! Can you imagine? No. And it's like no one else can even like it's going. And he's just hammering it. I think Tracy and I think maybe Marie. There's a couple mods in there they, that are in here. Yeah, I can imagine. It's I was hard gonna to say, say, Mel, my sister would totally agree with you. She's got three kids, and when they're on holiday, her whole routine is shot to you know where. Who's that? She hates it. Well, we're t- they're talking. I don't have kids. But they're uh, talking about kids, and when they're on holiday, it throws your routine off, and so they're home, they're playing video games, and you're like, dude, uh, I, I, my routine's off. Yeah, yeah, one to hey, two hey, K. Oh, we got rising yeah. grind. Yeah, hey, hey, one Robin, to two hey. K. Yeah, geez. I love it. How one are you? One to two K. I, don't I love it. it. I love it. I love it. It's so funny. We we flux. We go to twenty seven, then we go back to thirty four. <laughs> it's like that. It's sometimes streamer can't keep up because I I see that in, in even in our, it'll jump ten sometimes up and down and like there's no way 
10 people come and go at the exact same time. It, it's, yeah. it's almost like it's not uh, catching up. My neighbors okay. are SNS. My, my, and as my neighbors, SNS are crazy. Oh, man, you're their neighbor? That's pretty awesome, Mary. I didn't know that. Yeah, she lives down in Anaheim. Okay. So yeah, I, I don't know them personally. I've just seen them. So I, I don't know them personally. But they seem like really genuine people. Nice. Mel, I mean, have your do you guys just ever eat on on lives? Like, I'm like, mukbang. It's called dinner. mukbang. I'm I know. I'm yeah, like we starving. Yeah, we learned that the other day. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah, they. Older, uh, so it's not like they need to hunt them up. If it gets real late, like I try not to do it, but then if it, like mm -hmm. when we go, a lot of times when we're getting ready to leave, the UK wakes up and then we end up just I know to leave, and it's like oh. so I have to go grab something and eat. It's yeah, uh, I love that. I love that. Yeah, that's, that's what I have to do. Sometimes. I had to refill my coffee. Like when you came on, I was like, dang. Yeah, I know. We didn't right? have like a break. We didn't have like a five like second interval. Yeah, throw up an intermission like, video for a little bit. Like, I need to put, you know what I'm going to have to do now that we do this, is I'm going to have to put a refrigerator up here, a coffee maker, and I'm just going to have to like never leave my station. <laughs> I do that. I See, I was going to do that, but I thought it would be bad to do Good that. Good for you, Tracy. I, I have to walk upstairs now to get, you know, drinks, and I need that exercise. For, you know, if I put a refrigerator here, I would never leave. I'd be dormant. The next would be a yes. coffee bag, you know? I would just, why not? <laughs> Um, just I the, mean, the toilet right where you're at. Leave it oh, dear. Oh, my God. Then you would go viral for sure. What's that? Just put a toilet like, right where you, you're at. You just had a oh, toilet I know. And like, you know, it, right? excuse me. Well, Tommy, straight two, from the toilet. BCP's got 200 plus. What? Oh, wow. I guess I was wrong. He mods 200 plus channels, evidently. Man, oh, man. my good lord. Well, it's so funny. He'll You'll see him. And the poor guy, like, is he just a is he just a mod or does he sell on like does he, is he a reseller too? Or well, what, he used to be the... until he started modding. Um, oh, okay. There you go. No, it, it affects because they business. pay him so or what happens? We try to tell him to go to sleep, so he does. He so now he goes to sleep on our channel <laughs> instead. Like, yeah, we, and it's like, oh, five well, we hours. Really, he knows he can rest. We didn't really want you to sleep on our channel. We wanted you to sleep through someone else's. We wanted you here, <laughs> but no, nah, it's all good. He. uh He's got like three storage facilities filled to gills with car parts and books, and he sends pictures sometimes. He's a very private guy, very, very private. You'll never, I know his name, and I've seen him once, but he don't let that out. Like, he's very private, but he's like the most genuine guy there is. It's crazy. I love it. We can't Just texting, see him. He uh, guess the views so, on this so show. My, can... my dude's coming home with In and Out. There you go. Yeah, because right. I still have to pack. I still have to pack. I still have to get my stuff in order. Yeah. Oh, but you took your mini fridge out of the office. I'm bringing one in. Because I'm tired All of right. running downstairs. Three ninety nine. Nice. There you go. Just, just hit three ninety nine. You only need one more for nice. four. For four. This. My maybe my wife. Maybe she's lurking in the chat and can send this to me. There was a video, or an Insta story that Tracy put up about two weeks ago, telling everybody to come like to our chat, and it had our sub count on it. Really. And I'm curious what that was now. Maybe she can find it for me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That would be interesting. I'm gonna go back and see if I have. Joey's it here. a numbers guy. He likes he likes to look at the the stats. I love it. He resells the mods for mm. free. Wow, really? Do like the do any of the the? I mean, do, when he mod, like, does anybody give him like some like love? We do. We've while? we've had a lot of people. Like I got, I animal forced style. His, oh yeah, dude. I forced his email style. address out of him, like, and he's had a few donations, thankfully, to help him out. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know because I, you know, he'll never ask for it to tell you, but I know for a fact it's hindering his business because he'll really? stay on our channel all night, and then by there's another channel that comes on in the morning. At uh, I think they go on at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Wow. And he's only been gone for three or four hours, and he's right back in there. Really? Just, yeah. Maybe it's insomnia or something. Like I don't know. I think it's just or part maybe, of his life. Maybe he has somebody else, or maybe he has somebody else doing his listings for him. Maybe like, he's got you know, virtual assistants, or, or maybe he is a virtual assistant. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like maybe he's doing something else. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know. I, like, well, I'm a mod. I'm well. I'm a mod on Wade's channel and. Um, and I, yeah, I think that's it. I used to have more, but I, I, there's just no way. I can't. I, just, I can't. Between work and whatever. 
Oh, look at you, Tracy. Good job. I love that. 26, 30 days. That's a good deal. That is good. No, he's not married. No, he's single. Well, yeah, because if you're subbing all the time or modding all the time, how are you going to be like in a relationship? Because you'd have to be busy all the time. I mean, especially what, 200 plus channels? Tommy, I can't look, dude. <laughs> like, I do one and I have a hard time. I don't, I don't want to do any of them. I don't want to mod any channel. It's too much. It's well, sometimes too... I do, like, if, I, if, I'm not, if yeah. I'm not going live for Wade. He hasn't gone live in a while, though. Yeah, it's, it's just because I like to just lurk and work, like, you know, say hi and bail. I don't, and I feel bad moderating mm -hmm. 4,000 plus is a pain in. My 4,000? Holy God. Well, I mean, if you had over, like, I don't know, like, if you had 100,000 subs and then you go live and you had 1,200 in the live chat, I mean, dude, you'd have to get, like, 10 mods. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. I don't... It's, uh... You, uh, Mel, just take a picture of, like, right now, today, go to your channel, look at your, your subs, take a picture, and then come back in, like, 10 days, and you'll see the difference. Or yeah. you can count, like, who, uh... TubeBuddy will tell you when you just look at your channel every day. Just get TubeBuddy, Mel, on your, as a Chrome extension. Oh, and there you go, TubeBuddy. It'll just... Or I don't even know. One Is that an app? Yeah, it's a Chrome extension. There's, um... There's a couple, uh, different... Extensions but can you add it onto your iPhone though? If it's a Chrome extension? No, no, no. But there's TubeBuddy app for iPhone that shows you all that. Or you there's can just way. get the uh, you can just get the uh, the Creator Studio for your phone that shows you all that. All right. YouTube we've, Studio. We've got 126 new subscribers in the last 30 days. Yeah. Did you say that again? What did you say? 126 new subscribers in the last 30 days. Um, for Tracy, right? No, for or us. Is that what she said? That's us. Yeah. Oh, got you, got you. It's our I thought it was Tracy got 126. We had on um, July, January 15th, we got 30 yeah. in one day. Mel's got 261 in the last 30 days. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, that's that's awesome. crazy. She's killing it. She's absolutely murdering it. She's gonna be back to burnout soon. I gotta figure out like yeah. two, buddy. I don't know. I gotta figure that out, Mel. Or just get the YouTube creator. Um, app if you want it on your phone you can really just at a quick glance see everything that's the one you have robin i think oh yeah uh, yeah youtube the studio. one i texted you with i think so i'm not sure it's uh under the dashboard it'll show you it'll it'll show you man Mel. Yeah, just log in and you're fine to the what the logins you have killing it mel's gonna blow us all out of the water soon she keeps going she's gonna be the queen of uh Australia. Australia. <laughs> she got like 900 views. She, she's up, Mel, you're up to 1.3 thousand views on your storage uh, video. And she had, and she did it when she had like, I don't know, what was it, four or 500 subs, I think? That's awesome. That's that taking really off. Cool. Yeah. And she doesn't like, work, doesn't, she's just, she doesn't know anything really about YouTube yet. She's just learning. I love it. I love yeah. it. That's that's the best. Just remember, just remember us. Remember us when you're rich and famous. Rich and famous. <laughs> that's hysterical. Well, I think there's like an untapped market there in Australia. You know, there. Oh no, that's what I'm saying. Like she's actually coming in on a really good time because uh, Australia seems to be like busting with new stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. Like eBay, Amazon, YouTube, because uh, I've been watching some of the channels and, and some of the stuff that, that's coming out of their their channels is like, wow, we already have that on our eBay and they're just now getting it. So it's kind of fun to like see how mm -hmm. they're dealing with it. Yeah. And the thing about it is, and they always are testing stuff in Australia. So if they, like Brad released that video about the item specifics. And so yeah. you're going to get a lot of interest on, you know, people wanting to see how that stuff's going in advance right right you know like um the payment system i think uh didn't david m re release a video today on that yeah he was talking about it aiden and whatever today yeah, yeah. I, I was dry or no where was i how somewhere but um i couldn't watch and it doesn't apply to me so i, I didn't really but i think he, they're being forced over early or something right i don't know i, I didn't I actually mean... watch the whole thing yet
I'm yeah, because I didn't. Yeah, go. I think he goes on like really soon on like next. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Like I'm sure we'll probably bounce from here to there. Because mm. no, I'll turn it on while to, I'm packing from my here to bed. Hey, Joey, who's oh, yeah. him now? Joey's like, I gotta work. <laughs> you, you gotta. You have to go to work tomorrow. Yeah. yeah well, Joey day. has his own business. He's got his. I got calls counsel, tomorrow. His, uh, coaching calls and stuff. His coaching oh, so, call. You know, his uh, financial I coaching. Didn't, I didn't. I didn't even put two and two together that you do that. Like you have like your own day job doing that. Yeah, mostly Tuesdays and Thursdays. I try to schedule in because Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I don't know when this is gonna happen. And before the show, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm doing calls and stuff. So and then, you know, Saturday and Sunday is date night with the wife because that's got to be important. Well, absolutely. You don't. I'm so advocating for all the wives. <laughs> so we don't see you Saturday and Sunday generally at all. No, either. we pop in the chats. I pop in occasionally. Enjoy. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I mean, you know, but she I'm not watching listen. too. Yeah, she watches. Nice. That's she, all. She lurks. She comes in with you guys' stuff too on her. No, her channel. I she apologize. Doesn't comment much. I apologize. Yeah, she, <laughs> no, no, she's like you know you guys helping us out so she pops in so you get the extra yeah. sub and the view and all that stuff and um, try to help out that way and then uh, occasionally on a weekend i may i have the other channel that i have the coaching channel that i've done nothing with i may start yeah, putting some more yeah. content on there that's more financial focused and more just some live group like financial chats where people come in and ask questions and get some basic stuff mm -hmm. done over there more of a teaching mm -hmm. kind of so channel tommy if you go over there you gotta wear um a nice shirt where is I'll that at? I'll dress channel. up for it's that a, one. It's Where a professional channel. My other channel that I have. Oh, you dress I put up? It on the, go to e I haven't done anything with it yet. So. Oh, go have to... you seen Brad? Have you watched Brad? I have, where, yeah. Where he does his suit? Yes. And, and, and... Yeah. <laughs> did you see but my But Joey's suit? is important, though. I came on and did, I came on one day, like, on his yeah. chat, like, and they did couldn't see me suit? yet. And I had a suit and hat on exactly and glasses no. just like him. And <laughs> he almost lost it. It was hilarious. Uh, I couldn't stop laughing. I tried to just mimic him as hard as like it was really hard because he's like sits straight Wait a minute. And... Wait a minute, Marie. I don't think are they releasing things in Oz before here? I don't think so. The item specifics was released here first. No, no, they're not being here till March. The they, te they test everything and they test everything in Germany and Australia, like everything it seems. Wait, maybe what is the, what is the, what are they testing though? Because the new item items specifics, specifics for uh, home and garden and electronics. Oh, really? Mm. See, I, we so that's a misunderstanding on me then, because I thought I was like, dude, we already have item specifics. You were um, thinking that they were behind our last item specifically. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's nah, what I was thinking. Like, I was like, nah. oh, I get it, I get it. But if you go back and watch Brad oh, on that, our channel. Joey, I thought that said, here's my cooking channel. <laughs> cooking, with Joe, cooking with Joey. That's how hungry I am, Joey. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't be posted. Post yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Tracy wants to know how you keep that coffee shop open. No customers yet. <laughs> it's no, really. it like a pizza joint on this side, though, kind of like from this angle. Like, I was going to say, yes, it does kind of. But, um, my eBay fees help. But even though they weren't. So here's the funny part. When we were going through that item specifics and all of our stores were dropping, you know, or we don't know if they were all stores, but at least categories, certain stores with categories. Brad and Jazz, we, we keep in close contact. They were down 70% as well in Australia. And they weren't even in the item specific glitch yet that we know of, or that at least I remember anyway. Wow. Uh, and they're very analytical. They're they do huge numbers, mm -hmm. huge numbers for them to drop 70% with their store and what they, their inventory they have yeah. is yeah. insane, like insanity. And then, well, I mean, I was going to say like Joey and I use both of our, uh, channels. So I've got a channel too. You, you should sub there too, because that's, I always come in as Robin on most of your channels. Um, because I never know when Joey's coming on <laughs> and I don't ever want to mix up the well, because I get it, right? Like I get it. it gets a little like whoop whoop, and I and I know that sometimes he comes as Jr. Financial, so he doesn't, we you know like yeah. So yeah, uh, but I, I try to give everybody like double thumbs. You know what I mean? So like I switch mm -hmm. out, switch out, like whoop whoop, <laughs> because oh, oh, uh, that's not Brad released that video because they dropped it. They are they just telling you, were they just telling you it's coming? They just so they just got the email like a day earlier because they're a day ahead oh, of us. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, I misunderstood that too. And then Brad dropped the video, so I thought that they had gotten it already. That's but I guess, cool. Oops. I guess not. But it is nice they get the emails a day earlier, so we at least get to hear that. Yeah. They're, yeah, because they're in the future, which they're I like in the future. saying. They're in the future. It's too yeah. bad they don't know our lottery numbers, though. Man. I know, right? Mary dropped eighty. 
plus percent. Isn't that, isn't that wild? It's so wild. I mean, the whole year last year, we, we were down a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't even, know I don't even want to tell. Year. Like, it's, dude, it's it bad. You, so you, your store never recovered? We didn't sell no, an item from probably the beginning of October to the middle of November on eBay. Yeah. We sold on Poshmark, but we didn't sell on eBay, like, anything for that time. Do you, now, did you guys ever get into OptiSeller at all? To where? OptiSeller. No. No. Do you know what OptiSeller is? I do not. I, do I only not know it's from the title of Brad's last video. Yeah, it's really it's a really cool tool. Um, it actually scours your listings for item specific errors. Mm. Oh, really? And it's a free tool on that eBay gives you to fix their problems. But they're going to okay. end up. Oh, then, oh yeah, no. Then we've had it. Yes, then I know what you're talking about though. Um, I yeah. Yeah, but uh, Jazz, does Brad have that link or or the um. How, like, how do you do that on your app in the store, or, or does it have to be on the PC? What's like, that? You, can't, you don't. Well, like the the thing that you're talking about. Well, I think here's the, you want. I can I can drop the announcement in the private if you guys want to paste it into the thing. And this is yeah, the, yeah. the announcement that shows you how to sign up for it and everything. So okay. a lot of people have been really too lazy to go through thousands of items and go through item specific, so they never really fully recovered, which is understandable. Who wants to do that? But with well, if you had that many, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Five hundred. I only have seven hundred ninety, so yeah. Um, but that still takes those... ages to go manually in and check all the item specifics. Yes. So if yes. you want to read it yes. or whatever, but yeah, it's um, I have a feeling they're going to be definitely charging for that eventually. Uh, most likely. Mm -hmm. Twenty ounce hot. Wait, what is that? In 20 hours? No, in eight hours, I need a 20 ounce triple shot hot in nine hours. Joey, thank you. <laughs> She's giving your coffee order right now. <laughs> yeah, I would f if I had super chat on there, I would fulfill it if you paid me. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Shit, right you, PC. Oh, she's been using the PC. Okay, so that's good to know. Yeah, they, um,. I love how they hide all this stuff on community that nobody ever reads. I know, here. dude, right? I mean, it's just another fail. They don't. Did you, dr did you drop it in the, uh, did I miss it? Yeah, so so I, they I, it I properly clicked on it here way. and then I clicked on the link that's in that community tab and it takes me to the page where it says it's free until uh, April 30th, 2020. Yeah, but they'd already been partners for a year when they announced this. So where, why were they, why was that not ever announced? Jeez. Like, why was an email not sent to every single seller? Like, hey, we have this tool. This could have fixed all the trials and tribulations of item specifics in a matter of minutes back when it all hit. And it, it doesn't even make it. Doesn't even make sense. I don't either. It's weird. But can we drop it into the. Yeah. Let me see. If you're a mod, you can drop it in. Yeah. That's why I put it in there for you guys so you could do it. Yeah, Robin. Okay. yeah, yeah, I got it. Hi, right, Justin. Because I, I, I wanted to, I just wanted to learn Thanks, it for man. myself to see if, j just to, to try it. But you can't do it on the app, I don't think. Like, no, no, no. No. On her PC. no, you can't do very much on the app. You can barely list on the app. No. Well, the new seller app that they're coming out with in 2029 will, uh, will uh, probably yeah. do self <laughs> self sustained I think. Yeah. How long? How long has that been in work for now? The seller app. Well, they used to have a seller app. Right. And then they did away with right. it to merge everything into one, and then they who the hell knows. And now, are you showing? Are you? Let me ask you this: Are you Nine showing Justin. ninety day or ninety day totals now on your app instead of sixty, like some people are? I'm gonna check. I was in the beta program for the white background, and I had to get oh, out that of that. So a lot of my app updates didn't occur. But let me just double check something real quick here, because. I think when I checked earlier, I was on 60 day, and I don't have an app update in the App Store. So it might be Android only then. Yeah, I'm on 60 day on the iPhone still. Okay, so Android is going 90 days right now, which is really a good thing. They should have done that all along. Why would you? So when you're out comping, you're looking at 60 day comparisons versus 90. So when you get home, like so many people are so confused on why it looks different when they go to list on their PC. Like, oh my God, the comps look better in the store on my phone. And I get home on my PC and the comps are totally different. That can be a big fluctuation in a 30-day window. I mean, 
depending on a lot of things, but yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be interesting. I, I like that. A lot of people are complaining about it, but I, I like that. I like that they're going to try and uniform. That's one positive thing I can say. That's good. That's good. Tommy had a positive. Baby, baby steps. Right? <laughs> baby steps. Exactly. With everything, there's baby steps. Baby yeah. steps. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day, Tommy. <laughs> no, for like four days, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you smart <laughs> ass. No. Well, the whole the whole world was built in like six, wasn't it? I mean, so we, we got. Oh one my day. god, you and your history, Tommy! I swear to you. I don't have any history. I'm not. Uh, next thing I, I'm gonna say, where's the Horn of Africa? <laughs> by, by the boot. Right? <laughs> That's no. Italy. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> we had this thing on the other night about the Panhandle. Of, I'm like, how is there a Panhandle in Virginia? Like. It's There's, called the Panhandle. I'm not, like, I have no idea. I've never heard that in my life. And I, and I live, I live like you know, an hour and a half from this so-called Panhandle, and I can't even see it. It's like I don't even understand it. Oh, uh, like Sternock was going nuts. He's like, "What do you mean you never?" I'm like, "I've never heard the Eastern Shore Panhandle of West Virginia." <laughs> Like, that sounds way too glorified for West Virginia, right? Like, oh my God! They, I heard of the Eastern, like, doesn't Florida have a Panhandle or something, like Tallahassee yeah. area or something? Yeah, I'm sure there. Like, I'm sure Joey could get on the Google and find out why they call it the Panhandle. No, they love to just get me going because they know my geography is about as good as eBay's marketing. No so kidding just, about the North just, America. <laughs> I mean, uh, so that funny. map will trick you, all right? I mean, I got lost going to Hawaii in a plane. I'm like, where are we going? I thought we were like, being hijacked, and then lo and behold. Oh, my God. Yeah, look. <laughs> hey, look. Okay. So did anyone, when you were in school, did they make you draw a map? Like, you had to, we had to physically hand draw the United States, mm -hmm. like in school. Hawaii wasn't over here on page four. It was below California somewhere. Next to Mexico, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. I mean, I, I didn't like. Re I didn't get out of high school and be like, "Let me check and see if all the states were where I drew them when I was in eighth grade." That's hysterical. I mean, oh I know God. that's pretty silly on my part, but it's just. I think it's hysterical. Uh, I love. Let's do. Things, we should like. You should do a thing about that. Yes, Joey. There you go. Thank you. Oh, I can see Australia. Yay! Look at um, Australia. See, it does exist. People say it doesn't exist. What doesn't exist? Oh my God! The flat earthers are now saying Australia oh doesn't exist. It's not real. Like oh they're my God, talking about the maniacs. Kyrie <laughs> Irving, huh? Kyrie Irving and all those guys. The basketball yes. players. Yeah. He's a flat earther. Kyrie Irving, yeah, he's no a big flat earther. No wonder I can't sell his sneakers. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Who would have known Tonga has the first New Year? I didn't know that. Or one of the first did New Year. Did you go on the Google? You got on the Google. Huh? I did. I did go on Google because we did a like New Year's Eve like little hangout, and uh, I was trying to figure out all the times and everything. And so we had to, of course, talk to our Australian friends. Then come to find out, these other islands over here like get it first, which makes sense. Papua Guinea and all those are fun. And northern Northern Mariana. So how do we own this island out here, like Guam? Because we took islands. over it. We came in and we put the Marines there, and we took over the island, and we put a flag on it, and we named it in the name of the United States. We claim this land is ours. Yeah, <laughs> it's a yeah. military installation to protect against the Imperial yes. Japanese forces. Exactly. Northern oh my God. Mariana Bravo. Island. Bravo. Bravo. Yeah, to protect there. against the Russians. But I know Northern Mar Northern Mar How do we just pick an island? Like, is it like, all right, ready, set, go, everybody runs the island? It's all, um, it's like the game. Strategic strategy. air bases. But then, it's like, strategic air bases and, and do you naval really? Ports. You see Russia from your backyard? Oh my! Oh, Where Alaska. Are you at? That, oh, that was uh, Sarah, Sarah, Palin. Uh, Sarah, Sarah Palin. Palin. I can see Russia from my house. So that's what how she was good on foreign policy. Yet? This came up on our on our show the other night. Someone was like saying she never said that. She damn sure did say yeah. that. But it wasn't like the way I said it. I said it like, like mimicked her like Saturday Night Live did, you know. But yeah, like, I think they were saying she really didn't say it, but she did. I went and found it and played it. <laughs> we went and practiced Love bombing it. the heck out of it. Oh wow, I wouldn't doubt it. Like, and it's true. Why. It's true. Yeah. Look at how. Why do you think we got Hawaii? Why do you think we got you know? Oh, that's just a ploy for them to attack. Like we put this big beautiful island down there. We take that and. So they'll attack that instead of somewhere else. You know, that's what they, it's, that's all it is. 
Uh, well, yeah, like obviously, said, a lot of those were just places. Attacked. Japan came in. Mm-hmm. But a lot of those places were for it. bombing runs and to test the bombs yes, out in the Pacific yes. Northwest. So that doesn't hurt the sure. environment, right? No, not at all, right? Oh, no, you drop an atomic <laughs> oh bomb God, in the middle of the ocean. Oh, my God, don't even get started, man. And just like yeah. the nuclear bombs dropped in the desert of Las I'm... Vegas, yes, yes. And, but we're going to get recycled plastic bottles for four cents and, like, and, really, <laughs> change, and really change the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We are changing the world, Tommy, one straw at a time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the straws really make a difference when you drop a 40-ton atomic bomb out in the Sahara somewhere. <laughs> but no, I understand it, but I we just it. can't. We can't. Uh, you just got to do better. We just got to do a little better. We just like if you can do baby little steps. things, do little things, yes. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. So, you know, we'll just, Joey now has his permanent straws in his car. <laughs> So he doesn't have to drink paper because nobody likes stuff. It's just not. You know what it reminds me of, Joey? That's, like what? when you don't, you like do a soggy thing. And remember, like you used to take spitballs and do them mm-hmm. on the dude. Like, no, that's literally the other day. You know, I like to nurse my coffee, right? I don't drink it right away. I take it with I me. I drink it over nurse. time. I, I just like to nurse my coffee. My wife got. We both uh, both we got a like a smoothie from this place. It's coffee yeah. blended coffee drink. Uh, you know, so it's cold. So the paper gets wet and. The, Whatever. So right. mine starts not getting the flow's not going through, right? It's a blocked flow in my coffee. <laughs> she literally takes her straw and like moves it up and down to kind of move the ice part around the bottom. Yeah, and her, yeah. Her straw broke in half. Oh my oh, god. Oh damn. She's broken half. So the rest I of the straw gross. is underneath the lid, so she yeah, can't really like do anything gross. with it. So she's like, I'll just drink it in three hours when I get home then because I can't finish it now. Because it's just ripped in half. That's why you gotta have permanent straws in your car. You just, you just stockpile them. That's what I do. Or yeah. I take these. There are some stores these. that still have the plastic ones, like so I this. grab as many as I can. Yeah. Well, McDonald's still sells straws. Mm-hmm. Or still, you can. I just go in and grab a handful. Literally, it's one plastic straw that I throw in the recycling thing with the plastic cup that I've used, or it's a paper straw that yep. breaks in half and I end up just throwing it in the garbage. And I need yep. two or three. And how of many them. trees are you using for the paper straws? I mean, like seriously. Right. So I either do like the hard plastic like this, or I do bamboo like I do for my tiki mugs. I do the bamboo straws. Um, but coffee through a bamboo straw is really no. quite different. So I agree, it's got to be plastic or nothing. Have you been to a or place? Or the sippy cup, or the sippy cup lids. Have you been to a place where they have um, like a take a Noodles. straw, and it's like a leave the straw there, take a straw, leave a straw kind of thing? So it's oh, just a no. straw next to the counter you take and you drink, and then you're supposed to like put it in the in their like dishwasher bin for them to wash later. Oh, just, oh, they. Oh, okay, okay. But okay. it's just sitting next to all the right. counter all day, and you don't know if it's been washed or touched or who's touching the top. Yeah, or, I'm kind of like that. Kind of makes me kind of grossed out. Yeah. Well, at Trader Vic's, right? So Trader Vic's, which is going to Emeryville mm-hmm. towards Oakland. So when you get a mai tai, they crack these noodles in half, and so it's a noodle. So it's a hollow noodle, and they use that as the straw. It actually outlasts the paper straws. So you drink it out of a noodle. It doesn't change the taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It doesn't change the, the taste of your drink. Okay. And the noodle never, it's not cooked, so it takes a while for the liquid to actually turn into something else. Okay, so when you're so drinking out of the noodle, you don't have any problems with flow from the noodle. No, no flow problems, and no doughy taste or yeasty or papery and taste. And it doesn't disintegrate, it doesn't disappear the noodle well it does let me let me let me it does if you like so basically people who drink a cocktail it does it's not like a coffee you don't nurse it as long as most people do with coffees i think if it was a coffee and you did like a two-hour run like you know like here when we're doing our show i would hate to see what the noodle end of it would look like but um i just thought it was kind of ingenious for cocktails like because not a a ladies don't like to drink cocktails from glasses because we're usually wearing lipstick I was taught that by my okay. grandma. My grandma said, ladies don't drink out of a glass, but she drinks out of a glass. I don't yeah. know. That's what she told me. And the metal straws, I can't do because I have a permanent retainer up here, and it drives me. Like, it makes my teeth ache. Mm. And then I don't like mm. the way, like, have you ever had aluminum foil on your food and you cook in it? Like, I don't barbecue with aluminum foil because my meat tastes like the aluminum foil, and I have a, I can taste it. So I do, like, a lot of silicone mats and, like, parchment paper and stuff like that and do you buy them off ebay so they get the fees (laughs) just trying to bring it back full circle (laughs) yeah no i do actually but (laughs) i have to and i have to really be honest with you joey a lot of times i'll buy a 10 pack on 
on Amazon because it gets delivered to my door in 30 minutes mm. because I've got drivers who drop stuff off. Mm. So, okay, so God, let me clue you in since we're going to do a little Amazon kick here. Mm -hmm. So the other day, and I mean the other day like weeks ago, right. I don't even know when I was talking to Joey and his wife. And, uh, you know, like they do these Amazon runs. And I was like, dude, I don't even know what that means. Like, what, like you're working for Amazon? Your contract is like, no, flex. no, blah, 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 blah. Right. Yep. So he was talking about food runs, right? So he was talking about like a store that you could go in and like Whole Foods, right? Mm -hmm. So I thought I'm going to give this a shot because I am super busy right now. I don't have time. I'm right in the middle of inventory, but I got to get groceries done. And let me see if it worked. Oh, my God. If he wasn't mm -hmm. honest to God, mm -hmm. 45 minutes after I placed the order, I got a ding dong and I had my order and it was all nicey nice, cold. I Like what? Yeah. So I'm all about it. I hate to be like an Amazon girl, but I have to tell you, I kind of like the whole uh, convenience of it. I'm just. Do you saying. use Instacart at all? I used to do Instacart, I, and uh, I do Ship now. It's the other company that does really? the deliveries. Um, now Instacart. Do you have to go in and pull all the orders like from the shelves in Instacart? So, so Instacart had a couple of things similar where you actually do in-store shopping and deliver, or delivery only. And if you did delivery only, then they were pulled by an Instacart employee who worked in the store. How do you tell shopped. the difference? Like, how do you know? Does it tell you whether you... It doesn't tell the difference. So if I was doing a delivery only and you were the in-store shopper and I delivered to Robin and you screwed up her order, I don't get a tip. And I get a bad rating because she, right. she rates a bad rating. We all get the bad rating. But I mean, rating. how does it know? How does it say on the app, like, whether you're just picking, if you're picking the orders or if you're, or if you're delivering or if you're delivering and picking? It doesn't really tell you. Um, the only way to kind of know is if you are like corresponding with the customer. So if Robin's asking a question like, hey, can you get this? And it hey, says, um, thanks, I have no problem. And it says, your shopper Tommy he said, no problem, or whatever, and the response back in the app. And then when I go to deliver, I hit a button that says, Joey's on his way to deliver. Then they can kind of right. see that it's two different names. That's kind of cool. Other than that, I might try that next time, Joey. But, but I just shipped did is that the thing other one was... that we use. So ship does Target. And Instacart does a lot of yeah, other places like either. like Costco, but Ship is Target and Safeway and a bunch of other stores that Instacart does. But you can do Target.com with Ship as well, in order from Target.com. And so and what about the pay <laughs> with each other? It's yeah, so then we go pick it up, shop it, and bring it back, and then deliver it to the customers. Now the pay I cannot is, believe we've pay almost got five hours, you guys. Hey, Michelle Lathan, there, there's a second, one of arguably the top two mods in the world, Michelle Lathan and BCP. Michelle, I knew it. Sometimes I bring BC I people knew I knew that name. He, does, he never sleeps, and Michelle does sleep like she should. But nice. she's, the, she's the first mod I ever And Barry met. came back. Thrift and Santa came back because he mm -hmm. knew that the bad kids were all yeah. going to be on his naughty list. Michelle can translate like 2,600 languages. You yeah. know that? Michelle translates like 2,600 languages wow. on the fly. Oh, my God. Really? Mm -hmm. She's sick. That's crazy. Insane. Krillin, little junior brown. <laughs> <laughs> Krillin, I think Krillin died because he didn't get to tell the story. I think his head just literally blew right off. He, well, he, he blew, posted something it blew, a couple it seconds. It literally ago. blew up. <laughs> yeah. I love listen, it. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. Keep it short. Listen, Linda, 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 Linda. No, Michelle, I don't, don't know. I, it, I don't mean it that way. It, you're definitely equals in the chat. Just BCB doesn't sleep, and that's dangerous. <laughs> like, you actually, you actually uh, sleep like you should. Yeah. She's in Virginia. And Virginia for lovers. No. Is Virginia for lovers? I don't know that. No. Was, yeah, it's what, right know, oh, Sacramento is the fork to fork the table. <laughs> we don't, that's our little Australia, motto. I think it's over there by Australia somewhere, isn't it? Papua New Guinea, Virginia. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's right above it. <laughs> it's right uh, by Hawaii. Yeah, I know, right? It could be. Uh, if I didn't drive through it, I would, oh, you would be able God. to totally bamboozle me with that one. I don't know, Krillin. In eight hours, I, I, you know, I better have my second screen up so I'm working because I need to get, like, seriously some work. There he is. If I was going to do eight yeah. hours, I like honestly eight hours think of I'm gonna, not working. I honestly think we're going to probably pull this at five because I got – yeah. yeah, for oh. sure, dude. Is that your longest one yet? What's your longest one yet? This will, this will yes, be the longest this is one. The longest. Well, that's what happened. And I, we, had, my wife texted me. She said, "Make sure Tommy saves some stuff for Friday." Yeah, right. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. 
Tommy you know, I was, was thinking just talking about, about history. <laughs> I was thinking about that or, today. Uh, I was like, how do we never run out of stuff to talk about? Because we literally... Because do you ever leave the house, Tommy? Do you see people? <laughs> yeah. She did ask me that question, too. She goes, how does Tommy have time to shop and list? Uh, oh, he's always on the listening. internet. I'm not listening. I mean, <laughs> I mean, obviously. He's always on YouTube. What does he have time to shop? But it's like we literally never run out of things to talk about. I don't yeah. understand oh, it. Oh, no. But... Tommy, listen. You're talking to Chatty Kathy over here. Listen, I could talk... Listen, I, there's li, listen, Lynn, listen. I'm, I'm listening. So when I'm driving to Vegas, I drive. I drive everywhere. Y'all are gonna know this really quickly. I hate to fly. Mm -hmm. It's the military thing, but I hate to fly. But I will fly. But I do like driving because I have this tendency to like. I see something really cool, and I just want to pull over. Like I source. That's how I find most of my cool world's stuff giant, and my consignees. world's giant thumbnail. Mm -hmm. I'm, yes. I'm huge so driving to Vegas, <laughs> dude, I had three passengers. I literally had, they were like, Robin, we didn't listen to the radio like one minute because all we were doing was talking. And he's like, your we never stopped talking. <laughs> yes, there's so much. Yes. Okay, and let me right. tell you, Tommy, That's everybody who, like, you, know, you, there's, listen, there's no middle road stuff. with listen. me. You either hate listen. me or listen. you like me. What's the word? Listen. I always say listen. Listen, Linda, listen. <laughs> <laughs> is it litmus? What's the test? What's that word? Lit litmus? Lit lit what's litmus test, right? Yeah, litmus test, yeah. All right, Jesus, man. I gotta get back to school. It's late. Yeah, it's late. It's so weird. Um but yeah, I can yap for days as you can tell, and so can Tracy, and it's just like we go for no, I see no we've kid, done right? we've done nine hours a couple times, we've done eight, we've Dang. Unbelievable. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Okay, it's so like when you guys are live and doing nine hours, do you guys have dual screen? Like, you know, are you dual screening at your own place so you can list on one and stream no. on the other? Or are we don't you do anything productive? And... We don't do anything well, I'm productive. I'm telling you, Tommy, you need all. to. Mm -hmm. And as and as Joey is a financial coach, he's going to tell you the same thing. If you're going to do one thing, you got to do something else too. I'm going to tell you like this I'm going to smash these 100 listings. I would drive to Tennessee, Noxie, in a minute. Smash these hundred never... things that eBay's given me from their graces. Of... <laughs> you gonna list any cell phones in like a non-cell phone category? Nope, I'm gonna list everything, but I'm gonna list pop sockets, screen covers, everything to go right around the cell phone. Oh, I need a pop socket, Tommy. You got you sell one pop compete. socket? You I need one because look, enough. look, mine is like falling apart. Yeah, I'm looking for a new like, one. I, you, I use would... it for everything. They're like. I think we I would all rock a Tommy manly, Bernard. It's the best non-manly item I've ever owned. You got to custom. You got to custom make them and put them up. We'll all, yeah. all rock them and just in our shows, just have the Tommy. I have Amazon logo. merch and I've never used it. And I, I really... think it's Australia, Krillin. Yeah. You know what? That's or a UK, good idea. I'm, sure. I'm gonna make that now. There you go. I've never had an idea for Amazon merch like ever. They. Well, could... There you go. So you do the pop sockets. We said yeah. live on the show. I gave the idea. I get ten percent. And that was a pro bono from no, your it's financial 10%. coach. Ten percent. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put the eBay. I'm gonna put the eBay logo with. I think I can. I think I, I just meant the I tip. I, I just meant the. I just meant the. <laughs> the free advice, tip. Ten percent on the advice. back end. That's all I get. Right? <laughs> yeah. Cross-eyed. Oh no! When he's got that look, he's either on the Google, his phone, or he's reading something. So that's did your his, wife ever his, tell I'm, you enough to enough, Joey? Can I, it was time to I, I got oh, a couple text messages yes. already about dinner being ready soon. So Dinner? Isn't it like... We went on at 6 o'clock. It's now 11. I didn't have time to leave the room. Dude, we're eat. resellers. Our our shift is just now starting. <laughs> you know? Yeah, Mel, I know. Look at you. I worked today. I worked tonight. I got calls Mel's not going to be talking to us in a few months. She's going to be out there just no, breaking Mel money out of her yard. Oh, no way. Mel's Mel not who? that chick. Mm -hmm. hey, especially Mel when she's done, have, when she's done talking to me still. and we get everything set up, she's going to take off. So, Have you guys started that yet? Or are you still working on it all out? I'm still waiting on her to send her back. Her paperwork. Oh, oh the paperwork uh -oh. she was supposed to do last week that she didn't do? Yes. Your coach is on you, Mel. <laughs> She went to do her. She took need, oh, look at Mary's like, Joey needs 15% at least for manager coach. <laughs> I just gave the idea. I'd be nice. Yeah. 10. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. Mm. Man, I thought Mel took I'll tell, Mel, I had week. your back. I she had your back, Mel. Done. I was telling you. That's what I heard, too. I heard her videos. She's she like, I'm up taking sick. off to this and that. She was and... sick and drinking and partying. She's got time. Hey, she's crack allowed. A... Hey, she's got time to crack a balance. Time to crack a few beers tonight, but not it's enough time. It's called balance. So it's called I'm, I'm reseller. Teasing. She's awesome. Balance. She is such a good person. Good night, Barry. They're so many. It's like I always say that they're my favorite, but they're like everyone's my favorite. It's like they're so awesome. 
We the whole like, community is just Mel's been great. Never gonna you know, we forget about, us. So. Oh yeah, it is like. This is awesome. And if not, Tracy I'll just was troll like, her. I'll troll your YouTube, Mel. <laughs> meeting Tracy and starting that affair with her was like the godsend of my life. You know, it was like uh, that virtual long distance affair that we have. It's amazing. And do I know how to get a boarding pass for the Rise of Resistance? I am gonna do a live video on that uh, because I do know how to get a pass. It's always so, school holiday. How really long is cool. school holiday, for Christ's sakes? Yeah, a isn't week, it weird during week. their summer? School's out there, and they're summer now. It don't even make sense it's to It's summer, it, dude. But it was school holiday like a month ago. Like, oh, it's always no, school holiday. No, that was holiday. Christmas. That was Christmas. And then she just said earlier, she has older kids, so she doesn't have to do much with them. And then she's like, it's school holiday. Well, meaning like they're teenagers. Mel's got a roller deck of excuses on standby, let me tell I you. I got you, I've heard you, Mel. I got you. <laughs> uh, see what you signed up for? Yeah, what, what is I the know. rise of resistance? What is that? It's the Star Wars, the new Star Wars, the new, um... It's a ride? Or Galaxy I... Edge's, yeah, ride in uh, Galaxy's Edge. So, so Star Wars area. So like area. booked out or something? You can't get in it or something? Or? Yeah. yeah, like, you have to be there for rope drop, and uh, you run. have to be inside the park. So you have to be, like, scanned in, and you have to be in the park, and then you have to go to the Disney app, and then you have to literally get on it to try to get a pass. Really? Yeah, the pass time is probably really bit. long, right? Correct. Correct. Oh, I uh, love. Like, we used to like only... run from the line, like to the guides. When yeah, they came in, no, but... it's not. You don't have to do that anymore, Tommy. It's just an app now. Um, it's not long because it, it it goes to like ten o'clock. So there's like eighty, like eighty one groups, I think. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many people you can have in the groups. But anyway, the reason why this ride is so popular, one, it's new, but two, it's also one of the longest rides, meaning that it's like fifteen minute ride. And it's like three different types of rides. So it's like a hovercraft. I'll have to show you. It's like a, it is a um, trackless ride. So there is no track. It's not like, it's it's new age tech and it's super rad. So I can't wait to, to tell everybody about it. That's so crazy. yeah, and on that note, we are at five hours. And there I gotta go. tell you, Let's hang it up. my ears, these these th I'm gonna have to get lighter things, Joey. Yeah, I know. Robin, you should pay to get R2D2 made. No, it's it's like 200 bucks. I don't I, listen. My financial coach, I got a bill that I gotta pay off. No, that money is going to that. <laughs> are you a Robin? Are you an Apple or an Android person? I'm an Apple. I mean, AirPods. You can they they work on your PC. You can just. I know, but I, again. I don't do anything on credit. I am saving for those. Okay. One day I'll have them. I'm just saying, Tommy. That's fine. No, no, no. I got, I I got goals. You can check I mean, eBay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I thought, you know, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. You... eBay with Joey. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me check my sales. I don't have any. Tommy will list them in this category. <laughs> Tommy's like, let me drop the mic. I, I'm not on there, damn it. A <laughs> hundred items. You will like, be. You know, do you know how hard you they're trying be. to make me look like an idiot? Like, All right. I'm, But I'm, I'm trying my darnest no. to make my hundred items. you can't. This, put a pin in it and you're going to talk about whatever on I'm Friday. Try but I want it. you to, okay, do me yeah. a favor, Tommy. What? Do me a favor. You come on Friday, you need to talk. If you talk one negative, you got to talk two positive. I'm not going to talk about eBay at all on Friday night. I don't talk about eBay on Friday night. No, we're not going to talk. No. We don't have to talk eBay. You could talk whatever. We don't talk about but if you're, it. You can rant about whatever, but you got to rant about Friday night's fun bar night. Too. I got stuff I need to list, so maybe oh, you guys can my. help me with some shit. You're going to list? I got some stuff I need to figure out. Uh, well, yeah. he's got some cool stuff. He really? went sourcing. I was, I'm super jelly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Joey will show you. Yeah, I have to it's check rad. that. I love, I love what, learning what people list like and yeah. sell things like that. Well, I should say bye right. everybody in the everybody. chat. Noxy, thank you so much for your awesome mods as always. Yes, we thumbs owe you up. coffee, beans, Super whatever. Thumbs up to Moxie. Whiskey. Uh, Tracy, Mary, Jazz, thanks for keeping company, everybody. fam. You're welcome. We're all big, one big international fam here. <laughs> we love it, Mary. Thanks again. Now, love it. Finish the beer and get the paperwork done, okay? <laughs> Michelle, oh. thanks for joining us. <laughs> uh, Thrifty Santa, he said Tommy, good night earlier. Big Everybody hug. else who's in the chat, yeah. that's that awesome. Frankie's fine. Hey, you now I can go again. cry like I've been waiting to do all night. I'm not Frankie's live. Frankie's fine. Said he couldn't sleep, so he joined us again. It's, oh, it's, a, it's a she. It's a she. Oh, she. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Krillin, everybody else. Can you see else. her picture? She's really hot. Every day. Tommy. <laughs> Joey's like, so is my wife. Anybody oh, yeah. else? <laughs> anybody so else mine, but... this? Marie, I think might still be around. Thank I didn't you, know you were married until just now, Tommy. Yeah. 
Ooh, she's I gotta like, find out like, more about that on the chat Friday. Oh yeah, she's like, she's like, Tracy's hot. And I'm like, I know. Maybe. I love it. Well, I say that uh, too about a lot of girls too. I always say, oh my god, she's so good looking. I know. It's, it's what we can well, do. We can say it. All right, everybody, love you. Want another hour if Bye, you keep going, so. Tommy. Right, thanks for joining guys. us, man. Yep, Appreciate thank it. You guys. Tommy, love you, my friend. Yeah. Hashtag free Tommy. Tommy. Hashtag. Yep. Krillin's going live. Krillin's going live. Krillin's going live. Krillin's going there. live. You guys, there you go. <laughs> See him walk to the <laughs> store and get some food. Bye. Thanks again, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna actually exit all the way out. Love you guys. Bye.